Oops, I was caught a little bit unprepared there. I was getting ready right until the last second. Let me just quickly put some music on. We're going to go with... Not required. Mood. Calm. Date added. Okay, this is not going to be a video. This is going to be a longer ass stream going through the entire process of how to make a mod entirely. And I don't know much about this vehicle, so it's going to be a little bit of jankery. Everything I do is not going to be perfect. Hopefully, if you do glean anything from this, it's not how I do it, but the uh, practices that you would take to get there. There is going to be... As always, a lot of corner cuts with how I do this. I am not your perfect modder because this is going to be. Tr I'm going to try to do this in one stream. I don't like my chances. I'm guessing we're going to get most of the way through this, so it is going to be a little bit rushed. So, welcome everybody in the chat. How are we all doing today? Ten hour stream. Oh yeah, the other thing is, is uh, I didn't sleep very well last night, and I didn't sleep well the night before either, so... I've been a little bit groggy. So, I might not even make 10 hours. But yes, Drift Buzz, Keith, McDonald. Uh, we also had five gifted subs from Benjamin. Thank you very much. And to everyone that got those, you might want to thank him, just in case. Uh, Loki... Quinobi, like Obi Wan, except spell weird. Smoky stories, a uh, smoking stories. Uh, General Draft. Do you know when the building race will be tomorrow? You know what? I might even cancel it. I'm, I've not been feeling great, and to be able to do this, I can take my time. I can relax. I can be lazy. But during those events, I can't be any of those things. Uh, the one thing that I am a little bit concerned about with doing this build is the fact that these lights are probably going to have to be changed. And I hate changing and fiddling with lights. Because there's more than just one thing to lights. So, let's have a quick look. Oh, so I'm just going to do a little trick here. Because this has to be the main tab up, what I do is I have this overlap ever so slightly on that screen. So then this will always play no matter what. Uh, that way, I don't have to have it on my main tab anymore. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, okay. The wheel is actually nowhere near the front lights. Here it's a lot closer. So I am thinking... Hold on. Uh... You know, I think these fenders are a lot closer than the actual... Renault? No, there is a big gap there. So that's the first thing we're going to have to look out for. Wow. That is a weird vent placement. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to probably morph these lights to bend out with it. The other thing is... This has a very straight line. And this minivan itself also has a very... Uh, vague, but straight line across there. This one has a curving up line, so this is not going to be a perfect replica. It wasn't ever going to be one anyway. I took the minivan on a D15 frame. It was so annoying to work on. Yeah, you put it on a D15. What's a D15? Uh, BMNG D15. You mean the D series? No, that's something else. Anyway. Uh, a lot of this is going to have to be heavily modified. So, the first step is open up your mods folder. If you don't know where your mods folder are, it is. You can go to mods, and then you can open mod folder. Now, I have it saved to a quick access. And in here, you should have an unpacked folder. 
If you don't have an unpacked folder, you create the unpacked folder. And then there, you're going to create a mod, which is called... Uh, after the thing that you're doing. So this is going to be not an e-space, but an e-sports minivan. That's what we're calling it. Then inside of here, we're going to create a vehicle, a, a, a folder called vehicles. Uh, basically, the idea is everything that's in uh, these mods that you create is going to kind of one-to-one -one convert over. So folders will line up. And then inside of here, we have to create another one. Now, for that, I'm going to need to know what the name of the vehicle is. So we go into Steam, app, uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, BeamNG, Content, Vehicles. And in here, you should be able to find your vehicle. And I've already forgotten what this vehicle is called. The Lansdale. Is that what it's called here? Ah, it is called the Lansdale. So there you got the vehicle, so that lines up one to one, and then we need to grab this name. Plop that in there. And then, anything we put here is going to act as if it was in here. So BeamNG reads everything uh, in the mods folder and everything in the game folder, uh, zip file folder structure. And then goes, okay, well, they're all one and the same. If you have something that has the same name, it's going to replace that thing over there. So be careful with that. But if you then try to upload that to the repository, they will reject it. Same thing with slots. And we'll get into that in a bit. If you have slots that have the same name, it will just straight up replace that thing. So everything in mods take a precedence. Is there an event on my channel tomorrow? Maybe. Oh, my face. Yeah, you know what? I forgot to take that into consideration. I decided that I think my webcam will go down here. And you know what? We might even shrink a little bit. Anyway, though, you do get the... Oh. I just randomly clicked on the screen and it just happened to be over the door handle. Uh, let's go in and start working away. So the first thing we want to do is grab the DAE because what I'm doing is going to require a lot of modification. Gonna copy this address into Blender Read Blue. Now I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on how to use Blender, that's an entirely different story. So I'm gonna mostly rush through this and only going over the ideas of what I'm doing. I'm gonna paste that address in there and grab the Lansdale. Okay. Don't need that. We're just deleting things that we don't need. Which is a lot of this. Is the roof separate? No, the roof is a part of that side panel. Don't need fender flares. There seems to be multiple versions of uh, those. Is there one version of doors? Good, there's only one version of doors. That makes my life a little bit easier. Is there a roll cage inside of this vehicle? Can't really see. If there's one back here, it is enclosed. Oh no, there's a roll cage. So we might leave roll cage stuff in, but I think that's not actually a roll cage. That instead is actually a, um, a different thing. Is there a race? There, there is a race version. Let's also bring out the race version so we can gauge an idea of what we could take from that. Let's go with the earlier version. Oh, wait, no, it's the race what we're going with. Yeah, okay. Samsung flip folder yeah, fits perfectly next to the video. Oh, nice. A lot of parts? Yes. Generally, there is a lot of parts with these mods. So, in here... Oh, good. Okay, we have a floor. Uh, I was expecting to have to do a whole bunch of jankery to convert this carpet. So, that actually makes my life a little bit easier because that was something I was uh, concerned about. Let's actually have a look. Do we have... Interior. Stripped interior. Ah, okay. So that's how it does it. 
Um, <clears throat> we have a ray seat. Looks like a carbon fiber dash and a tunnel. Wait, is this all-wheel drive? Why is there a tunnel? Okay, here we go. One that's further up front. Um, we can replace it with a carbon fiber material, probably. Oh, key casting. Um, yeah, once again, I'm... Uh, I think I... Did have that. But that would have gone many versions ago. Um, yeah, I don't know where it is. So, unfortunately, I can't do the key casting. Uh, but as I was saying, this is not going to be a Blender tutorial. Learning Blender is going to be an entirely thing that you're going to have to do on your own. As there is a lot to learn with Blender. What the hell is that? Windshield bar? Oh, is there a, um... Bash version? There is. It looks like that's what that is. Alright, so we don't need that. We don't need windshields, so we'll get rid of windshields. Uh... We'll hold on to interior. Actually, you know what? We don't need interior. We're going to be using uh, the default interior as it is, so that doesn't actually matter. Oh, there's rear race seats as well. Basically, the only thing we're going to be modifying, because we're only keeping what we're modifying. Uh, we may do something with a dash to do with uh, painting it in carbon fiber. But you know what? We can do that later. So we're going to take all of this. Uh, got some pedals here as well we can get rid of. Is that just the firewall? Nope, that is the chassis. Interior panels, cargo. You know what? We don't actually need that either. We don't need any of the interior panels. That is the door. We'll keep that. Door handles, we'll keep those. Two types of door handles. Weird. Uh, don't need you. We are going to keep the headlights. Now, is there two sorts of head... There is two sorts of headlights. Ah, oh, That makes life annoying. All you need to do is an engine swap. I've done the... Whatchamacallit video on that. Bolide Piccolina swap. Can anyone help me make a Bugatti engine model? <laughs> That's an entirely different thing. Uh, what you're going to look at there is commissioning somebody. Oh my god, there's so many different versions. Alright, uh, what sort of front bumper do we want on the eSports? I know it's eSpace. Or as uh, Jeremy Klaus called it, the Espas. Um, that is a very unique front bumper. Unlike, yeah, the normal front bumper. I'm not going to model my own. I'm probably just going to widen out one that they have. So what does their race one look like? It's mostly like a stock one with a little bit of a lip on it. 
Uh, what else do we got? We should have a tuna version, which you know what? We might grab that. I also just noticed that the drag is also a wide body car. Not that wide, but it is wider than a normal car. So this one, I don't think it's widened at all. So this one is flat on the side. This one has an indent. This one, yeah, just kind of flat. Looks a little bit wide, but it's a bit hard to tell. And then this one has the indent again. But then on the front fenders, I'm pretty sure those are widened out. Yeah. What are the what are the different variants here? We have ninety six to two thousand and two, two thousand three to two thousand seven. Okay, so the two thousands versions have a much higher eye line sort of thing, and they have a crease in the rear uh, around the rear wheel well. On the front, that looks to be pretty identical. Uh, what else we got here to take into consideration? No, that's fairly close. Okay. So I think we're going to work with this front bumper, because that is about as close as we can get. Then everything else is going to be the base game car. Uh, so let's go in to this car, actually, and go to the front bumper. Front bumper. Early custom front bumper. So let's go to here. Early custom front bumper. And that returns this. Then from there, we're going to grab... Is this the only one here? That's the rear bumper. Rear bumper stuff, side skirt stuff. Okay. That's got all the things we need here. What we want, though, not the license, that's the slot stuff. What we want is the flex body stuff, and from there, top and body kit. Anyway, we're going to grab that name. And what we're going to do... Can you unselect everything? Thank you. There we go. So it's this one, and we're going to hide that, and then... Whatever the hell this thing is. Which is that. And then hide that. Hiding is basically meaning that we're going to keep it for later. What is... Is that a wide fender flare? If I got that selected, we do. That would be... Face lift quarter panel. We don't want you... Is that just the normal side? Yes, it is. We don't need interior or interior or seats or junk or more junk. Uh, we'll hold on to suspension now because that is going to change drastically. We might leave the floor pan in. Oh, you know what? Actually, we probably wanted to keep that a carpet, didn't we? Yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. Uh, that is... Pre, I'm guessing that they, by that they mean pre-facelift. Fa and then they got facelift fender. Do the one we want. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Then hoods. Okay. So the hood on here is very flat. Which is very similar to the real thing. But it does have an extra line in there just to kind of accent the mirrors. I don't think there's anything like that. So this is pre-facelift and this is facelift. Hoods look 
basically identical. So we're just going to go keeping with the same theme of the pre. That's cut though. We don't want that one. Uh, Lensdale pre hood. We'll keep that. Facelift cut. And facelift hood. I don't want those exhausts. Don't want that. Don't need that. Don't need you. Can anybody tell me if the whatchamacallit is um the the uh, uh, Spass F1 is all wheel drive or rear wheel drive? I'm gonna have a quick look though. I got the brains. I mean, I got something. Gusto at least. Which was created at uh, Matra to celebrate the 10th anniversary of his father, though it resembled an eSports. With substantial bodywork changes, the vehicle had more to common with a Formula One car. The vehicle used lightweight carbon, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, with F1 style chassis combination with carbon fiber reinforced uh, series body. So the chassis is carbon fibre. Yeah, I see that. Okay, we're gonna have to do something about that as well. Uh, carbon fiber reinforce that as opposed to fiberglass on the standard body uh, on the standard model wait the normal vehicle was that really top right front engine front wheel drive four wheel drive that's um that's for this I'm asking you specifically about the e-space Mako, probably not. See you later, Smogan. Uh, chassis is covered to have uh, reinforced as opposed to fiberglass in the sound world. Paddle by F1 was 800 horsepower upgraded from its original 700 to the 3.5 liter 40 valve V10. That's four valves per cylinder. That's easy maths. Uh, as used in 1993, as the F1 car was mid-engine as opposed to conventional front-engine layout. Power was transmission to the real wheels via a six-speed semi-automatic gearbox as used on the Williams that. Uh, so we know about that one specifically now. Thank you. The engine and transmission allowed F1 to go from 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. 6.9 <laughs> seconds. Use the carbon fiber ceramic brakes. Impress. Okay, so we're going to have to probably grab some parts from... The Scintilla. And the Scintilla's a V10 anyway. So let's go have a look at the Scintilla. Also, I want to put this out there. Devs. You put this until in, which is a V10, and then you put this minivan in. I get the feeling that you were going to do this anyway. My mod is going to be jank. Feel free to do it properly. This is, as I said, going to be a fairly rushed mod. Let's bring out just a race scintilla. Probably going to grab the engine and transmission from this. But do we also grab the suspension? Because I want push rod. Subframe. There we go. Uh, this has regular double wishbone. That sucks, but that's mm, stupid camera work. That's not the end of the story. We're gonna have to do a little bit of jankery and some flip around. But the Hirachi does have. Uh, push rod suspension in the rear. I don't know if it has it in the front though. No, we have normal double wishbone, and then in the rear, we have push rod. So we would grab this, then grab the transmission and everything, and flip that around. 
Let's go remove as much bodywork as we can. So we can get a good look at this. You know what? We also don't... Oh, you know what? I was going to say get rid of the engine, but that'll get rid of the transmission as well. We don't want to do that. Might not have been the right music to choose, if I'm going to be honest. Now let's go ahead and remove the fuel tank. Because we don't want this thing to ever run, we just want it to be nice and quiet for us. Uh, let's get rid of... Why, why is this doing this? Let's also switch that to 100. Do you just want to be wider? Is that what it is? Oh, some weird things. Let's go with, like, a funky mode. That's a little too, um... Yeah. We don't need you running either. Alright, let's remove some ones we don't want. Uh, race... For now, we'll... Yeah, we don't need you. You will hold on to... The reason why we'll hold on to that one... Is because it will... Uh, supply us with the parts we want. Which eventually will become important to us. Okay, so looking in here, it's got just straight inboard and then it mounts to something. What do we have on the eSports? I know it's eSpace, and my brain keeps thinking eSports. It's just the engine. There was one that had like the uncovered uh, transmission setup. Oh, sorry, transmission. Uh, uncovered section so we could see the suspension a little bit more. I don't see it. 80s rock, please. <laughs> this music is worse, you reckon? How many pages do we have of this? A thousand. Alright, let's go... Uh, a hundred later. You know what? That's very Gran Turismo-esque. I'm willing to live with that. Is it a bit loud? It might be. Nah, that's alright. So. What does the suspension look like on this? Okay, so the suspension does work in a different way. The suspension we're looking at uses a cantilever... Is that the right word? To basically compress the spring inwards. This does it in a way in which it rotates it this way to move the springs that way. It would be nice to have the correct setup, but we don't. So we're just going to use the next best thing, which is this suspension. Uh, so we're going to have to grab a bunch from there. Let's start by... You know what, actually, we're going to continue with this. Uh, don't need cows, don't need engine. We might leave the suspension in... No, that's McPherson strut. We don't want to keep that. God, there's a lot of parts in here. I just don't, I don't want to just uh, drag and grab because there's suspension stuff in here.
Is that all of the suspension stuff? I can't be certain. So I'm going to be selecting them one by one. Okay, here we go. Now I can do a little bit more of a general select. Uh, we'll leave the radiators as well. We will create custom radiator piping maybe to get up there if we have time. Uh, what's that? Lansdale under tray. We'll hold on to you. We've deleted all the front bumper stuff we want, but there's other things in here as well that we have to be aware of. Facelift grill. Oh yeah. No, we, we're done with grills. We're just going to be using what's a part of the uh, default setup. and We'll leave the grill area blank. My god, how many grills are there? Far out! That can all go. Uh, shroud, we'll keep that. This will hold on to... We'll get rid of the later headlights. Because we only want to keep the early headlights. Good, that does leave us the old headlights. What's this? LED low beam. I don't think we have anything like that here that we need. What is that? Lansdale, oh, neons. <laughs> we don't need, we don't need neons, no. Uh, front bumper stuff, that can go, that can go. Got all the front bumper stuff. Facelift bumper body kit, we don't want that. Chin spoiler, don't need that. Facelift, facelift. No, I don't think we need any of that. Uh, is there trim on here? Is that a trim line? Body trim. Oh, that wrong vehicle. No, the trim does not affect that. Oh, no. Front bumper trim. Bugger. Oh. So what do we got? Early painted front bumper trim. And without that, what does it look like? Damn it. Okay, we're gonna need that. You know what, actually? We're gonna have to, like, undo a bunch of deletes here. Damn it, that's as far back as my Control Z goes. So we're gonna have to open up another one. And it's not this, is it? Yeah, that was all facelift stuff. Alright, let's open up another blender. And we're going to have to be careful here. You can append it without breaking anything? What? What are we talking about? Anyway, we're going to bring this in. We're going to open you up. And we're going to search for... Early painted front bumper trim. It's online, there's no time. What? Whoever got this idea is a genius? What are we talking about? 
let's have a look inside. Copy paste from one blender file to another can occasionally break materials file name. Uh, appending doesn't do that. I don't know what you mean by appending. I do know that it can break the things because that's the dot zero zero one, but I do know how to fix that. What do you mean by appending though? Early trim A. That's black. We don't want that one. Black. Don't want that one. Early right fog light cover. What? Uh, early painted body trim. No, we don't want that. Trim bumper. Okay, so this is early painted front bumper trim. The flex body we want is that. File append. Oh, another Blender file. Oh, okay. Well then, let's go ahead, file, save as, Lansdale, untitled, it doesn't matter. There we go. And then paste that in there. Hey, would you look at that? What did that do? Wait, no, you need to have saved the original. Yeah. Uh, Wait, is... Does, hold on. Okay, so let's click on that. So we got selected, active collection, instance collections, instance object, fake user, localize all. Doesn't work. Okay, so this is what I would normally do. If there is a better way, that is entirely fine. Yeah, it's grabbing like the green triangle, not the orange triangle. Is that maybe the problem? It's the object you need? Yeah, I know. Append. I went into objects. Mesh? No. Has it been opening mesh instead of object when I click on object? There we go. Okay. So that one. There we go. Apparently I... It did try to come in, weird. Uh, if you just copy it over, yeah, okay, it still does that material issue. So that does not actually fix the issue. Uh, so, whenever you bring something in, so we'll undo that, you'll see that it's got a dot zero zero and then a number. That's how many times you've brought something in that has the same material name. What you'll do here is you'll just look, that's the Lansdale main is what we have. We're going to go up to the one that doesn't have a dot zero zero something or whatever. Either way, if it happens, that's how you fix that issue. Uh, fender liners we're going to keep. I think we're going to lose the front suspension. We'll grab these. Wait, hold on. What was that? Lansdale pre-headlight R-A and R-A-E-U So that's like some rounded LED headlights and that looks like normal headlights Whoa, wow Hato, thank you very much for the thing I don't have notifications up because those services that require that uh, that, that, uh, that, that give you that uh, pop-up notification stuff Wants way too much access to your YouTube channel. Way too much. Uh, and it's just like a misuse or a hack away from being like very devastating to your channel. So 
we just go say thank you very much that is a second tier membership that's nothing to sneeze at would it be possible to make the piccolina into the pitbull special from test drive 5 uh read the description he has different colored shaped headlights i think i'm thinking we might go the round ones Since they do have a little bit more detailed round ones, and there's a lot of black in there too, like a black liner sort of look. So I think we're gonna go those headlights and not those ones. So, EU, hi, no? Pre headlight RB. Oh. I'm now confused. You know what? I'm going to have a very specific look at the headlights now. Uh, your headlights. Early custom left. So custom headlights. EUs and normals. Okay. And then you have early left headlights. What does the EU one look like? Oh, they're both basically exactly the same. Looking at them, I can't actually tell the difference. Okay, so it's the custom one we wanted. What's this? Unsell LED high beam glass. Don't need you probably, because we won't be changing the position of the headlights. That's the one we want. Did I get rid of the headlight glass? Hold on, let's have a quick look. Hmm. Yep, I did. And then make sure that that copied over one has the right material. <sighs> Probably just light color, maybe. Uh, we don't need you. There seems to be some sort of roof variation here. Lansdale roof solid clean. Lansdale roof solid. Moonroof. I don't think there is anything like a sunroof in this vehicle, is there? Loading. Yeah, I don't see anything. I think it's, um... If there was, it's filled in. Okay, roof shot. Nothing. Okay. So we'll get rid of the moonroof version. Moonroof variant. Don't need sun visors to be modified, so we'll get rid of them. So, if I knew exactly what I was doing, which I don't, this would be a lot quicker. But we're having to go through and be very careful with what it is that we're removing for this. Often this can be a lot quicker, because if you're just doing an engine, you can just quickly dive in and grab just the engine and the accoutrement for that. This mod is going to be a little bit more complicated than that. Where's the exhaust come out? I don't actually see an exhaust. I misspelled that. Wait. What the hell is that? Oh, it's French for interior. I was like, wait, why did it auto finish it to interior? I was like, did I misspell it and it just is using my misspelling now? Um, I'm not seeing anything specifically about the thing here. 
Has anybody here seen me and Puppycat? I swear that's the voice of, uh, like, the, the same instrument that they use for being Poppycat sort of thing. Oh, that's over anyway. The PC files save from the game and import into Blender with a plugin. What? Oh, there's a Blender plugin you can use? Oh. Well, that's not exactly what we're doing anyway, because what we're using is not straight a one to one either. Same instrument. Fire show from neck, yep. French people shake my head, yep. Hello, MV design. Why did English people auto correct into? Yeah, I know that was weird. It was very weird. We're probably not going to be modifying a fuel tank from here. Probably not going to be modifying the roll cage. We'll just be using theirs. I need you. I don't think we need you. Gambler skid plate, plate. I don't need you. Uh, so the side of the E space doesn't have any trim. The normal car does. Do I go to the effort of removing the trim indentation and everything? Maybe. I think I'm gonna have to, by the looks of it. Badging, we don't need badging. Uh, pre facelift trim. We'll just go with A. God, there's so many options. Far out, Brussels sprout. There we go. Got rid of all of them. Interior door panel. We'll probably be using the default interior door panel, so we don't need that. Now don't tell me there's like 15 variants of glass. No, there was only interior and exterior. Good. Uh, you know what? We're going to leave the door mechanisms in place. What's this? Oh, neon. We don't need neons. Exhaust can go. Oh, these taillights. What is the name of the music? It's just a uh, YouTube audio library, free stuff to use. I don't know. Uh, I can quickly show you what we're up to. Or I can't. Oh, there we go. We're on bird brains. Wings. It has a gigantic custom wing, so we're going to lose that one. We might grab something from the scintilla. Uh, you know what, actually, we don't need the roof anyway. We're not going to be modifying that. Or oh, the rear boot? Not the boot itself, no. Uh, you know what, actually, hold on. It doesn't affect the taillights either, so we're gonna go along with that as well. Just to save time and effort. In fact, we might actually end up doing that to the front as well. Okay, rear bumper. Um...
I think we're gonna go with the default vehicles bumper and not anything like custom or modified. Don't need you. Don't need more neons. Trim. At least for the boot area, we don't need that. Why am I building this drifter? For content. I know people are saying they're fun. You know, actually, mostly it is fun. So, yeah, I'll give them that. Spec racing, really hard to control F1 powered minivans would be cool. Build and race. Though the build may end up being like 20 minutes of tuning. It's gonna be a lot of tuning no matter what. I think we might actually be able to do away with trim altogether. For now, we're gonna delete trim, and if we want trim, we'll bring it back later. You can all go, you can all go, you can all go, away, keep you, is that just the front bumper area, yeah, good, mirrors are not going to be modified, dealing with here windshield wipers we don't need that we're not going to be modifying the hood actually now that i think it oh, actually... yeah no we're not going to be modifying the hood uh not going to be front wheel drive so that doesn't matter what else we got here what is this that's the thing we don't need two things we don't need okay you know what, actually, we don't need the glass either. I'm not going to be modifying the roll cage. I don't know why I kept that around. We're not going to be modifying the roof either. This is looking... Good. Is that a clip? Weird. Odd. Uh, I don't know what that's meant to be. Oh, okay, that's the uh, exterior area. Okay. I'm going to draw a line in the middle. Then I'm going to edge split. Oh, because it's also connected on the front. Edge split. Then select anything on one side. There we go. And I'm going to P select. This side is gonna hide. Now I'm just going to work on one side, and it's going to be mirrored on the other. Hopefully. First thing we're going to do is start looking at how we do the front headlights. Ah, uh, this gets a little bit... of a doozy. Because I don't actually want to modify the headlights. Modifying headlights is a real pain in the bite. Left some trim on the side. Ah, uh, yeah, we can fix that. By the way, I'm hiding with H and Alt-H to unhide. You know, actually, we don't need 
the carpet liner for now, so we'll get rid of you. Somebody did a Lansdale VA V10 swap, really? Is that only just in the front of the engine though? They've already put it in the middle of the thing. Damn, they're quick. We're gonna be going a little bit more overboard than them though. We're also gonna do trumpets, kind of like I did on, um... I did one car with trumpets. What was that? Pickles, I believe is what it was called. I don't know if anybody noticed this when I'd made this mod. Did anybody else notice that? Yeah, that's something that's not on the default game. We're gonna have to be employing something like that as well today. God, I love this mod. That was a fun mod to make. Uh, we're also going to be grabbing... Mind the mic? Did I clip? That mod is broken because the engine is invisible? Maybe you have a mod conflict, because for me it's not. Oh, okay, so it was in the video? Oh, did I punch the microphone? Sorry about that. Uh... Does he have any more images of this? No. It doesn't look like he's done any bodywork either to do this. So yeah, we are going to be going a little bit more extensive than he is. Let's actually start grabbing the other models now so we can start mocking this up. Uh, we want the engine from the Scintilla. Oops. Until it... Oh yeah, no, we already knew that I had the Gavril V8. Uh, I just kind of forgot that I had the V8 in there. So we grabbed the Scintilla V8. We'll grab materials related to that later. We don't need it right now. Uh, the next thing we're going to want is... What's the name of that vehicle? Now, this is a little bit of a trick. If you open the user configuration folder down there, it'll come up here and it'll actually tell you the mod name of the vehicle. So it's the SBR. That's what we're looking for. SBR? I was right next to it. And from there, we're going to grab the rear suspension. This is going to be a little bit tricky to get working right, but we're going to give it a try. Let's start by importing the scintilla. And all we want from here is engine related stuff. Uh, we won't grab suspension for now. Let's just grab... You. Is that everything we want? No, there's other things we want to grab here as well. What is this? Oh, transfer case for like all drive setups. We'll grab the exhaust as well. Grab you. Engine mounts, we'll grab you. We 
I think that's everything we want. A, delete, alt H. Let's open a new a blender. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And this time, I'm gonna bring in the SBR. Hmm. We're probably going to have to take a little bit from the body, so let's hide that for now. <laughs> Don't need the exhaust stuff. Uh, what is that? SBR trunk? Oh, weird. Don't need anything to do with the engine since we won't be using theirs. Their transmission we will be using, but we will be flipping around. Ah, oh, it's turbo stuff. Won't be using turbo stuff. E motor. Oh, e motor stuff we don't need. This mic is too goofy. What, am I hitting the mic? What's what's happening? Oh, it's muffler. And nitrous, empty, long block mounts. Intake oil pattern. Okay. Oh, uh, so what do we got in here? Uh, I was looking at the subframe. Okay, so suspension comes in here, connects, and there is actually something out here. Is that just like an engine mount? Oh, weird. All right. Well, we're not going to use it, but we'll have it. Don't need battery stuff, don't need shields. Don't need battery stuff. Come on, face. I deleted the intercooler, ah. Oh. Well, we can fix that later. I mean, not as if this thing is meant to be turbo anyway. Uh, brake lines and stuff. Okay, we'll hold on to that. That will hold on to... Battery connectors can go. Wait, what was that last one? Yeah, that's still battery. Battery. Wiring. Uh, that's a front drive shaft. We don't want that. Coolant lines, we don't need you. Fuel lines, don't need you. Don't need any of you, any of you, any of you. What's this? Intake, don't need you. Trailing arm. All right, that's a weird one. Uh, okay. Before we bring it over, I'm gonna grab you. Rotate you around. I'm gonna... Hmm. That's the middle of the bell housing. About there, right? Oh. Hmm. Do we still have the transmission from this guy? We do. Okay, we'll be using this transmission, I reckon. Which means I should also probably bring back those 
lines. So let's undo a bunch of deleting. Hey, thanks for following me over on um, Twitch. That still has notifications up. Uh, exhaust stuff we will hold on to. Not quite sure what we're going to do there yet though, so it'll be kind of up in the air. Suspension, however, we could still lose over here. But it should line up fairly closely, so it's not too bad. Hmm. So, which exhaust? You think I'm muted? Yeah, funny, funny. Uh, so we have exhaust turbo and exhaust perf turbo. Performance? Weird. Okay. Let's grab you, plop you in here, and line you up approximately. Okay, now this is where things are going to get a little bit more tricky. We don't want you... You we are going to grab. Yeah, hold on. I haven't finished here. Yeah, we're going to lose their drive shafts. And use our own. I think I'm also going to lose these just to make this a little bit easier. Very close to lining up. To the point where, you know what, we're kind of fine with that. Uh, we can make a rear subframe to match that as well, so that's not a big issue. Does, however, the engine fit in here? No, we are going to have to modify this to fit the engine. Don't need the floor pan right now. Floor pan right now. There's meant to be a mountain here. Let's re-import. What is this mount? Ah, it is the subframe. Okay. Make sure this has... Oh, okay. Nope. Yep. Hmm. Where are all of these mounts that we want? I think that's the first mount, so... Delete those. Don't need anything of the body work, so we can delete that as well. 
don't think we need anything in the wheel wells, do we? No. So we can delete that as well. Don't do anything too rearward either. Just put the just put the entire body in there, it'll be fine. Yeah, nah, bro. Um, okay. Is that meant to line up? Oh god, there's a lot of engine stuff in here. That is meant to line up. Did I move it up as well? I must have. Okay, now it looks to be lined up. Now, what can we get rid of? Looks like these lines I can get rid of. Heading off, Benjamin? Or is somebody else? Sorry to hear that, R Robo Ninja. Sorry, I'm not really paying a lot of attention to chat, but it's gonna be really hard for me to concentrate otherwise. We're going to have to lose a whole bunch here in the middle as well for the engine. Where are the mounts? Yeah, we don't need anything rearward, so there's just lots of fettling at the moment. You know what, let's lose everything scintilla-based for now. A little bit easier to look. Where is it mounting? Wait, does it just go through the body? It just straight up goes through the body. Cheating. That is such cheating. Is that the only mounts I need? I think these are the mats I need. Oh, you know what? I also needed this. We'll figure out how to connect those to other things later. I feel very much like this song right now with like just that realization that all I needed was that. There's probably a black material. What? So on that. Yeah, it's just really hard to seal. Uh, hard to see. Phil, you need to fix that for this mod. This is. Jo <laughs> I'm not fixing anything. Uh. Okay. Not sure. Why is the manifold further back? That's weird. I mean, that's going to be heavily modified anyway. Did I move the manifold? What's going on here? Not weird. Um... 
I could. The mount is on the gearbox. Yay. There we go. Mounts are mounted. The minivan is a boat. Yeah, we're going to have to see if we can lighten it up a little bit as well. Alright, that's looking good for most of this. Now, I'm not going to be doing a turbo version. Wait, why, why is this here? Scintilla Reverse. We don't need that. Uh, but I am going to leave the turbo in there as an option for other people if they want to get all rowdy. There we go. Done. That's how exhausts work, right? <laughs> uh, you know what? I might get everything to line up all into one. I'm not sure. So I don't have to have two different variants of an exhaust. I'm starting to think that this mod is going to take a really freaking long time to make. Okay. Things are looking really janky, I can tell already. I've just noticed that my rotation thingy that I just did a moment ago... Has not gone quite so well. Ugh. Is that going to work nicely? No, that's not. There we go. How much was that? By the way, I'm looking up in the top left corner there, so like, 140 degrees. And then this one we're going to rotate minus 140 degrees, so I can just keep it even on both sides. And then we're going to line that up. Look, we now have our exhaust coming out. Two, three exhaust exits. Oh my god, you're asking too much of me. I'm just a person trying to make vidges. Uh, Alright, let's start with cutting out a bit of the body now. So from there to there, don't need you, 
we'll hold on to you. Okay, that's looking good. What we're gonna do is hide this, and this one we're gonna have a mirror on. Now the reason why I've done it this way is because they're not usually identical side to side. So I'm going to keep that one spare so then I can line up nodes in the UV unwrap. Because UV unwraps are super jank, as you can see right there. Nothing here makes sense. So I've learned to hedge my bets a little bit in a way, you might say. So just keep everything in place. You know what? All of this could come down a bit. Everything here is selected. Not here, though. Oh, most of that can go away. Hey, nice. Uh, let's drop a bunch of these fender lining vertices. This is probably going to be a bit of a hassle because I think the other side is on another DAE file. But that's fine. It's a race car. Having holes in the bodywork is fine. Hey, Thumper! Really? The F1 engine is not centered in... I mean, in F1 cars, okay, but in this vehicle it's not centered? It looks pretty dead on to me. Are you talking about old 1950s F1 engines? When they had to be slightly offset so then they could go around the driver's, like, pedals and seating position? Because that looks pretty dead center to me. Rear uh, axle is off center? Is it? It's pretty centralized to me, except for the fact that it's got a transfer case in there, which we are not going to have. You guys do not get the luxury of all wheel drive. I didn't realize I still had that. I think this is meant to be the engine mount, so we're just going to bring you down a little bit. Scale you in a bit. Not a perfect way to do it, but there we now have engine mounts. Does it mount to the body? No, it does not. Hmm, we may actually want to do that. Let's get that to mount. Just see an outline of the body. There. Now it mounts to the body and to the engine mount. Perfect Mundo. Nothing to complain about here whatsoever. I feel as if the engine might be a little bit further forwards because it looks like it's behind these rear middle seats. And there's a bar between what I think is the rear suspension. Yeah. That's not quite how we've done this. Make air intake instead of window? I don't think that's how the um, thing works. No, but they do have some sort of like weird venting thing on the side here. Which I am going to try to model, but I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do it. It also looks like it expels air as a... Yeah, that's an expulsion of air. I don't know what that's meant to be. Also, is that turbo fan wheels? They were banned by the 90s. Mid-engine Lansdale? If you just want a mid-engine Lansdale, somebody has already done that. They got beat me to market, but whatever. 
by Styx C. Well done. We're doing a little bit more complicated here today. Oh my god, really? Oh wait, no, this is just the coloring section. That's the interior of the fender, that's the exterior of the fender. So, fenders line up here to be mirrored, but on the next UV mesh... Oh. Yeah, they're set. So, it's up in the top left. And it's in the bottom right. So, trying to do this in mirrored work is a real annoyance. Hey, Jordan. I am wondering. Is there a way... If things look mirrored, to edit one side and have it edit the other side without actually using a mirror modifier on one side. So, like, uh, what I don't want to do is have these things, have the skin be on different areas. You just want to have a look like a base model? If you just want a base model, then you've got this. It is basically... Just a standard sort of vehicle with a scintilla V8 in that. We're going a little bit more above and beyond because I wanted to do this mod anyway. How's YouTube feel? Pretty hit or miss. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Ah, there's that UV unwrap. So that side, it's down here. This. Oh, okay. You know what? Actually, I have an idea. Because it's along that midway. I can actually just mirror it, and then flip it up the other side. So, let me quickly show you what I mean. I'm gonna make these names match, join these up, then that's the normal color map, and the normal color map, and then, yeah, this is exactly mirrored. So that actually makes my life really easily. So I can actually do this mirrored, and then in here, I can flip this up vertically, it's just a one-to-one -one sort of thing. Okay, so let's undo the join. Since we don't need you no more. Don't need the doors either. Uh, this... That's the skin map side, good. And there's a whole bunch of ones we don't need here. Okay, this we can also mirror. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking so complicated about this. Completely forgot that that's how this works. Good. We are going to be using mirror modifiers. We don't need to do it right now, but we'll be doing it in the future. Door handles. Wait, does the space have door handles? The E space, sorry, whatever you call it. Yes, it does. And they're like weirdly on the bulging body part. Does this say how much wider it is? No. How much wider is the eSpace F1? No, it doesn't actually say how much wider. So we're going to have to eyeball this. For now, we're going to hide the door handles. I don't know which ones we're going to be using. Uh, unless we can actually figure out which ones are the body colored ones. Um, yeah, the... So, 
these headlights. This is where a bit of annoyance comes into play. Top Gear, yes, Top Gear is a magazine that also had a TV show. Started in the 70s, uh, started to die out in popularity in the 90s, and then completely went kaput uh, at the end of the 90s, early 2000s sort of time period. And that's when they got in contact with Jeremy Clarkson, who was previously one of their most popular presenters. And they said, you know what, we can redo the Top Gear show, except better and different. And then they relaunched. And they didn't have all of their cast at the time. James May wasn't in, and there was that other guy in. That was basically just a bit, a bit soulless, to be honest. Well, do modern, modern version? No. This is going to be only the old version. So, these headlights. If I don't modify them, I can do a version... Kind of like a... You see where it's got a... Got a, got a I'm seeing... I'm really doing bad with words here. See how it like goes around the taillights? You could do that here. But I don't think that works. We're gonna lose the front suspension, but not the front subframe. Don't need you. These ones are going to be a lot trickier to do the mirror modifying on, I think. Let's see how the headlights are done. I've never really tried to modify headlights because every time I've tried to do it, it's been such an annoyance. What the hell is that unwrap? That's super jank. They're all exactly the same. So there's only two unwraps. Oh, so that lines up perfectly. Okay. And then this side. But that doesn't line up. Oh, you know what? It's because... There we go. Now we can have a look. There we go. And then that's that side. Okay. So they are exactly mirrored, just different materials, right? Lansdale lights. Okay, there are different materials. That that makes my life a little bit more annoying. Hey, thank you. Ebugza gaming. Ebugza gaming? Is this gonna be a video? Probably not. I think what we're gonna to have to do here is start by modifying the fenders, then make the headlights match. So let's grab you, grab you, 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 and you. You know what? For this... We're gonna join you together to be a mono piece. Just to save on editing. I'm gonna grab you, 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 and you, and oh, we have to pick a bumper, don't we? So what do we got here? Oh, that's a facelift bumper. We don't need that one. 
So we've got pre-bumper. Keep pressing the wrong button there. We have two bumpers. B and A. Which one is which? We're going to have to go into now. Beam and G. And... I'm guessing one is painted and one is not painted. Yeah, so we got rid of the custom one. Then there's black and then there's painted. Uh, early painted rear bumper. So, if I looked at the other mid engine TV lines, it's not great. There's no mesh on nodes to the engine, and the exhaust rubs the ground. Oh well. Uh, early black rear bumper? No. Early painted rear bumper? That's spoiler. Okay, so what we're looking for is RB. Okay, that one's not the one we want. That's the one we want, because that's painted. Good. Okay, that's the one we want. Let's grab you. You, you, and you, you, and you. You know what? We're also going to do this. good do I grab the side skirt I don't think I do I think I'm gonna leave the side skirt and the headlights are gonna stay as they are now we're gonna start deciding where we start dragging out from that works pretty well See, I don't want to grab too much inwards here. I want to start grabbing it from not so far wide. What that will allow us to do is not have to move the headlights much. The less modding I have to do the headlights, the better. Because once you start modding headlights, you have to go in and uh, move a few other little dingleberries around. So let's instead grab some of these lines. We're going to move this section. Uh, but not around to here. Grab from about there, maybe. We're going to have to move this in parts. I was thinking I'd move this all in one, but no, that's not going to happen. Oh, there's actually jankery around here. Oh, that is so tight. That looks good. Then, let's take an eyeball because this is going to be like the widest part of the body. 30 centimeters wider? something like that so the body comes out then there's that little bit of extra bulge something like there
Okay. See what we're doing here? Make it smoother, kind of. We're not doing an exact replica. Then... I think we're gonna grab along here. Uh, yeah. Gotta make sure that I'm not selecting other things. Yep, good. And it's this line here we're gonna follow. I hate the double-sided way that they do things in BeamNG. It really frustrates me whenever I try to edit anything. Might have to, now that I'm thinking about it, lock off the sliding door so they don't work. Just to make it easier on me. I was thinking I was very naive to think that I would get this done in one stream. Wait, where was I grabbing? I was grabbing somewhere along here. Ah, it was this line here I was grabbing. There we go. And we're going to want to grab this all in one go. Wait, hold on. Do we want to grab this line as well? No. This is also, I'm just realizing, actually not going to work the way I wanted it to. Yeah, that starts doing weird things. I can work with this though, I reckon. Like, this gets a little bit choppy around here, but that can just be tweaked bit by bit. Hmm. Make the doors into gull wings? Nah, we're fine. Yeah, that works. Okay. Oh, but then the door handles are like right on the edge there. Okay. <coughs> and then all of this is going to get covered up from around here anyway with the new uh, fender stuff we're putting on. This is taking. Oh, this is a lot more complicated than what I thought it was going to be. Let's do both of these doors together. Wait, why is everything triangulated? Come on! 
They're usually so good about that. Ugh, I don't want to. You know, it's fine. We'll just ignore it. If we ignore it, it does go away. We'll just select this way instead. Hold on. Let's check one thing. Good, okay. Sometimes, um, door handles are a separate part. It's- it's very weird. Once we're done with this, we're gonna need to make sure that there's no interior fenders selected. There's a lot of interior stuff selected. You know what? Those will be fine. This will have to get worked on. So let me just that bit. Okay, now we deselect you. Hmm, actually. We will keep that selected. Uh, no, we won't. At least not for now. We can do that later. If we want to. Which I don't want to, so we'll leave it. This is good. Okay. Frick, this doesn't line up very well. Oh, you know, that's, that's okay. Oh, these door handles. Shave door handles. That's what we're doing. Nah. Screw these door handles. What the hell? Alright, so how do we do this? So we're going back that way. There's nothing in between, so... We're just gonna get these to all merge to the end. Oh, but then there's a whole bunch of triangles here to get a... Ah. Hmm. You know what? You don't exist either. Untriangulate? I hate doing untriangulation. Every time I've done it, it's like always been super jank. Um... You know what? You don't exist either. The skins on this are gonna be super bad.
Let's also hope that these skins are the right way around. Nope, that actually works out perfectly. Ugh. I mean, I say perfectly. Edge, mark, sharp, mesh, normals, reset vectors. There we go. Okay, shave door handles it is. Bridge edge loops? Oh yeah, I do remember how to do that, kind of, but not really. I think it's fine. I'll just do it the way I do it, because I'm also thinking through it as I do it. Then we have to make sure that they're all facing the right way as well. Oh, now there's like a line here? Really? This looks pretty darn bad. Dunskis. Shave door handles, for one. Uh, skirt can stay there, I reckon. We're just gonna bulge out the main part of the part? Part of the bodywork. You said untriangulate. Let's try that again. How do I do this again? Is it a modifier? Or is it a mesh? Tries to quads. Is that gonna sl that selects everything anyway? <sighs> yep, that's not going well. All right, no tries to quads. Alt J. That was Control J. Whoops. Yeah, that's why I don't do it. Uh, that, yeah, that's why I don't use um, things. It gets a little confused sometimes. I don't think I've ever used tries to quads and it's not gotten confused. Who messaged me? A better mirroring technique that doesn't require a modifier or deleting parts and thus less damage to UVs. And here we're gonna follow. Wait, what? I, I heard my voice, I thought you were watching my thing there for a second. What was that? I hate that this thing. So... Wait, what? Nothing happened. Okay, edit mode. I hate the double-sided way that they do things in BMNG. It... Can I... Alright, I'm gonna mute this. I don't like listening to myself. Yeah. Okay. That's not helping me. Wait, wait, what have you done? I'm so confused. That was a terrible tutorial I've given me. Do you select array there? Oh, I thought I knew what that button did. 
auto merge vertices or something? I don't. Yeah. Ah, oh, the mirroring. Ah, okay. That was a terrible tutorial, gave me. And then Agent Y is a good modder. I'm not quite sure what he's asking, but he is asking me something in the middle of the stream, so we'll deal with that later. Um, because of the way this jacked up mesh is, uh, we're gonna grab from these nodes. And you know what, we're also going to edit this at the same time. I think that'll make my life a little bit easier if we do that. Uh, this is going to grab everything except that one there. Then... A little bit of scar music to wake you up in the morning. Hopefully. This is what we want. Do I know for certain what I'm doing is going to work out perfectly? Hell yes, I don't. Uh, let's not grab you. You know, we probably do want to grab you, but we're not going to. Uh, we don't need to grab any of you. Since we're going to be creating a uh, fender widening thing anyway. Most of the problem with doing all of this work though, is having a vision of how it's going to look from the very beginning. And you may be asking, hey Phil, how do you know what this is going to look like when you start? Ah, here's the trick. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of mostly making it up as I go along. Oh, there's overlap of model here. That's an annoyance. It's a big annoyance. Ah, oh, there we go. Chef, the time is matching you. Cool. <laughs> Not perfect. But now to do as the a Catholic priest would say, looking after the orphans by touching it up a little bit. Catholic. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna have to one bring this back in line. I didn't realize that I'd been an idiot and selected that. Why does that look weird? Is that meant to look weird? I don't think it is. Let's go up to you, Edge. Mark Sharp. Mm, there is a bit of a weirdness going on here. Oh, I know what the problem is. I know why it's looking weird. It's because these are also... Okay. So here's a weird thing that Blender does. If there's an edge, there's two things you could do. One, you can make it uh, sharp, like I just showed you. 
The other thing is uh, the shading for like leading up to an edge. If you got it set to shade, some, I need to turn the music off for a second. Well, you know what? Actually, I can turn my headset down. So the key is is say you had like a, a bend on this line. The shading, if you have shade smooth enabled, would go all the way until the next, basically the line. But if it's a triangle, it's a little bit different. But we're, we're getting off track there. Uh, what you would do then is just have another face here. Oh, sorry, another line here that's very close. So then you got a little bit of a curvature, but only as far over as you want it to be. And then I moved these over, so that's why that's acting weird. So if we grab that SX. That's now mostly brought that back into good standing. Now, did I stuff up anywhere else? No, that's all good. Alright, let's now get this to line up. That's weird. Did I do it wrong? Oh, you know what? I didn't grab the stuff at the bottom there, so that's probably also playing a little bit of funny buggers. Hmm, actually, you know what is... The I mean, I, I haven't got this perfect, as we can see here. Oh, it needs to invert. Weird. Uh, so you're playing funny fuckers. Now, doors are not going to open or close properly. But what you want there is somebody to make a better mod than what I can make. You know, I'm almost fine just to put a line down there and then make this into the... side thing. But that is very flat, and this is not very flat. And it's also going to deal with trim garbage that I don't want to deal with. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're still going to make the uh, side pod stuff. So let's go in. Uh, cube. Oh, excuse me. It wraps around the wheels, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, it's going to be very hard to line up around here. How would I do that? Hmm. Some look cuts in here.
Uh, yeah, this is going to take a lot more as well, isn't it? Alright, and let's grab these insides since they don't need to exist. Um... We're going to have this very high poly to at least start with. Unsubscribed? You hate what I'm doing already? Uh, I'm already here. That can be pretty dead sharp. I mean, it's not meant to be. A perfect view. I mean, look at that. That is not a good looking vehicle. It's just because it was made in real life, it's just very special. Thinking about there is where that'll sit. And it's only just at the top of the wheels as well. So we're gonna bring these all down a bit. All except you. No, that doesn't work, does it? I was gonna have it uh, be horizontal, completely horizontal like theirs. But theirs has a very faint lift, and this one has a very exaggerated lift. So I think we're gonna have to do a little bit more lift uh, than they do. Using edge crease? What's wrong with using edge crease, Jordan? We appreciate the time Phil puts into his videos. Yeah. Also, thank Jordan for being my editor. Who's in the chat right now. He's the one that was uh, showing me the tutorial. That god-awful tutorial. Let's go take some kids to the racetrack. What the hell? Apparently, Jordan does simply not exist. Um, hmm. Does this flare out at all? Does it get wider on the rear compared to the front? It does look like it's wider on the rear. I wonder if we have a wheelbase. Oh, we do! Wheelbase, that's its length. Wait, no, wheelbase is width. Not its length of the vehicle. Width, okay, so we have width. A little over two meters. That's not right. Have I misread that as well? There. That's what I just read. Hell no! have a scale modifier? Everything's 10%. Oh my god, why do they do that? Does anybody know why 10% is like a thing that they do here? In a lot of other games they do things? Oh, you're right! I was doing radians instead of degrees. It, like, you know what I mean. So it's one point... Zero to five, basically. I 
Well, apparently we've made a wider vehicle than what they have. I get the feeling that this vehicle from the starting point was already wider. So we're gonna go a little bit skewed, I think, but just a little bit. Okay. Will base won't match anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Gonna head off. It's cadet time. All right, cadet time. Thank you for being here. Hmm. It does have a crease line. You know, I'm gonna try to use into uh, like um, the thingy me facey thingy. How does this work? Uh, look, cut knife. Uh, there we go. Can I just do that? But this way? That's nah, not. What you know, actually, loop cut is what we want. No, that's fine. Loop cut works. Then add a crease line to you too. Hmm, do we want this to be a more defined edge? There we go, that fixes it. Now, if I was any good at uh, creating normals, I would do it that way instead. has a fairly large one, doesn't it, on the bottom line? Yeah, that does have a fairly large line there. Oh, but then the front comes around like that. Blech. I could probably try to get this to match up and just blend into that, maybe. Does it actually touch that? What's happening? This isn't actually touching. There we go. Uh, now. Oh, this all doesn't match. Um... I'm gonna have to stick another loop cut in here. I've gotta do what I wanna do. There we go. This is all gonna be cut out anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Thank you. 
Okay, how does it happen on the back end now? Just kind of wraps under. Kind of like that. Is it this line? Yeah, okay, that works. I think that is done. Mostly what we wanted to do. Now we're going to work with a duplicate of this. Because now we're going to start doing some brutal things like applying the modifier. It's not great. Oh well, it'll do. Beam needs a modern luxury car? Then make one. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start cutting it up and putting it on doors. Actually no, the next thing we're going to do is create a cylinder and we're going to cut out these wheel wells. Jank and dumb. Oh, uh, you know what? We also want this to side of this section. And we're going to use a boolean in a minute cut this out. can't actually see what's in there. There we go. That's not what I wanted. Wait! Where'd it go? Silver. No, there we go. Very close. Okay, let's see if this works, because a lot of the times this doesn't like to work with uh, unsolid shapes. Unenclosed shapes? Bully! Might have to close in the back face. Sometimes things can become real wacko. There we go, that's working better. I hate doing this, but there we go, applied. I think I'm fine. go in and make this a sharp edge.
How do I get ads on stream? I turn them on. Uh, I tell them to do it automatically as well, so I don't have to remember or think about it. Or stinge people out. Mark Sharp. They didn't update, so let's go mesh, normals, reset vectors. Frick. Really? Edge. Clear sharp. There we go. Oh, you know what? That's come out quite nicely. Except, I think... What happens if we tell Lee's to shade smooth? Yeah, that's unfortunate. So we're gonna have to go back. And re-add in the sharpness. Vectors. But at least I don't play unskippable ads. Uh, I don't like unskippable ads. I mean, I have premium, so I don't have to watch ads at all and not sting out my uh, the creators I like to watch. But um, yeah, I make them uh, skippable. About to pull them all out to see this F1 van completed. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen tonight, but we'll see how much we can do. Ah, oh, there's no line right here. That's an annoyance. I could move this one over, actually. You know what? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You know what? Actually, that's probably gonna cause a problem. Let's not do that. That's looking pretty good. Basically just getting this to line up. Pretty darn close. Then we're going to use a bevel modifier on here. Uh, if you're wondering what it is, the technique that I'm using right now, I'm, I've am i got it set to, for your period, you can set how you want things to scale or rotate or all that sort of stuff. I got it on active element, so I'm always selecting this one last. And that'll allow me to just scale it upon that axis which keeps your very flat faces or whatever sort of faces you want how does it deal with a door seam door seam goes all the way to the floor okay This one is very close. out. My brain is starting to fry on, like, looking at all these little details. I'm not very good with this part. Well, at least my brain isn't. My brain does tend to fry very much on these. Now I need to rest my eyes for a second. So, let's chat to you guys and look at even smaller things, like chat. Did you miss anything? Just lots and lots of, uh, bevel modifiers. Some rims, please. Oh, nah. I, I, I'm not very good. You think I'm good at Blender. I'm not actually good at Blender. That sort of stuff is kind of beyond my skill level. That'll do. I wonder 
just go... Oh, I can just go GG on this. Okay. Completely forgot about GG. Does Blender autosave? No, but you are right. Maybe I should be saving. I haven't been saving this. Let's go ahead... You know, we're going to chuck it in here as well as a working file. This is going to be... B1? Sure. Okay. Bevel modifier time. What that's going to do is allow us to create... A door jam. Is that... It's good. Match is actually the normal width, almost. But, we are going to go three segments. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> then, grab that middle line. Scale it inwards. Now, remember how I was saying about the, uh, the edges tend to be very soft? This now shades and feathers this shade smoothing all the way out to this line. So, I could easily fix this up with a bit of a loop cut and just do that. And there you can see it's uh, already looking pretty good. Instead, I'm going to press GG and I'm going to bring that up a lot closer just to save a few polygons. And then we're going to even this out. Hopefully that works the way I intend it to. There's not any, like, hidden, like, problem there. This side we're going to need a loop cut, but I can already see that it doesn't go all the way down. And I hate when loop cuts don't work the way I want them to. And, yep, loop cuts are not going to work at all here. So instead... We're going to use a knife tool. Hey, would you look at that? One done. Did Phil do a boolean to get that cut out in the arches? Yes, I did. It doesn't work that way. You want to... Yeah, the, the wheel arches are not perfect. I think what you want... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell everybody else. I think you want somebody better making this mod. I'm just a content creator. I make mods secondarily. God, even getting dissed by my own editor. Okay, so lesson one of good topology in Blender. Please never use Boolean. So use Boolean only when I want to. But never any other time. Understood. Um, I think we're going to use loop cut on this side. Yeah, that works. Is the doors going to open? The front doors are, the rear doors, I'm sorry, are going to be welded to the body. Good shading relies on good topology and Boolean ignores the concept and throws everything into the blend. Yeah. It, uh, it becomes a bit of a problem. But that's when we use, uh, sharp, like, mark, mark, mark edge sharp.
Done. There we go. We now have the three segments. The three musketeers. Phil, do your automation bodies have similar wheel arches? Jordan, have you not realized? I haven't actually made a car body. I can't believe this. How do you not realize that? Mmm, what do we do here? Can we delete that many and not have it affect anything? No, that is actually affecting there. That doesn't look like it's gone through, so let's try... Delete! Good, there is no holes. You know, that can stay. <laughs> Jordan just realizing, mind blown. I'm not very good at Blender. I've said that a hundred times. It probably won't have an exact Reno skin, but it'll have like things. Now, looking here, this is part of the reason why you don't want to use uh, boolean. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> nope, that's the wrong one. If anybody wants to go through and make like a better model of this, that is entirely fine with me. As I say with all of these, I'm not too concerned. One day I must sit my ass down and make a proper tutorial for you on how to not use- I know how to not use it, it's just- I rushed! There! Look! It's done! Except, you know what, this is actually pretty bad. Oh, excuse me. Uh, that will do. I think we're gonna bring this bumper down a little bit. But you know what? Actually, we can't bring it around these exhausts, so we're gonna grab from about these parts onwards. Oh, downward, sorry. And then that can kind of wrap around the way we wanted it to. Oh, oh, sorry, around the exhaust. My, my brain is really starting to fade already. Like, this is what I struggle with looking at small things like this. There. That's pretty cool. Does this hurt the van? This is going to have to be its own thing entirely. Now, let's put a cut here. Edge split. Edge split. Edge split.
P selection. Join. Wait. Actually, you know what? Before I do that. Let's undo all that edge splitting. Uh, UV editing. That's interesting. That's the front, is it? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that is a terrible looking unwrap. You know what? It's fine. That is a much worse unwrap. How would... I hate you. Alright, let's undo all of that pinning stuff. Actually, you know what? That's, that's fine. That's not fine. I just want you to be... I want you to be my friend. Nope. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's a good enough UV unwrap, I think. Yeah, everything here is good art. Let's go back and start doing those edge splits we were talking about. After what you did to create it, I don't think it's going to be willing to make friends. I mean, it wasn't going to be good anyway, uh, the, the UV unwrap. But at least it's not freaking automation. God, that thing's a nightmare to <laughs> UV unwrap for sometimes. Is that not edge split? It should be edge split. Oh. It didn't edge split all the way. No, it didn't edge split at all. Is he not edge splitting? Okay. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Who disliked this video? Did somebody dislike it? Fair enough. It's, it's lots of jag. It's a V12 Group C car from the 90s? No, 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 no. no. This is... 
a one-off racing car, kind of like the Renault Esports. What a terrible vehicle. <laughs> and I love it. Okay. Let's rename all these parts we finagled with. Actually, hold on, I have an idea. I think we are going to do the cheapskate trick and not actually work on our headlights. Because screw headlights, I hate them. And there, it just kind of looks like the, um... What well, usually is on rear lights and not front lights, but, uh, the... What's it called? There is a vehicle that has this on the front lights, but I can't think of what it is. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Like a headlight that, uh, doesn't line up properly? on here ah that's what's going on here it could be a vent yeah it could be okay I could put like a vent material on there yeah What have we got here? That is a vent. This side has a bit of vent material on it. multiple mesh layers to this frick. Wait, this doesn't even unwrap. It's not even here. Yeah, I've... I've messed that up hardcore. Damn it. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Let's have a look how that's meant to look. Phil, did you know Dacia is going the Dakar Rally? They have been doing a little bit of racing stuff recently. Probably trying to play into the meme sort of culture. How many unwraps do we have? Just the two? My god, that is a huge unwrap. And that is under... F body kit mesh map zero. Why is 
still not unwrapped. Man. I've stuffed this up pretty bad. This has got this is not a good. Pre-bumper F. Pre-bumper F. Body kit, mesh map. Body kit, mesh map. Ah, okay, it's meant to be... Zero. Oh, no, it is there. Oh, thank God. <sighs> okay. Let's go through and get everything working right, because I did mess this up pretty bad. Hold on, girl, now wait just a minute. That's what I want. Okay, so got something to say. You should hear it. Oh, I'm happy to make time for your feelings. But you have to admit I already do. Let's just break it down to you and me uptown. Dancing all around. That's not right. Frick, hold on. That's the one that I want. No, this one is the one I want. You know what? Let's undo this. Hold on. I've, I've made a whoops. Okay. That's okay. Under trade because that's a different thing. Okay. Come on. Listen to me. Is you two? I've tried so many times to Something popped up in the corner of my eye. Sorry, this is just me fixing my errors now. If you're wondering. Okay, so these are the names that we want. Map zero. Map zero. Map one. Goes to map one. Now those two should be able to join together. And then they have the one. Unwrap. Good. We have unwrap one named. There we go. Okay. If you're also wondering what these two uh, unwrap layers do, the first one, it doesn't actually matter what the name is. It doesn't even matter if you call it zero or one. In BeamNG, when the materials are in there, it asks you whether you want to have it on UV, uh, like the material, uh, not the material that you're using, specifically the color map that you're using. So if you know what that is, this is for you. Uh, the first layer is generally, but not always, for just kind of like the base detail sort of color. There's grime on it or like if maybe they didn't do a keyhole as a mesh but instead it was an image they would have that generally as number one but number two not always but is generally always kept for uh skins so all your colors will go onto this area so it can be laid out however you want it but for some reason at some point they must have gone you know what if we want to make liveries and other sorts of skin things then we're going to want to clean a UV map so they separated the UV maps into doing it different ways 
And uh, if we go in, that's got a level two. That's got it there. That's got that. And that's got that. Uh, we can start to see that it's a bit hard to tell. But this is the unwrap we're looking at here. That is wrapped around that way. Except we, yeah, you know what? We didn't do the door handle stuff, did we? Let's go fix that. Is this joined with other things? What's happening here? Can I unwrap this in here? What if we go, hold on. You know what, yeah, yeah, we're gonna move this manually. Just to save a little bit of headache. Cause I hate having to deal with UV unwraps. UV unwraps are like the least favorite thing of me. Yeah, that's a problem. Damn it. All I want... is this part. To unwrap. <laughs> I hate you. You know what, let's move you one by one then. <laughs> Gotta hate UV unwraps. They're the least convenient thing in the world. You're on the edge. Actually, I don't know where you're meant to be at all. Let's guess. You know what, actually, I don't think you're meant to be up here. Okay. There's something missing here. Is it you? No? Okay. This one is apparently in many different sections. You're about there. here. What is causing this to be bug-eyed? Well, not bug-eyed, but like, cock-eyed sort of weird thing. Oh, I think I know what's happening. That edge is not meant to be there. What the hell? You know what? 
we're going to go with Mark Seam. Then I'm going to go back to this weird one. UV unwrap. Fix you good up and proper. I think this is rotated. That's close. That's close. Okay. What? There's another one? Oh my god. Let's do it this way then. Done. And then this is actually not an issue. I don't think. Wait, no, hold on. There is an issue here. There we go. These, on the other hand... Yeah. UV unwrap. You don't matter. There. Oh. You're you're proud of me now. Oh, I hate doing that. I, I hate UV meshes. They suck. Um, we're also going to get this stuff to match up with the door lines in a bit. But for now, we are... Phil, can you do videos teaching us how to mod and not just modding yourself? Because the more in-depth videos of value making mod... It, I've been considering it, but it is a very hard mod uh, video to make. So we will get there eventually. On oh, this doesn't have door handle stuff. Thank God. What we are going to do, though, is, um... Fix this up. So I want you to have... This name. doesn't work does it can I rearrange you oh I can't rearrange you oh no ah oh, shit there we go okay there we go alrighty so there it's good and there it's good okay let's do the same to you Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't separate you yet. There, yeah. I did prematurely join everything. I wasn't ready yet. Why is there so many maps? Did I join some things as well? No? Weird.
Who's Clark? What are we talking about in here now? Welcome, bandit guy. Who's Kralk? What? Who's Clark? What are, we, what are we talking about? Is there somebody in the chat? Did I... Did I miswrite something? Who's... I'm confused. Founded in 1973. It's a bus-powered something. I don't know what's happening. They're talking about naming the car Clark. I was going to call it the eSports. Because it's like the eSpace, but the eSports. Uh, let's do a little bit of Alt-H. No, that was wrong. I think... We have enough to start going back into and making our own bodies now. Whew, okay. Lands better. The Wii Sports. <laughs> That's probably a no from me. suspension choice now. I don't actually know who Clark is. Like, is, is that a reference to something? Did I misspell something? Where'd Clark come from? If I knew the reference to it, I would consider it, but I'm not going to. Uh, oh yeah, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do this. That might have to be mostly livery stuff. For there is a straight up and down. I don't think that's going to work so well here. So let's go some loop cuts and just like create lots and lots of geometry for no reason. Three slots. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, that'll work. There is no meaning? Ah oh, well. It goes pretty much the entire length. Edge split? Is, is that what I want to do here? Maybe. This'll be what we do. It's not perfect like they've done. But I think it works. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. We didn't even need to do the edge split. What am I talking about? Because we're going to be using faces on it. We're going to be putting material in there.
Rip shading. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, it's not great either. Um, is there a way to change the way in which these triangles are going without actually putting triangles on there? I don't think there is. That's not great. But you know what it'll do? Oh wait, no, that's the wrong way. No, that is, yeah, okay, that's all right. Um, I don't think I like how this looks. It was going fine, then you added, then you just had to redo it. Shame, man. Yeah, you know what? I think you're right. Let's put some faces in, and we'll do it that way. So. Edge split. <laughs> you know what? Have we selected the right ones? Oh, thank God we have selected the right ones. Now, what happens... Oh, that actually looks pretty clean. Yeah! I don't know what's happening to the topology here, but it's working out! Uh, we will, however, add sharp lines to this part. Yeah, now that, that breaks it. This is going to have to have a different material applied to it. We actually have the material we're going to apply to it, too. That's no good. There we go, much better. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Uh, material. What was this called again? Grill Hex. Alright, that'll now have a grill material on it. It's like box with round. A little bit. Pretty hard to see though. Like I, 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 I can't. Ooh, that's this is gonna be interesting. I will have just the normal material for everything else. Then that whole section is gonna be grey, but I think that's gonna have to be done in a livery painter instead. Wait, Ocean Gate is still offering two? Are you kidding? I bet you what it is is they just haven't taken the site down yet. All the S need to join BMMP server and wreak havoc. That sounds like a problem. See, what I'm guessing is also happening with the website is the fact that there was one person in charge. That one person is dead. That's a problem. Since you've put the engine in the back, move the fuel cell to the front under the hood if you can. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing something like that. Is that like a picture of a fuel tank? Usually a fuel tank will go between the engine and the cockpit. But the engine is a part of the cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> Google Images has no idea what the hell it is that I'm asking it. 
It's got F1 cars, it's got the Espas F1, and then it's got fuel tanks for the Espa uh, the E Space. Google will be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you asking such weird questions? Still, oh, it is actually still using the F1 tank. That's weird. Um. All right. Let's do that mirror thing that I was talking about. So let's up. Hey, thank you, Hato. Two dollars, safest F1 car in history. Maybe. I don't actually know. I don't know how safe or unsafe this thing was. So, this is the new magic side that didn't exist before. Let's go to UV editing and you'll see that everything is here. What I want to do is because it's it's uh, overlapping the other side. So if we go control I, invert, select, it's still there. So, what we're going to do is because this side doesn't matter. This side is uh, all on the same area. If we go to this side, Bring up this and... T no, no, not over here. Over here. Go to view. Change the 3D cursor location to... Y0.5. Then select everything here. Then... Scale... No. Change this to 2D cursor. Scale on the Y minus 1. Done. Now I've got all the mirroring that I need. Now we have to do this, to do that to everything that I finagled with. It's not the worst thing in the world. Especially now that I've got everything lined up already. S, Y, minus one. Perfect. Now this one's gonna have an extra step in it. So for starters, Mirror, apply, S, Y, minus one, then we go P, selection, go to that fender, if you hit period on numpad, that centralizes whatever you got selected, if you do it in this window, it'll always centralize on the model. If you go over here and you hit period, it'll always centralize on uh, the selection that you've got. We change that to up. Oh, done. Now we do that to here. I forgot to mirror. So many steps. It's been over six hours modding today, but that's because I kept telling myself one more thing before I back up these files. Next thing you know, I overrode the wrong file. Oh, I've done that before. Good point. I'm going to save. Fender, R, door, R, front, 
door. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that is a part of the body. That is the floor pan. You know what? We'll get that floor pan to line up in a bit. We do have fender liners here. What are they? Nice to have fender liners. We've already got fender liners, right? There seems to be a lot of cheese in the chat. Very confuzzled. So why is there two fender liners? Here we have what I think is... Ah, this fender liner doesn't go the whole way, but that fender liner does. Do we have two of these? Yes, we do. Hmm. Do we grab you and you and scale... Scale outwards? That does a pretty good job of lining up. Oh. No, eh, not so much. I think that'll do. Oh, gay. Is there anything with a dot zero zero one? I don't think so. Oh, here we go. What's that? I think that was their mistake and not mine. So let's go in. Have a look here. Yeah, <laughs> they've made a few mistakes. There's some sort of like moon roof thing. Let's lose that. this roof bar mount alt 2 don't want that ah don't care about that okay now we're all good uh is there anything else here that's not meant to be here headlights you know what we don't need any of the headlights since we stuck with the normal ones anyway. What's this? Oh, okay, yeah, no, we, we got that. Door handles, though. We are losing to say that we're getting shaved door handles. Let's actually go through. Okay, that's everything Lansdale. We're gonna have to change everything Lansdale though to be just a little bit different. Maybe we'll change the Lansdale to esports. There's some weird things happening in the chat. You guys are weird. Let's go ahead and start doing the J beaming part now that we're done with this. Oh wait, front suspension. You know what? We'll deal with front suspension in a bit. Lansdale body to start with. Replace everything. No, we don't want to do that. This is going to be the esports body. Esports body. To make sure that. Good, there's only the one thing. The reason why you have to change the author name, even though I'm not going to actually be changing very much, is because uh, you're only meant to have the Beam and G name there on things that are actually 100% the Beam and G stuff. So, yeah. Uh, most of this will be fine for now, but we're going to change things on the flex body.
Control F2 allows us to bring up find and replace. Lands Dally with eSports. F4, export, DAE, and this is going to be eSports body. We can change the name of it later, but for now, we're just going to call it that. Uh, so, change that. Engine bay, we didn't actually change. Just the floor pan and the body. Okay. I haven't... So I created the folder earlier. We have to hit Control L, which will reload everything to do with... Lua, which includes uh, reading folder structures, as far as I'm aware. Now, eSports body. You're going to do weird things to me, aren't you? What? What has happened? What? The body. Oh, we didn't actually bring in a body. Oh. Floor pan? I think we did a floor pan, right? We did do a floor pan. Okay. Let's undo that whoopsie toodles. And now the floor pan shouldn't look like this. Right. Is that the fuel tank? Yeah. Oh, no, the floor. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Let me quickly go in and apply that mirror modifier sitting right there in front of me. Okay, floor pan is the underside of the car. Rename everything to eSports since that's called that in the model. Not everything we've taken. Um, quarter panels next. So let's start going through here. We're going to have to make these specific. Mud flaps, probably going to do without. Spotlight. I'm assuming that's for police cars, so we can get rid of that. Underglow, we're not going to have that. Spare tire, not going to have that. Glass, that's all fine. Roof, that can stay. Quarter panels, here we go. So that's going to change to eSports. Would it be under Q for quarter panels? LMA quarter panels. And we're only going to keep the quarter panels that we want. Don't delete the fun stuff. You know what? I'll put it back at the end. But for now, I just want to keep things nice and clean. Quarter panels early. Quarter panels late. We can lose that one. question no the panels are not double-sided 
Wait, what's the quarter panel then? Ah, the quarter panel is just the rear section. Uh, trim is... You know what, I'll leave the trim on, maybe. We'll see how that goes. Side skirts we don't need. Tail lights, yes. Fender flare, no, that'd be a hidden anyway. Bumper... Bumper bar? What? I'm confused by that. Not that either. Okay. What? That's the wrong one. I think the name is wrong. No, that's right. Weird. Ah, American... What? Bugatti is real? Hey! Would you look at that? So, the livery is not quite right, but we'll get around to that later. Thank you, Goat. I appreciate that. Is it inside out? No, no, it wasn't inside out. I would have been able to see that on uh, the opposite side. That's looking a pretty good. Now, from here, we're going to want specific... No, that's the wrong one. From here, we're going to want the specific bumper. So we have bumper and bumper bar. What the hell is a bumper bar? Rear bumper support. Ah, that can stay the same, but this is gonna change. So bumpers. Let me change to this. Let's now grab. You know we don't need you. You. Bumper bar, rear, you know, and front, but we'll figure that out in a minute. Early cut, gambler, late tube, wait. Early? Okay, we'll grab you. And you. And let's lose you for now. I forgot to change the names of these. We're going to go with the rear bumper to start with. Bumper bar is the strong part of the bumper. The actual bumper is just the cover. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused as to why they're separate, but okay. Most cars made in the last 50 to 60 years don't have visible bumpers technically. Good point. That's why fender bumpers do so much damage to the body because the visual bumpers. Oh, fender benders. Yeah, yeah. I understand the concept. But what's it meant to be like an impact at less than five miles per hour or seven miles per hour, something like that, is not meant to damage at all? Uh, this also won't have a lip anymore. We will be editing all of these uh, node placements later. Oh, this is black. Oh. 
You know what, that doesn't actually matter. Is that going to update automatically? No, it's not. It just went rear bumper empty. Oh, nomenclature, how much I hate thee. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. There, it was just an A instead of a B. There we go. Just bit by bit. Is there anything else in... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't fill in these gaps like I said I was going to. Let's go quickly do that. I don't think we need you at the moment. It'll do. Oh, it didn't mirror. Frick. Let's do that mirror trick that uh we were shown earlier. Hey, it does work. Funny is the intake for the engine goes in front of the car. Really? If there's a picture of the interior, you'll see that it's actually the trumpets at the very least. What is that? Oh, for a second there, I thought that might be some sort of like x-ray version of it so we can see what's happening. I see some coolers there, but... You know what, that might be an air intake. Seems like a bad place to put one, though. Wait, was there more than one version of this? These are people for brake calling. Those would be for, like, the radiators or whatever. There we go. If you could see, if it'll load in, uh, that's the trumpets right there. So it is possible that they got, like, a duct all the way into there. Is that what you're meaning? Look like a photo scan. Look like something weird. What is this going to sound like? I'm going to do a little bit of sound editing, but not a lot. I'm not very good at sound editing either. And it's all going to be in JBeam. Uh, all right. Anything else on the quarter panels that need to be edited? Trim. I did need the trim. That's fine. We'll figure that out. Yeah, at some point. What trim would we want, actually?
Painted? Yeah, that works. So, did I close that off? Yeah, I did close it off, didn't I? Let's try doing that import thing that he was showing me earlier. So, specifically, I'm going to search also for that part which we were just looking at. Which is body trim painted. Early painted body trim. Start by dragging it in. Scintilla. For now, it's going to be just the Scintilla V10, uh, V10, but not necessarily. Early back black body trim. Uh, we don't want that one either. Early right fog light cover, don't care about you. Fog light. Early painted body trim, there we go, we'll keep that one. Early painted front bumper trim, we'll keep you. Early chrome body trim, get rid of you. Early chrome front bumper trim, we'll get rid of you. You'll be changed to eSports. Flex bodies. Oh, God. There's so many of them. Let's start off with these ones. I was going to do the append stuff, but I can't be bothered. There's too much here to search for. So we got Lansdale, uh, R's, L's. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from. No. One, two, three, four. Five, six. There should be six from this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're getting other things in here, apparently. Go straight into... Ah. Uh, let's grab those. Should be three of those. Hate you. Uh, B. <sighs> you know what? You actually don't matter. These do, though. Been here since 2.30 a.m. That's very late for you. For me, it's only 7.18. I'm fresh-faced. So, let's first look for pre-trim R underscore B. That one. Damn it! You know what, actually, hold on. That means that we don't need those. We know we don't want those. R R and R L. Bees. Now this is going to be a little bit jank, because now we've done that and we have to immediately go in and start fixing these things.
I wonder, will this work even if it's not the same thing all the time? It didn't work, frick. You know what, that's fine. My, my sleep schedule was pretty good last week as well. But now I'm waking up at like 12 in the middle of the day. Okay, you know what, I think that's the only parts we need as well. This isn't going to work, is it? Yeah, no. First, we have to <coughs> go in and change... Wait, what do we do here? Yeah. Change this with eSports. Then Fender stuff? Ooh, you know what? We haven't gotten around to Fender stuff yet. Let's... Oh, door stuff we don't need. Because that is... Going to be entirely covered up. Trunk? I think we've got that already. Oh, wait. You know what? I also haven't changed... This... Is trim. Frick. Where do I find trim? Trim early. Oh, I've already done that. Where the hell does the trim name get found then? Let's go find where Trim is. Body would it be under fenders, maybe? Yep, okay, the trim was here. We already have that up though. Quarter panels. Lansdale trim. Esports trim now. And with a quick refresh, what do you know? It's working! No, it's not. There we go. Ah, that's what I did wrong. I had the name wrong. Uh, you are... Dunskies. What about the rest of the quarter panels? Then we have tail lights, they're all good. Bumper bar rear early, that's fine. Lansdale bumper, that's all good. All right, that's this file done. Let's go back into eSports. Now we have, we've done windshield quarter glass roof. It's all good. Quarter panels. Done. Rant support, good. Mirrors, good. Doors. Uh, we're now up to door, so these are also change to eSports. Oh, eSports.
So that's all doors. We have doors rear, doors... So front and rear, and then gambler doors. So I think we just grab both of these. Obviously change up their name, as we said earlier. We do not want them to replace the current files in there. For one, it won't get approved. You know what, we might leave the sliding door thing for now and see what it looks like. Otherwise we might have to just weld the doors onto the body, which is actually pretty easy to do. I see you made plenty of progress while you were gone. The person? Wow, what a... What a descriptive name you've got there. Can you play multiplayer? Yeah, you should be able to. I don't, um, don't know why you're asking me. See you later, Wyatt Nash. Thanks for being here. <coughs> okay. Doors. Welding doors. Okay. We're not going to weld the front doors, but we will weld the rear ones. We don't need the door handles, as we've talked about. Lansdale panels. Oh, we're going to have a weird smudge on the door where the door handles were. Door panels can stay default. All we want is to change the doors themselves. Uh, slots. Glass, glass, handle. Welding, you know what, we'll leave that there in case somebody wants to do that. Flex bodies. That will get changed. That can go there. Should be the front doors done. Yup. Big chungus. Why is that not the grill? Oh, you know what? Maybe they're not really huge. Ah, yeah, they're very small. UV, unwrap. And then we gotta do the same to the other side. Now they should have a little bit more detail on them. I'm guessing not much. Why? Do you hate me? Is that why you're doing this to me? Have they both applied the right material? Yeah, they should have the grill hex. You know what? Maybe they want to be like super duper large. Now that I'm looking at that. It should be working. <laughs> it's the white French boy. I'm not French. See what I did there? I thought I was funny. I'm funny. 
I don't know why this isn't working. We may have to uh, do some like material resets to get that to work. I'm also noticing there's a little bit of a pinch that happens there. So we are probably going to have to do something later. What the hell? Yep. That's the door handle problem we were talking about. I completely forgot about that. Uh, why is the rear doors... Ah, uh, you know what? We haven't put the rear doors code in yet. Let's go do that. Fix my normals? You can fix your normals. What do we got here? So we have door, door, panel, panel, handle, 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 handle. Welding we're going to leave on and we might set that to core. Why is this... Weird. Panel bear. We'll leave that. Change this. We'll leave that. Without the door handles, they're not going to open at all. You know what? For now, we're going to leave that in and we're just going to fudge some things. My caps. Actually, since we had the door welding, you can just actually leave that there. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Let's go fix some UVs. It's this entire section here that's having a problem. Yep. Really wrong unwrap. You guys want to play funny buggers? Okay. We can fudge this around a bit. What the hell? Six. <laughs> what even is this? Does that go there? God, I'm playing some sort of like weird Lego at the moment to get this to work. What the fuck, Wad? You know what, since it doesn't matter. Let's do the same thing to the other side now. Because this is not the livery side. Barely see in there. Let's see how jank this is. That was easier than what I thought. Nice. 
Front quarter panels! Let's go! You know what, actually, hold on. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna press the door open button and I'm gonna see what happens. You know what, if you're not paying attention, I think that's acceptable. I mean, we are gonna change the node positions later on. So it's not gonna be perfect rolled off the bit. The jank is a lot, mate. Yes, there is a lot of jank. I agree with that. You should just load the body color texture into Blender. That way you can just move it to an area with body color. Yeah, that becomes like really annoying to have to deal with, but I do understand what you're saying. Put the door opening node on the doors with the door handles and not physically on the car. Yes. I can move those areas around. And actually we have this, not the coupler. Is it the triggers? I think it's the triggers. And we would move those around. But my god. This stuff makes no sense. So generally, the first number, so X, would be your width. And then the second number is Y, which is your, uh, like, longitudinally along the car. And then the last number, which is Z, is usually vertical. This, no. And it may not even just be, like, rotated, like, off by, like, 90 degrees. It can be off by, like, a weird dicky angle. And then you're having to, like, see, you got your car door handle here. And you got the thing over here. It could be, like, that sort of angle. So you have to look, kind of, like, move it over until you get it there. It's infuriating. I don't know why they have this stupid system in the first place. Should never have existed. I don't know. Some So what must have happened is right at the very beginning when they started to make this project. Somebody was just having like a headache. And they couldn't figure out what was happening because their brain just wasn't. You know you when your brain isn't on the right wavelength. You're like, oh I can't, I can't think right now. All I know is I want it to move a different way. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to move it relative from its position. And it's always like this weird, stupid relative position BS. I hate it. We can, however, I think, change base translation to global. And then mess with it that way. Which it should have been that from the very beginning. Britain weather right now is miserable. I am sorry to hear that. Just fix the pivot point. Makes sense? Sure. So, front bumper, then front fenders, I reckon. So let's go front bumper. -y. Bumper. Oh, we've already got that. Bumper early, bumper early, B, sporty, lip. Uh, this is the one we want. Lansdale... pre -bumper. Oh, it's not actually here! Okay, well that was the wrong bumper to grab then. Where is it? Oh, it's under body kit! Oh, we don't want this at all, do we? Oh, wait, you know what? We maybe do need that. Eh, whatever. Because I'm guessing it's the difference between bumper bar and bumper. Yes, it is very cold here in South Australia. Uh, bumper body kit early. Early custom front bumper. Early custom rear bumper we don't want. Uh, bumper body kit tip early? <coughs> don't need you. Side skirt don't need you. Side skirt don't need you. 
Oh, that's rear bumper stuff anyway. Lansdale bumper F early. Let's double check this. Lansdale, uh... It is. Okay. So. We can... Get rid of you. Then over here, get rid of you. Since we're using the body kit instead. Hey, Wolf Games HD gifted one sub. That is an arbitrary number to give, but cool. GP8, congratulations. You got a free membership from Wolf Games. Jasper Cox somehow sent a blank message. It is true that once it gets hot here, it gets super hot. So maybe I shouldn't be so upset. So we got top and body kit. Let's change this to eSports. Then we have license plate. has a license plate on the rear but I don't think any of them have it on the front you know when this was loading in I had a bit of a, a thing there you know when beam and G when the mesh doesn't line up very well and you have like a minor collision then like the like a vertice will go like flying way off in the distance I saw this door open and I thought because beam and G the door was damaged and then like a vertice had like split off down here I was thinking like my brain is Turning to Beam and G. Everything is Beam and G. I didn't realize until now. Uh, building the F1 e space, I see. This should be an interesting build. Yeah, we're coming along. I think we only. Wait, which part did we actually call this? Nah, that's the wrong one. And then we don't need this because we made it into one. Uh, Lansdale, that changes as well. That's wrong. Changes to this. Uh, now we need to go into the body. Find the body. Bumper. You know what, actually? We got doors. Done. Tailgate roll cage. Let's go. Wait, where's the bumper? Wait. What's the bumper inside of? God damn it. Front, flip, uh, quarter panels, engine. Let's have a look under here. Rear bumper, tail lights, rear bumper, body trim. Oh, it's under the rad support. Weird. That's very weird. E F G H I J K radiator radiator support. I think we ran out of our hundred songs on the list. List. Yep. That is a hundred, right? That is one hundred songs. There's only four hundred left. Oh no, what shall we ever do? Sweet. Uh, rad support. Is that going to be under body? We have fuel tank, suspension, interior, horn. Rad support. Oh, okay. Yep. 
put a little bit of these sports in there. And this one is also going to be a rad support. Now apparently there's other versions in here. We've got rat support late, rat support gambler. We're good to not have that. Can you suggest music to play? No, I've just got uh, royalty free music playing. I don't want to get copy struck as uh, some people would miscall it. That can stay the same, but the slots are gonna change. So bumper bar is gonna stay. Bumper itself, however, is going to change. Hood is going to say the same. Fascia. We'll find out about whatever the hell that is. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Things just stuff up. There we go. Hey, would you look at whatever the hell that is? Trim. There we go. That's wrong. You know what? We'll get around to that. Oh, bro, Phil, put the TF2 upgrade station music on loop. I've never really played Team Fortress 2. I've tried to play it a little bit, and it just felt floaty, so I never played it. My ghost on GK Racer? Fair enough. Thank you for being here. I do get that this is a really long stream, and it is not a great time for Americans. Uh, we have been going for four hours. Wow, four hours only? We've actually come quite a, uh, a distance in three hours. Four hours. GT40 music? What? GT4. Gran Turismo 4. I don't know if Gran Turismo 4 music will get me copywritten as well. Especially on such a long project. I don't want to, like, do it for no money. I need money! What am I doing? Fenders. Fenders. Fenders F. Early. Gambler late. Fender Liners F. Oh, interesting. The hell is a Fender Liner needing its own J Beam for? It actually has a no a vertices. It's got two vertices! What the hell? Why is it true? What are these? F E eleven R. Damn it, I'm too close. F E eleven. Okay, I can see you. So it doesn't actually even come out even. Oh no, it does come out. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the entire fender! I'm a fender dude. Uh, 
Um, so, Fenderland is going to stay, apparently. I don't know why it's not just a, a node that's in the fender itself. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's go back to our car. God, I hate the fact that the order is now out of order for these things. Let's lose you for now. We could just run with a default fender liner. Bad mesh, sorry, what? Texture class 2, attack of the trim. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. Is this also going to be a short video or probably not? This one, this one's a supplementary for there not being a video yesterday. If Jordan, however, wants to make a video out of it, he can go right ahead and basically want a seppuku from the amount of work that this would require. Beeman G does strike again. Some weird things, yes. Fender R early, Fender L early, perfect. Now, I did do the fender liners, so that is a thing that won't be too bad. Now, did I change the rad support? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, here we go. the hell? Where'd that come from? I mean, not to say it doesn't look cool, but what the hell? What is that? That's a UV thing, because that's in the middle of the fender. Yeah, it's not this. It's gotta be these ones, right? Yeah, nothing's changed. It's where trim used to be, possibly? No, the trim is like way down here. And we've creased along here. So it's on the painted end. Wait, what the hell? How did they get moved? What? That's weird. Why 
Did I accidentally move it? Maybe when I... Uh, no, that's wrong. Did I accidentally move it when I moved uh, the fender stuff around, maybe? Like the, the added fender stuff? That's a weird one. Phil goofed? It's seemingly. Okay, and project done. Nothing left to do here. Everything's all good. Do Alton on the white face? What's Alton? Nothing. Do all to four on the white face. Nice, done. You mean in here? Eh, no, we don't want that. All right, let's drive our new car around. What do we reckon? Fanta- oh my god. I swear I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. Very quiet. Uh, chat, do I make this thing wide body or no? Sorry, uh, the, the suspension wide body or no? <laughs> do we just leave it as is? Is that how we do this? I think that's how we do this. Body is as is. Build a mirror fixing car. Woo! Yeah, look at us go. Woo. You love it? Great. Now it kind of looks a little bit more like a flying saucer compared to, um, actually having the wheels where they need to be. Oh, you actually want me to wide track and put an actual widening on it? Oh. 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 Fitment, please. That's not how English works, but you're close enough. Okay, next we're going to start getting a little bit messy because we're going to put in the SBR rear suspension and the SBR rear engine, but the rear engine connects to a thing called a subframe and not a body. I'm guessing there's something that's going to be a little bit similar to do with the SBR, but that's not the worst thing. I want to use node offset to move everything outwards, but the flex bodies are not just in the center. And that's where we get a little bit fudging. Because if we use node offset, it's gonna move out, but the things in the middle are gonna pick either one or the other side to move to. This song is in the long drive? Oh, really? I must have gotten it from the same area, uh, same place. If it ain't messy, it ain't wrong. And I'm just letting you guys know what's about to happen now. And what you're truly asking of me. The front suspension is going to be a little bit easier. Actually, no. It's got similar things. Wait, was that always there? Yeah, apparently I just didn't notice it. Let's fix that door handle part first. Oh.
Okay, so you're having a complete heart attack. Face, didn't I move? Well, I found it. Good enough. Export DAE. Let's see what happens. Is it gonna have like a door handle shaped thing? No, it's not. Fixard. We are gonna fix that in a minute though. This now. Same thing. Triangles there. I don't know, apparently there is. Good. Okay. Rear doors, because apparently those had a little bit of fudging in them too. be these huh. ah it's all in weird areas what we want is for them to be kind of in the middle here somewhere arbitrarily placed good because there's this like void gap in between it shouldn't be touched Now, that's going to do some weird things, but for now, it's all good, as long as the skin painting side is all fine. What suspension is going to be on the front? So, on the front suspension, I believe, for F1 cars in this sort of time period, were torsion bars. Which allowed them to not only have the weight on the inside, but to also completely not have... Uh, Uh, as much weight. So, if anybody doesn't know, torsion bars come in many different ways. I've seen it on my KB, my parents' KB25. It's basically a long bar that's clamped at one end, loosely held at this end, and then from there it goes out to the wrist, uh, to the front suspension, and then the suspension goes up and down, bringing that bar in, and it's twisting this bar. So, like this lengthway sort of thing, and it's clamped here. Uh, other ones are that like bar that'll come out will be the bendy bit kind of like a leaf spring Usually that is just a leaf spring however um, On f1 cars what I think they did as well is they had the push rod Going into a torsion bar so the torsion bar very compact as well That is one of the other advantages just basically runs down and then the torsion, uh, the, the push rod comes up and then pushes on that bar to twist it and rotate it that way. No, it's getting a V10 because that's what the Espace had, uh, the e space had. Maybe you should have used automation fill? Maybe, but where's the fun in that? I love automation, but I wanted to have something a little bit more jank. Push rod or multi? It is multi-link. Uh, sorry, uh, it is push rod. But I don't think there is any front push rod in BeamNG. There's only three that might have it. And two of them are right here. And I think they're both just double wishbone. Yeah. What the hell? It's kind of weird... I don't know, that's just weird. Uh... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> sure, here. Cool. 
cooler? Yeah, I would say as well. Although I will not have anybody saying that Automation is not a cool game. I love this shit. It is probably my favorite game of all time. And you was on the way out when I bought it for you. What are we talking about now? All right. Let's sell F1 minivan versus Group 5 Moonhawk. You know, I don't know. I know I can take the rear push rod suspension, but I just don't think it's going to fit. Maybe it could. Or we could just put steering suspension there. See, the problem with this is it's not really set up to be steering. But I probably could jerry-rig something. But that's going to take like a lot of me thinking about things I have never thought about before. And I don't want to do that. Automation allowed me to make a van that goes 210 miles per hour. You can go much faster than that in a minivan. The weird thing is, is when you don't actually have that much power and it's just kind of like a sports vehicle. And it's like, yeah, yeah, this thing will do 300 miles per hour. You're like, what the hell, Automation? Has the Dale landed yet? What are we talking about? Welcome back, Space Ticket. I think... I don't like this suspension. But... I don't think I like this suspension... So much either, because it wants a subframe. Maybe I will grab the subframe from here. It is really far forward. And here it's not. I think if I went with the bolides, it would probably be in the way. We could just grab the whole subframe, though. And kind of merge. Ah, oh, it's a whole cop. Meant to shorten down monocoque and didn't realize that that's how that was going to turn out in my head. The mono... That, that's the whole monocoque. How did my brain make that mistake? I'm tired, apparently. It's 8.07pm. How am I this tired? Note to self, never shorten monocoque. SBR has weird front suspension, but the frame here is just the subframe for the front. I like it, I like it. <laughs> oh, cock. One hot cock. I thought the van is an engine on the way out four years ago. Slap some Lucas and ran the piss out of it then. New engine, anyways. Okay. Just have some fun with the car, huh? Alright, let's go ahead. Yeah, I don't think we needed that. You know, actually, let's double check. That is... Radiator small. You know what? We don't need you. Say what you will about how bad the SBR handles and is and all that sort of stuff. But at least it's a lot easier to work on. Uh, E-Mart? I don't think we need that. e better mounts. Brake lines, don't care about that. That is all we need.
Though it's not very wide. Yeah, that is very narrow. I didn't realize how much narrower this thing was than the Hirachi. That wasn't meant to happen. Anyway. Apparently, it's narrow. Doesn't look that much narrower. What is the chance of this working out of the box? Actually, pretty high. This is not too hard to do. It'll probably just collapse on the ground, though, saying that there's no connected nodes. One thing I want to do, however, is give it... The right paints. Okay. Export. DAE. Done. Now, we're going to start getting into bringing in the SBR suspension. So we've got SBR front and rear. I'm dyslexic. Take it easy on me. Suspension. And then, wait, would it? Yes. Body. Wait, what can we close here? Bumper done, trim done, doors done enough, doors, body kit, rad support. Done. Esports fenders done. Suspension F. So let's see if that's enough to work. Let's have a look, see. Front suspension. Independent front suspension. Yep. It works, but it flops. Now, we haven't taken the materials over yet. Oh. There are some really weird things happening here. So, FX. Wait, does it want to have a subframe up here? Let's drop the engine out. Hmm. For one, it's in the wrong place, but we'll deal with that. Actually, well, we could deal with that now. Do we have node offsets in here? We do. Node offset X. How much do we want to offset this? Half a meter? 
Let's do 30 centimeters to start with. Why? We're going to move this negative to move it more, more forwards. And we're going to move it forwards. Hmm. You know what? We can actually measure this out. Wait, does it already line up? Ah, uh, you know what? Everything has its node offset. I got everything? No, I don't. There is a better way of doing this, but this is the way that I want to do it specifically for a few different reasons. One, I don't think this is going to do everything all at once. You know, good enough. So. It wants to be 0 0.22 forwards Z negative O three three Is hoping. So that does not move the wheels, but we can move that later. What we're having problems with now is there being no subframe. Why isn't the subframe moving along? Let's find maybe where the subframe is. It is on the SBR body. Does that mean all the subframe nodes are there as well? Let's see what uh, it reckons these things are. This music really fits well. Cool. Oh, you know what? It is actually very 90s. You're right. Okay, so it has low amounts, low amounts, and upper amounts. Scrabble nodes to do with that at the moment. Nodes. So, FX1R. Do we have that in the East? You know what, actually? We could just go search the entire thing. It does have that, but it makes them in the suspension, connects them in the body, suspension, and ask for them in, okay, so here's the problem. These nodes all exist and it's all fantastic and hunky dory, but guess what? They exist on the other suspension. I left my nodes in my other pants sort of thing. Whereas for the SBR, it makes it in the... Uh, in the body. Consistency, I know, right? Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna grab... Those. Subframe... Upper front. SBR shot top F. Steering box tie rod ends. Rear running gear. I'm gonna grab you as well. But not the bodywork. I 
I think that's actually all we need. I don't... FS and FX and RX? Yep, yeah, that's the first call to that. RX? Oh, there's not even RX here. Oh, that's going to make things a little bit more annoying. Uh, and then there's... I saw FH? FS. For shock tops. FS. Okay, we already have shock tops, but we're going to replace that. So let's go to the end of the node section. That's where we're going to start plastering this stuff in. So let's go back to those other FS's and we're going to lose those because we don't need them. Node weight 7? Compared to node weight 7. No, that's perfect. For now, let's see how that works. That's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. J. Okay, just wanted to make sure it wasn't from collisions. Um... What sort of, uh, node group is this called? That's right, it's got... Okay, so we can also grab... the stuff for the subframe. And apparently it's temporary. So I'm guessing the fact that they knew that the fact that it was in the body was the problem there. Let's go to the flex bodies in here. Let's see what happens. FX4R. Let's have a look at that. RX? FX4R and L are here. But they're not called anywhere else. What about the suspension file that we just had? SBR. Wait, it makes the nodes again in the suspension? What? I'm so confused. I suppose it doesn't matter. The suspension should overwrite the body's ones anyway. It does try to attach them to things. You know what it is? I bet you... There's a whole bunch... Of beams. Yes, I knew it. Front running gear. Attached to frame. Upper front shock attach. Front crush. Wait. There is some steering in there. Yeah, we'll grab that. Probably going to create some duplicate beams, but it'll be fine. Let's go to the end of... This is suspension. Let's go to the end of beams, and we'll start putting some things in there. Bleed deform limit to other parts. What? Wait, crap. Thanks. Then, let's grab 
Ah, X. Damn it. Rear running gear. I was right above front running gear. <laughs> All right. There's going to be a bunch of duplicate beams, but you know what? That's fine. That's never concerning. Oh, you know what it is? Probably steering. Let's go into the suspension. <laughs> All of those issues. Uh, front suspension. Slots. Wheels. Offset. Okay, that first has to be fiddled with. Why we moved that forwards... Here we go. X point three. That's confusing. I never understand this. So that would become point five, I think. Why we move forwards twenty two, so that becomes 46 Z 033 so that should be good now steering the steering nodes are made in the new thing uh -huh. Let's go find those steering nodes that we put in. Upper top shock. I personally think it would be hard to do this. It is hard! That's probably fine. The entire suspension destroys itself. The number is your base number from which you add track with. Yeah, I know. Uh, that, like, that's not what I'm talking about. There's X, Y, and Z values here. But then inside of here, there's like this value, then this value, then this value just for x track offset track width and track width again but track width equals equals nil like what is equals equals isn't that exactly see it just i don't understand how this works exactly <laughs> we'll leave it uh steering Front running gear, FS, steering, top of shock. You know what? This actually is all going to move. It should have all been in here anyway. Now, rear suspension is probably going to have a hell of a time. We'll see how it works anyway. How do you know it? J look. Beam. No. I can't remember how to make things into comments. Oh, is it just one slash, is it? There we go. And then it's that and back again. There. Thank you. I'm such a dupe. Okay. We have added the front suspension in. It has an issue. 
We're also going to grab that flex body stuff that we put in here and put it in the other area. Since that's a part of the suspension anyway. Now, that will also move with it. Great. Oh, should I move the wheels the other direction? Uh, vertically. So, what was that? Like, one, five? Take zero point zero thirty three, I think. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Wait. Yeah, no, that's right. Is it having a problem with steering? Is that what the problem is here? Still brakes. Let's try getting rid of steering rails to see if that's what's causing our issues right now. Oh, actually, hold on. Can we just remove steering? I know that steering is probably the issue here. Where's front suspension? There's front suspension. Empty. No, that's not the issue. Let's do a little bit of extra spelunking into here. So FX1, R, and L already exist. I don't know why they... Sure. Those exist. Those exist. Those exist. And those exist. Alright, well, why did it ha- uh, Maybe they had to exist. And then just get overwritten. Um... Maybe, let's just try making things heavier to start with. Or I could look at forces. Nah, no, I can't be bothered doing that. Is there anything that's really light? There's a few that are very light. Let's just add 10 kilos to everything. It'll make it really heavy, but... At least know where things are starting to go wrong. Does that fix the issue? That should have fixed it. That should fix the fucking issue. What is happening?
What exactly are you having a problem with? Thank you, Hogger. Yeah, it gets a bit like that. Try watching it break in slow-mo. But that should have fixed it. Currently paused. Refreshed. Oh, it's the rear! Oh, good thinking, Jinha. Rear running year. Front running year. We're not working on the rear at the moment, so that can go away. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. That makes me happy. What does that remind me of? There's like a movie or a TV show or something where they're looking at something and they're like, what's happening here? And then like they find out, or they realize that it's in like a time dilation of some sort. I can't remember exactly, but yeah. That's what that reminds me of. And let me guess, no steering. Yep, good, because I disabled that, didn't I? Oh, wait, no. I undisabled it. So why don't I have steering? What time is it? Real time. Yeah, everything's working. Why is the steering no working? I saw something move. No, I didn't. My imagination. Okay. What the... I need to go take a toilet break. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Probably also top up my water bottle. I'm gonna play an advert whilst we wait. Insert ad. Hopefully that worked.
Welcome back. So the steering is bugged because you forgot to install it in- Ah! Oh, you're right! I'm an idiot! <laughs> Can't believe I forgot that. There we go. Let's go... Quick ratio. Nothing broke. It's broken on both sides. Great. <laughs> We might have to put limiters on that. Oh, that was drift, so that gives extreme. So that's gonna be... Nope, it breaks instantly. Let's go normal steering rack. Yep, that breaks instantly. Let's go quick steering ratio. Uh, where's the a limit for the steering? Because we need to put limits on. Front limiters. That doesn't help. Suspension crash limiter. Steering limit. Okay. I'm gonna suffer making this I already have been! Steering axis is inward. Let's check this. Steer left, steer right. Oh, when I do the node offset horizontally, it doesn't move the things. But that is steering the right way. So. Notes for steering. Let's go back to steering. FH six. I always wish that I could set like defaults for these sorts of things because I would always have never show wheels on, always. So where is FH6 normally? FH6 is normally right on the middle of the steering axis. Oh. Their steering can just, like, clip into the steering rack. I don't know if you can see that. It might, it might be a bit too far away. But look at that. It just... That's where it's meant to come in and out of. It just clips. Great. Love it. That's not too much of an issue, though. Let's try that trick that Jordan tried to tell us about. Damn it. That's fine. How much do we put this out sideways? Th 
30 centimeters out. G, X. Th point three. There we go. And now that should line up. Wrong vehicle. Hey, what? Why didn't that fix? Saved it wider. There is a lot of hard work usually. What did you miss, Subaru fan? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long you've not been here. Wrong model, maybe? No, this is the right stuff. And this is the front suspension I've just done. Not moving it forwards because that's done on its own. Welcome, Easy Bucks. All right, we're gonna break all of our materials right now, but we're gonna Alt F4 and reload the game. Sometimes things like funny buggers. We're also gonna go in and quickly clear out any cache. Oh, I know what the issue is. I've still got the lands, uh, the, the DAEs here. Yeah, we don't want those. That's what the problem was. It didn't know which, uh, DAE file to grab from. Grab from? Made the words I, I speak with. Apparently my tongue is too fat to fit in my mouth. How long have I been at this? Uh, four and a half hours? Five and a half hours. I dipped on. Microsoft Video Visual Studio is free if you have a legitimate copy of Windows. Uh, if you don't want to do that, it's entirely fine. Notepad++ is still pretty darn good. It does some things that Visual Studio can't, and it doesn't do a lot of things that Visual Studio can. So they have their trade-offs. Most people use Notepad++. And if I was smart, I would use it too. But there's just a few little doodads that I like, so I keep with what I use. Watch everything break now, because it's like, what happened? Okay. Wait, what? Why are the... Oh, okay. Uh, I think I have to go in here. Uh, 
and then do it manually. It's pretty sus. Not gonna lie. There we go. All materials broke. So is that to be expected? But everything is lining up Millhouse. Okay. Let's go fix this. This is this is something I also dislike. Is all of the materials should really be in common. And not in each individual file like they are. Well, I've shown how to make limos. You can make your own pigeon limo. I think we're going to move this in with maybe to line up with this frame rail. We'll get to that later though. Uh, for now... Let's show you guys how to do materials. Actually, you know what? I can make this super easy. Done. Well, most of it. SBR will be the main one we're working with here. What files do we want? You know what? Actually, no, that's fine. That actually should work. You know what? Close you off. That was Notepad++, by the way. That should... Fi I should be fixing it. Why is it not? Oh yeah, no, this is going to be a lot more than the Moonhawk. The Moonhawk was super easy. In fact, I'm going to be doing more of those. Because not only is it easy, they look really good. You were here five hours ago? <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at get rid of you get rid of you no no not there either Why doesn't this work? It should, um... Maybe it does want the materials to be, uh, like, all of the stuff in there. Okay. SBR underscore N. SBR underscore D. D again, and again, S. I don't want to grab more than what I need to. C, N, and S. C. Is that going to be better? No. Materials are set correctly. Is it this? That's what it was. It didn't like the fact that it was trying to map to old. I don't know why they ever have that code junk in there. So, there we go. There's our new subframe. And everything just working in harmony. Engine bay crud can be cleaned out, but we'll deal with that later. Phil, I think you should split this on parts. The stream will take forever. Yes, I know it will take forever. It already has been taking forever, but I want to finish it all in one go. Wow, that is not as happy now. I don't think this is going to work, but I want to give it a try. Uh, 
Oh, and yep, that, that didn't work. Wow, that's come out terrible. Oh god, that sucks. That doesn't really help, does it? If I grab these. a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Still kind of weird, though. Windows flags, what is a virus? That does look weird. There's some weird jankery happening here. Maybe if we put those lines in there, does that fix that issue? Actually, you know what? That does smooth it out a lot. The other ones can go the other way. Damn it, it still doesn't fix it. I have an idea. Why do you hate me? Whatever. Um, we'll export that in a second. For now, that's the front suspension basically done, except for the fact that it still oversteers. Front limiters, suspension crush limit. Oh. Steering limiters, okay. Is there more limits in more steering stuff further down? Coil over? No. Steering, there are more limiters here. No. They're not being used. Bye.
fuck up. You live 53 minutes away from my P.O. box. Oh, somebody's been doing some research. All right, let's go back to that steering limiter. And this time, well, we do this. Pre-compression, no, that's no good. Beam bound, beam long bound, no. remember how to do this I did this years ago like two years ago I did this how am I still streaming grit and fortitude welcome chromatic by the way I didn't say that Koenigsegg or Bugatti Bugatti I've never really liked the look of Koenigsegg cars I thought the first one that we ever saw on Top Gear was pretty cool. I didn't really like it. Aren't we all Australians? Well, if Australia doesn't exist, does that not mean that everyone is Australian? Wait, no, that would mean everyone doesn't exist. Whatever. Florida man? Damn, I must be late for you. It is 9.03pm. Where I am, in South Australia. Time to watch all the hell no. Maybe under hydraulic. No. See, here's my why I'm so confused. First, we have beam pre-compression. That is how much, like, say you wanted to have camber on your vehicle. You're not actually really moving anything. What you're changing there is generally the strength of a pre-compression, which will, like, rip something inwards and push something outwards. There's a limit to how much you can do that until, like, the beams start to break and when you spawn your car and it goes... <coughs> uh, this, on the other hand... Oh, so so that, that, that does that. That means you don't have to move things and you don't have to move flex bodies because the moment it spawns in... It Im immediately moves all those flex bodies with it, which is very convenient. It's not a good way of doing it, but it's a convenient way of doing it. So I can't complain too much. Uh, beam pre compression what they really should be is a... You know how there's node offset? There should be node rotation, which also does your flex bodies and everything like that. So then it'll move everything how it should be. Uh, beam type support... I don't really know how to use that, but I know vaguely what it means. Beam long bound is the maximum length it can be, I believe. So maybe if I change it up a little bit, then spring damp to form strength through all your normal sorts of stuff. If you don't know what that is, this is not the video to really go into that. And then we've got individually beam pre-compression. But I don't know why there is beam pre-compression already. Who yeah, has beam MP? I'm guessing yeah, most people probably would. Uh, let's find our steering node names. What was it? FH Yeah, FH6L There's five But five is not seemingly connected to the steering. Re 
<laughs> it's so hard to see. Okay. Uh, so this actually has nothing to do with steering anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, FH6L. Rails. Beams. Pre-compression. What beam breaks? Let's actually check which beam breaks. Between... Fx5 and between each other. And the Fx number. Okay, hold on. Steering limits. No, that was Fh, which is hub. So this one breaks, and then it's also connect- Oh! Let's slow this down. It tries to push beyond that limit there. What steering rack do we have on? Quick ratio steering. And once it hits there, it goes, uh, no, and then it tries to break. So it's trying to go beyond FX5R. We can move those inwards to cheese this. FX5R and L. They're here. But they are made up here. So let's make these a little bit narrower. Uh... That in a bit. Still tries to go beyond its bounds, though. Okay, so that is not the solution. Instead, what we do is we change our hydro values. Oh, please! I wish this was easier. I do know of Garbage Time. I have tried to contact him, but he has made it so hard to contact him. Garbage Time is actually not that far from me either. What would be my dream beam and G update? Good arrow. <clears throat> Tires. Like, tire wear, tire temperature. Like, that is pretty high on the list. After that, maybe better AI for single-player racing. First-party multiplayer. I just realized that my webcam is way over. Um, first-party multiplayer would be pretty good. Somebody wanted to get banned. A block, sorry. I'm not I'm not a I'm not a fan of adding people I don't know to my friends lists. Always been like that. Maybe it's from ICQ days, I don't know. Uh factor. Is that the amount that it moves? I can't remember how this works. Rail name attached fixed to tolerance spring. That's what that value is. We don't care about that. Hydros back to doing it again. Thirty-three. Drift. Twenty-six. Twenty-five.
You know what? Sometimes that's easier to read. Factor. Uh, with a factor of one, sending a command to one on the beam will cause it to double in length. So that's the steering limit. Okay, while a command of 0.5 will cause the beam to half its length, similar factors were... Okay. Um... I'm gonna get rid of... Steering... That's set up in a weird way. And we're gonna leave Drift on if anybody wants it. And have that default to that. Now I only have to work with basically this one. Uh, factor, it's 0.26 currently. Let's go like really small. 1.6. Is that the wrong way? No, that's the right way. Let's try putting it the other way around. That's the wrong way. Point six is nearly enough. That's dramatic. Just from a little bit of widening, apparently that much makes a difference. So what I'm looking for is FH6 to not go beyond FX5R. It's very close. That should be enough. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I could have gone to steering wheel lock. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. It's right there, literally. Thanks for your videos. They always make me feel amazing for the day. I watch every single one of them. Thank you, Nicholas. Very much appreciated. You are going to struggle to get my attention most of the time. Uh, but since I've already done this, we're going to do the same way here. You're also going to be limited to one. In rates and outside. One, two, fives. And here it's also one, two, five. So basically they're going to be the same thing. Whatever. Okay. Steering fixard. We weren't going to do the rear suspension, were we? We were just going to do the front and no engine, right? Hey, Phil, do you agree that it would be cool to have a Ford Falcon or Holden Commodore in Beam NG? I do, but I don't want to make it. <laughs> I'm not very good with vehicle bodies. Hey, Nicholas, two pounds. Thanks for responding. Amazing content. Here's to thank you very much. I think Jordan's chat is like way behind. Alpha man, when the mod releases, I'm going to spawn it and cover it in a sleeper minivan. Oh, convert it. Yeah. Uh, maybe. That's probably not going to be possible. Anyway. Uh, next thing. I'm going to change the floor pan. I forgot to do that. Is it just this? Lansdale interior bear. Interior panels? 
I mean, we have interior bed, but not interior panels. Interior panels cargo. Okay, so interior panels bare is what I want. There we go. Pretty sure that's what I want. Can't be certain. Ah. That is everything. Apparently. Now, we want to match this up to the floor pan underneath. So... Good, that works. Thank you so much, Jordan, for helping me out with that. I would not have been able to come up with that on my own. That one didn't translate. Oh, it's because we don't have this on again. Also, I do see everyone using the little love hearts thingy or whatever reactions in the bottom of the chat there. I don't know whether you guys see it in the chat, but I see it in the chat. How long has that been there? It's like this. I don't mind it. It's just sometimes somebody will write a really long comment and the button itself will cover up the chat. Does anybody know if there's a way to move it? Can I, like, click and drag? No, I can't. And the problem is, is when somebody writes a really long chat, and then nobody comments for a long time afterwards, I'm like... I can't see it. <laughs> it doesn't work. Also, by the way, whenever I say work, I do mispronounce it deliberately to work. I don't know why. It's just something I like to do. Maybe it's uh, my brain remembering uh, Blinky Bill, I think. If you don't know what Blinky Bill is, clearly you're not Australian. I made the van, van faster than Mouillet's LMP2 Le Mans car. <laughs> nice. Chromatic Stetzel seems to know Blinky Bill. That's good news. He gets to keep his Australia card. Blinky Will, uh, Bill was your childhood? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Uh, also, um... 
Oh no, the the emu teacher. God, I hated her so much. That was a child. What do you expect? Oh, it doesn't replicate creating faces, does it? It's fine. Lansdale interior there will be a spot. If I can spell right. Uh, interior bear should be in body, right? Flex bodies. That's our body floor pan. That's the underside, right? Yep, floor pan. And then engine bay. Okay, so we have an interior bear that we want to mess with. I should probably grab the name of that, shouldn't I? That'll make it a little bit easier to find. No, it is just Lansdale interior. Welcome, Dan Relly. How's it going? Apparently, it aired here in Italy too. It was popular. Really? I was born in 2002, but I only came to Australia in 2009. Never caught an episode of Bleaky Belt. Oh, well, you, you're not Australian, so you don't have to feel so ashamed. Let's grab that interior there. And only use that. We're probably going to change it with carbon fiber, though. Uh, interior, interior cargo, interior bear, dashboard, center console, Lansdale stereo, radio, light bar, Jesus! Okay, interior bear. Let's have a look-see here. So in here we have slots for seats. In the front. And there are rear seats. Yeah, I did. Okay. Body. Did I not export? Ah, oh, maybe I didn't export. shouldn't be there. 
<clears throat> interior, stripped interior. No, that's right. Oh, you know what? I know what I did wrong. There, yep, okay. That's body, interior. Uh, how many people were thinking like, oh god, this guy's an idiot. If you ask me, this guy is pretty good at 3D modeling compared to me since I don't understand much of how to use Blender. I know how to use Blender to the point that I can make it do what I want it to do. Uh, when mo uh, modifying other people's things. When I'm making my own stuff, I'm not very good. There we go. Probably gonna get replaced with carbon fibre anyway. Uh, fuel tank can stay there for now. Whatever that thing is, that could stay there for now. Actually, the one I hold on, I can actually get rid of that. Oh, it's the fuel tank. Oh, let's go with the other fuel tank then. Just to make it easier. Makes it a little bit easier. Oh, wait. Hold on. Kind of looks like somebody's really big butt cheeks have been chopped off. And they're like sitting kind of in the car a little bit. It's, it's funny. We will be dealing with that later, however. For now, though, we're going to move on to the next problem, child. Which is the rear suspension. One more time, uh, one more try coffee money? One, one more try what? I'm not sure what you mean. But thank you, Benjamin France. I thought you said you were heat leaving, or was that somebody else? Oh, you mean one more try to be awake? <laughs> oh dear. The original Spass V10 handled pretty well, so it... Subaru fan, you are wrong. People that drove it said that the thing felt dangerous because it was way too top heavy. And a lot heavier than what it should have been. BMG van has an interior cell fuel cell? Are we talking about the other van? He donated when it crashed? Oh! Is that what happened? Super Jet was broken. Okay. Fuel tank, gasoline, diesel. No, okay, so it's not this one. Fuel cell replaces rear seats. It doesn't seem to. Wait, is there a drag version of the Wednesdale or whatever the hell it's called? Can you please. There we go. Lon Lansdale. Let's go drag and see if we can find their fuel tank. No, they So... That's right, yeah, and they had the wrong tank in by default as well. Completely forgot about that. Uh, whoever's talking about that fuel cell that was inside? Can you tell me again where it is, and also like tag at Film N86 so I can actually see that comment specifically? Uh, where do I find said fuel tank, or is it a mod? If it's a mod, then I don't care, because I'll just make my own anyway. You know what I can do? Screw that! Fuel tank. Node offset. It replaces the rear seats. What does? Zero. Move it a bit forwards. Move it a bit up. Move to forwards, but not very up. Ah. This is only three centimeters. There we go. At least for now, it's out of the way. 
Interior fuel cell. Look up Derby config. Ah. Ah. Well, where the hell is that then? Oh, well, that's going to be in the wrong place. I see what you... Thank you very much there, uh... Down Under. Down Under Thunder. Ah, oh, yes, you again. Thank you very much. I do recognize the name. Um... Yeah, that's unfortunately not going to work. What can I do, though? It is a third row seat, and I do have an interior thing now. I was going to have rear seats in. I could add an offset here and make it only the fuel tank. Let's try that. So I'm going to go control W. Fuel tank empty. Third row seat, interior fuel cell. So yeah, that is in the wrong place. But I'm gonna move that forward like a meter. Let's go point 0.7 to start with. Yeah, okay, so close. You know what 20 centimeters might be too much, but that's fine. Yeah. There we go. Thank you very much for your help. That is actually... That is really good. Very well done. I might do a little bit of finagling there, make it narrow so then I can still sit a normal seat in there. Make the fuel cell double as a center console for the rear seats. That's what I'm kind of thinking. The problem is, is this has its own collision mesh as far as I'm... It doesn't. Oh. A non-collisionable fuel cell. I don't think BeamNG did that. Like, I know how to do that. I think they know how to do that. But now I definitely know they know how to do that. Alright, well that's interesting. Uh, let's move on to rear suspension. And this is where I'm already getting a headache. I'm going to hate this part. Because I we know that it broke earlier I can use a visual studio and still visual studio code uh, I don't like going into settings and changing settings all the time this will immediately tell me all errors and everything's color coded and works like that it just Right from the box, it works a lot better for me. Um, SBR suspension R. I think I may have accidentally moved these from their resting place. Sheet. That's not good. Ah, oh, crab apples. How could I be so dumb? I moved everything. Ugh. Why did I make that mistake? Oh no! 
All right. Let's try anyway. It wants to attach so bad. Is that... It clips out of, like, drawing because of, like, viewing angle. So if we go like this, boop. I really don't understand how that works. Anyway, it wants to attach. See, the stupid thing is that I'm going to use node offset now. And that's going to cause it to move the flex bodies back. But the flex bodies should be in the right place. I believe you guys let me do that. That's a dick move of you guys. See? Flex bodies are in the right place, but they shouldn't be. Wait, is there no triangles for this either? Uh, wait, does this have triangles? It does have triangles. Okay. Let's move everything back. Come on. You know what? That is good enough. Okay. Now this should move back into its correct place so I can move it properly with node offset instead. Why is this all trying to pull towards push rod? Anyway. That's not what I wanted. Let's we'll start with body. And we'll grab some node offset. Uh, X will be fine for now. Y is going to go positive. Actually, you know what? We could do a bit of just looking around here. one we're looking at okay this moving I can undo easily so 34 backwards and up 0 0.07 See, I'm moving it and I'm having a look there. And as you can see, those numbers change. But, 
I could just control Z this, and it's back to zero. Did- wait, what? Why did the subframe not move? Oh, don't tell me the subframe is a part of that stupid stuff again. Flex body. No? So the suspension moves, but not the flex body. I really don't know if you look at Discord DMs, but I left a question there for you. Not asking for anything right now. I'll gladly wait for an... So, there's a few things I don't respond to. One is if you're asking a question which you could ask the Discord. Often, I will just say you can ask the Discord instead. Because I'm very busy. The other one is... Uh, can I ask you a question? It's literally in my Discord thing if you click on my name you'll see don't ask me can you ask me a question and the final one is if you request me to build something for you those things i don't respond to min six hours only <laughs> yep six hours and 17 minutes sounds about right i'm getting a bit peckish Oh, shops are closed, so I can't go shopping again today. Let's have a look at the suspension. Maybe there's some sort of offset here. Suspension R. So, wheels, obviously. Is it that stuff? Is that what it is? Yeah, all of that. And it starts off warped. Weird. Uh. Oh, it's not here. Okay, well let's have a look, see if we can't find it. It shows up, oh my god, in body and motor. So it does show up in the body. Again. Wait, is it in front suspension? Did I accidentally put it here? I think I accidentally put it here. <laughs> Subframe. Okay, that's where it is. Okay. All right. Suspension R. Flex bodies. Then if we come in here, control R, now you'll see that it'll fit in place. Perfect. Yeah, tires are not moved, but that's because we haven't moved them yet. They have to be moved very specifically on their own. That all looks splendid. Might cut out a hole in there as well at some point. Haven't even gotten to the engine yet! The main thing! Haven't even gotten! Jesus! Okay, what do we got here? Node offset, X.3. Uh, Y, 0.34, adds onto this. Eight. Then, 0.07. Mm, 
Now, do these tires look right in this position? Hmm. It is also the wrong wheels. Why is it doing that? Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, was it? Eh, whatever. Let's go have a look at a normal SBR. Uh, 18.9 Falk. 18.10 Falk. Okay. 18.8. Falk. Then 18.10 Falk. There we go. Okay. I don't actually know what sort of wheels this thing has. Uh, I might leave that up for... Oh, that's right. The turbo fans. But that's not all. Apparently, there was a different version. If anybody knows wheels that kind of fit this... Let me know. Ping in the, like, at Philman86 in the chat when you put up the exact wheels that fit. I don't want to know something close. I want to know exact. Hey, Venz is here! If anybody doesn't know, Venz is another YouTuber that does automation stuff. All cars sound the same except the Covet. Sure. Around 2016, the Covet got an audio update before any of the other cars did. Really? I first got into Beam in 2013-14 with the tech demo. Oh, okay. I only got into it in like 2019? Probably 2020. I think it was actually 2020. I had automation for a while. I loved it. Then eventually I got Beam in G because of automation. Similar wheel on the Scintilla? Maybe. Literally what I've put on. Uh, there, Subaru fan. Those silver. But these are mostly black, so I think we'll stick with that. For now, suspension R. You remember my first automation videos? They were rough. They were very rough. I remember when they updated tire physics couple of years ago that's it <laughs> I remember being like something feels different I couldn't put my finger on it there's already tech demo engine sounds interesting or are you saying that those are the sounds where everything sounds the same I thought you were saying like things all sound the same it's like these engines sound very different from each other. That's what you mean. Try the Savetta Dark Owl wheels. Let's try the... Let's have a look at the Dark Owl. A lot of people saying the Savetta. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could modify these wheels to look right. Yeah. Close. Very, very close. 
Uh, so, pause, refresh. Wheels and tires are back a little too much. They're also upwards a little too much. No, that's the wrong thing. Uh... Does that move them down? Oh, that was to move them forwards. That was too much. You know, we can play with just the wheels here. Uh, eight, seven, six. No, that's the wrong way. We want... Yeah, no, that, that is right. Let's move 0 0.02. No. Okay, four centimeters. That's good. Now Z offset. Yep. Uh, except actually, maybe we'll move it up a little bit. It was 0.7. Let's add... Three centimeters instead. Okay, now what we need to do is add the beams in. This is where we ran into the issue last time with this. Okay. Oh, it worked this time! Ooh! TMSR Black. I'm gonna need to know exactly what you're like. Five luck. Rear suspension. I can't actually change to five luck. I'd have to do that through code. I don't want to. Hey, Quicksilver Man Bloat. Oh, the hell of a name. Uh, $2, race to 50k, keep up the grind, Phil Man. Oh my god, I'd love to be at 50k. That'd be amazing. The thing is, though, I'm not very good at catering to children, and that's where a lot of growth comes from. So, my growth, unfortunately, is going to be rather slow. But as long as I'm happy with what I'm doing, the only thing that really concerns me is my ability to make money. Now, I know that sounds greedy and all that, but I don't have a job. Heck, children. <laughs> That's almost problematic. Venz's road to 5k? I mean, Venz, if you do... What is it? Hold on. Release videos, then you'll get there. Vens, you have Riz, bro. There's like a difference between people. There's people with Riz, and then there's people with skills. Those are generally the two sorts of people that can make it big on YouTube. And I sit mostly on the skills area, so I don't have the Riz to grow with me. Hey, Vinland, if you add something to the wish list, maybe I'll be able to buy it for you. 
My Steam Wish list? I have a Steam Wish list. You've released one video in the last couple of months, right? Or two videos in the last couple of months? Road to 30. Fair enough, yo, buddy. Where are the starter sounds? Oh, you know, I've never played with it myself, so I don't remember. People have told me, but I've just been like, yeah, okay. I never bothered to look it up. You can use Studio Visual Code, and you can just search for, like, starter or whatever, if you find the right thing. What am I doing? If you know the... Esports... Sorry, uh, Espace? Espaz? Whatever. This thing. That's a toy. Let me just realize that. I'm recreating that in Bleeman G with their new van. And it's coming along. Things are not broken. Okay, some things are broken. PSH7. You know what it is? The flex bodies are not in the right place. Anyway. RX4R. Hinge? Anyway, what, what's the beam here that we're mostly dealing with? My game is bugging out on me. Let's go to where the new section is. Actually, how much does our vehicle weigh? Oh, oh, you know what? It weighs underweight at the moment. So, screw this. Perfect. Just make it a little bit more stable. I didn't realize how much underweight we were. Okay. Everything is looking up Millhouse. What the hell is that? Everything's a little bit wacky to backy right now. I think we're good. We can move everything backwards a little bit too. That's yeah, fine. Hey, if you enjoy what you're doing, then it'll show in the videos and people will see that you either concisely or, or consciously or subconsciously. Okay, fair enough. I think I've misread that, but yeah, I get the idea. Uh, might be slow growth, but the people that are here will stick around. That's the hope. Hey Phil, got a question. Is there going to be a V8, V10, or V12? Or is the engine getting a turbo? It is going to be the V10! But there will be a turbo variant. Just in case you want to be absolutely nutso. Everything is looking up, Phil man. Phil Uh, let's... 
Hide everything scintilla. Hide everything body. And then... Is this going to work? No, it's not. Okay. We wanted to offset 0.3, right? 0.3. GX minus 0.3. I just remembered how we got this to mount. There we go. Now it does its own thing. Abbott Wills look at the drag covet. I might, you know what, actually, I have a better idea. Since this is gonna be a pain in the butt to find, there's notifications, I can't look away. Okay. A new server layout? My server's fine. Okay, so if you guys have questions about J-beaming, one, watch more of my videos. Two, there's a beam and G section here. If you've started J-beaming and you want more help, oh, I'm about to ban somebody. Uh, go to the cars you need fixed. There's where you'll get like very specific bits of help. I don't know who this person is. Uh, no, that's not what I want. What I want, uh, so yeah. Go into the video section here. And put it in video, uh, Film 86 video stuff. Is there not a radiator in here? Oh, don't tell me the radiator is inside of the engine and not inside of the radiator mount. Oh, you're kidding. Oh my god, why is the radiator inside of radiator and not radiator mount? That's how they normally do it. Why did they make it different for this one? Oh my god. Very often, the radiator is a part of radiator mount, or just on the body, or on the frame. But only occasionally. Do they, for some unfreaking known reason, make it a part of the engine? If I was doing like a a mechanic game, I could kind of say that. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this engine. Uh. Grab the radiator mount from here.
Then we should have Radiator Support. Rad Sport. This is a specific one for us anyway, so this is fine. Yep. Now, will that go in there automatically? Yes, it will. Good. Where it should have been in your first place. Hoses are going to nowhere, but that's fine. We're not dealing with that at the moment. Uh, rear suspension. It's looking fine, but we're missing all oh, the body. The mounts. That thing that we made. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to do this. I have to go have a nice day or sleep. Bye. Okay, Benjamin Fons, thank you for being here. Finally rendering the video that should have been out Thursday, but is now for Monday. Fair enough. That's okay, Jordan. I understand. Just popping back to see how progress has been made. It looks pretty cool from how little I've seen. Cascade Freak, it really depends how long you've been here. Door still work. Oh, you know what? I didn't close that in. We'll just pretend that that is how that's meant to be. Uh, okay, we got the mounts in there, but things are acting weird. Oh! That's weird. Has that always been like that? Now I know that the underneath isn't connected, but I don't care. That's all filled in. Oh, there's a face here that hasn't been done. Why is that acting weird? Ah, there we go. Okay, that fixed that. Your rank in the Discord is Supreme Overlord of all minions. You should make it Supreme Overlord of all minivans. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Alright, let's move on to now. The end guy. We'll fix this up later. But now that'll work. Or be passable, I should say. Scintilla, under S. This is a funky ass song, I'm loving it. Um We're not gonna do materials right away. Wait. Huh. Forgot about that. Scintilla Engine. You made me laugh? Alright. Oh, yeah, with the thing, yeah. Uh, I have a question to make. Will you use original beam parts or modify... It, for example, 20k RPM. I don't know how much they rev to back in that day, but I am going to try to make the engine match, yes. It does already go up to 11,000, so I mean, it's not too much further. The problem is if you make it go too high, then it's just going to start making weird sounds. Hmm. 
I moved the flex bodies of that as well, didn't I? God damn it. We'll figure it out. Five liter V10. Is that the only option here? I get the feeling that they were going to do something other than a five liter. Huh. Let's now switch. Actually, we're not going to switch. We're going to create a new one. Let's go with the race one. What engine choices do we have? This is going to get tricky because it doesn't want to attach to normal things. We got the 5 liter V10, 5.5 liter V8, which I didn't know was a thing. Is that from a Gavril? Yeah, that's a Gavril engine. I didn't know that they'd done that, to be honest. Wait. Why is it all messed up? Why is the... Why is this out of a whack? I didn't do it. I get the feeling it's for some sort of like uh, one of the banger races, or maybe the, even the the eagle night thing, the night owl, whatever it is. First off, the displacement is three point five liters instead of five. Am I correct? Oh, we're we talking about the um the actual engine. Displacement doesn't actually mean anything in BMNG. Displacement is just like how they want you to see the engine. Yeah, so it is a 3.5. You are right. We should probably change that. Scintilla engine. Let's grab you. I just changed the engine a moment ago. I've lost the engine. Oh, here we go. Damn it, that's not the whole name. <laughs> that's one of the shortfalls of uh, that is whenever like there's a decimal point, it gets confuzzled. Let's just see if it fits. It does. So it is in the wrong place, but that's fine. Where are the engine nodes? Oh, there we go, engine nodes. Yeah, as I thought, I have moved the engine to the wrong place. Okay, let's get a new one of these. Let's bring in said silly scintilla. And I think we're gonna work off of a drive shaft.
because that's all we've got for a drive shaft. No, actually, let's line it off of a transmission. That'll be a lot easier to see what we're working with. Transmission, please. Right there. It's right there. There we go. Yep. As I thought. I have moved to the wrong place. Doesn't need to be perfect, but may as well. Where else am I streaming? I'm streaming only here. I could stream to uh, Twitch, but uh. I don't like to stream to Twitch, to be honest. I do stream at Twitch sometimes, though. So, this will want to come back at least... 0.28. I have been thinking about going to kick because like the the pay there is a lot better but I can't reconcile the despicable company that is behind it should I refresh my gambler 500 before or after so you just don't why don't you like streaming on twitch um Whenever I stream there, I don't really get any viewers, but then again, I'm not really doing anything important over there. So I suppose that's another thing. Uh, there's just something about Twitch. It feels dated. Do I have a trans... I think I need the transmission as a separate file. Transaxle, yes, it is different. It's different for the V8, so we'll just grab that one. But the transmission didn't want to go on? Why didn't the transmission want to go on? Uh, thanks to you and your amazing tutorials, I put everything I've learned into my monster widgeon, and I got it to work... About 4.5 thousand downloads in the first two days of it being on the repo. That's pretty cool, Zig. I'm glad that you were able to learn anything from my... Entertainment bit. So, here's what happened. And this is why I don't really do tutorials so much anymore. Is... I'd done a few, like, heavy tutorial type videos. And... The views were doing okay. The drop-off was pretty heavy, though, on, like, a viewer attention. Then, a few people were saying, like, Oh, I don't know how you're not bigger and stuff like that. I was like, I hear that a lot. Maybe I'm being too technical in my videos. And then a few people actually would respond to those comments saying, Well, they're too technical, so it's very much only for people that are want tutorials. I'm like, that's a good point. I should do it a little bit more like, uh, there was that one YouTuber... And he made a few games. Danny? He did like a crab game, I think. And I, I was watching him a lot of the time. I was like, you know what? 
I should probably make it more about the journey and less about the modding itself. And then... Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Growth exploded. All your videos are tutorials are further along. Yeah, I know. I do generally try to stay away from the technical nitty gritty sort of stuff. And I'll stick to like, oh, this is going to do this for me. Previously, I used to say every single step. And that was a bit of a problem. Danny the Legend? So what it was, Danny. Okay, then. Are you the minivan man, Phil? Man with minivan? The milkman who can basically disappear. What? What are we talking about? Anyway, yes. I am the midi man, man. But man, what is harder to draw? A straight line with a mouse without any assist or making a modern BMG? Drawing a line without any assists. Oh my god. Also, it depends how long the line is. And depends if I, how, if I could just like move super fast or not. Even then, like, trying to connect point to point, I can't do that. I would I would have never been able to do that. Yeah, older vids are better for tutorials. As I've said a bunch of times, things like my bolide swap and the original diesel burn side swap, I think, was also fairly technical based. A circle is harder than a straight line? Maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. I just don't have steady, uh, steady hands. I've never have. I've never really been particularly accurate. I'm a fairly clumsy person. Is this going to be public or not? Yes, this will be public. This is going to be one of the coolest mods I've ever done. I probably should have thought about making this into a video. You reckon lines are harder than circles? See, here's the thing. You can create something that looks kind of like a circle, but if you actually then put a circle up to it, you suddenly realize how wonky your circles are. I used to do a lot of drawing. A lot. Do you have any videos on swapping an automation engine into a bean? Yes. Though there is one extra step now. Automation gives like a very specific fuel type which we're going to actually address right now uh so currently these run for fuel tank r and l whatever it is usually just change it to fuel tank i should be right that didn't work but hey look our transmission is in this time uh, fuel tank. So what is the fuel cell's name? Okay, fuel cell. It is fuel tank. Oh, it wasn't a capital T. We'll also get rid of those brackets since we don't actually need them. And then this time... It works. Uh, is it me or are you a bit late? It is 10.27 in the afternoon. Does the engine mount properly? It seems to. And this is actually going to work now. This will actually drive. Okay. It kind of attaches. Are we ready for our first drive?
I can't find it. My brain isn't working. There. That's the right volume. No. Uh, does the engine mount probably... Uh, I can stop pinging if... You, yeah. Uh, pinging in this chat is fine. So. Problem number one. Somebody, and I'm not going to name and shame, doesn't have it connected. <laughs> Do we need... You know, actually, we can have a look. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the, uh, like, the drive shafts, but it does have drive shafts, right? It doesn't have drive shafts. Oh, okay, well, that's going to be easy then. Does the scintilla just have drive shafts? Not drive shafts. Axle shafts. That's what I wanted. Transaxle sensor. Okay, yeah, that no, does show up. Uh, let's have a look. Scintilla transaxle. You know, I probably needed that, didn't I? Whatever. Differential. That's what we need. Not attached, okay. Okay, well, what's after differential then? Damn it. Next is half shafts. That's what I was thinking of. A half shafts not in here? Half shafts are in here. Let's do a little bit of changing. It used to be... A semi-automatic, which would be the trans, uh, the, the DCT. But how many gears? Gear ratios, one, thanks. I remember seeing something that said how many gears it had. In suspension, you dumb? I... No, the differential is here, not in suspension. If I try to put it in there, it's probably going to play some funny buggers with me. Yeah, it doesn't even show up. So if we have a look... It's all a part of the transaxle. But we will double check. Transfer... Oh, they want the transfer case as well. Oh. Well, let's grab that, but we're going to lock it off to rear wheel drive. Transfer case. Transfer case clutch X? I 
Oh, they're all drive transfer cases, okay. All drive transfer case, all drive transfer case. Centilla output ratio. Front can go. Front can go. Front can go. Now it should have the proper selection tree. No. No, it shouldn't. Engine. Transfer case. Transaxle. Open differential. Rear differential. Rear half shafts. What are the chances? Hell yes! I mean, the engine's not properly attached or anything. But hell yeah! We don't want to be on dirt either. I broke my half shafts? Maybe going on to dirt was not the best option. Oh, do we not have brakes? We don't have brakes. Of course we have brakes. I don't know what you're talking about. See, I drive, then I stop. Then I... I mean, I may not have them put on the car. That's extra uh, that you have to pay for. Why are brakes not here? Give me a second. Or oh, I can figure this out. If I can find out where this is. It was right next to it. Uh... Suspension. Let's go with front first. What does it want from here? No, it goes straight into brake. Should have brake. SBR brakes. Brakes are in the hubs. SBR brake underscore F. SBR brake underscore... Okay. Yep, I just had to do an update. Let's go race. Same with the rear... We might even get rid of the normal stuff, just so you can be like only hardcore suspension. Is it? Oh, it's slowed down. Then when we accelerate and we can stop. Woo! We might have to do a little itsy bits of tuning now. Is there a way out of here that is not on the dirt track? There it is. Look at that engine flopping about. <laughs> Half shafts broken again. How much do we weigh? 1300 kilos? We're kind of on point. Um, actually, you know what? How much does this weigh? A little under. Well, that's a bit weird that it's very fragile, but you know what? We're going to have a look. That's not what we want. Half shafts. Okay. Long bound.
Now I know that a little bit of the issue here is the fact that the engine is not actually mounted properly, so it might just be twisting the transmission stuff out. But that should now allow us. Hold on, I wanna I wanna make a funny joke. Oh, so I'm gonna make a funny joke. Somebody good looking walks by. That was the wrong way. Somebody good looking walks by. Damn it. Give me give me a second. Somebody good looking walks by. There we go. I made the joke. Whatever. You get the idea. Engine moves too much? It's because I haven't got the engine mounts working properly. It's because the engine mounts are currently meant to attach to a thing called subframe and not a monocoque chassis. What's the favorite mod I've ever created? It's an automation vehicle, but it's the six-wheeled F1 car because that was like the first one where like I really started to stretch my modding legs. Oil pan damage. My partner's is probably the uh, the gay Econo vehicle electric car. We're both uh, LGBT, so. When she saw that, she was like, oh my god, that's so funny. I was like, alright. And then she said, you have to make that into a video. I was like, no. You know what, yes. <laughs> so I made it into a video. You tired? I'm a little bit. Mostly my voice is going. So if I talk in a higher octave, it won't hurt quite so much. Oh, this is very really hard to drive. I'm reckoning getting the transmission mounted up properly will help a little bit. Uh, the engine dr okay let's go and work on these engine mounts so don't need you what a weird song Uh, we're gonna do a comparison between the two. Wait, do we not even have engine mounts? Oh, we might not even have engine mounts in. Give me a second. I'm an idiot. If that fixes this, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. No, no, that doesn't fix it. Let's double check though. Make sure that they're actually working. No, they're not in. Okay, now they showed up. Engine mounts. Let's go stock. Okay, yeah, no, nah, they, uh, they're not very good at sticking anyway. Okay. Let's start playing with these engine mounts. So, RX2L. Yeah. RX2L. That's probably actually already working. EX. RX2LL. RX2. I'm guessing that's suspension, actually. Yeah, and this one should have that. 
RX2L. Okay, that is already attached. Next, you know what? We can skip all of the X's. Oh, no, we can't. Well, let's find some other nodes to attach this to. Like F4, L, and R. That might actually be enough. No, but it is getting close. Okay. R2. RR and LL. We might do a transmission mount as well. Yeah, I don't think the transmission is mounting properly, yeah. TM1L and TM1R. Okay, I see them. Let's get them to join R6 and R2. There we go. Engine is now in there fairly solid like. That is a functional mod. Now, the body panels are not wide enough to like actual, like the physical, not the visible. Straight out of the box, this handles pretty all right. Now the brakes are not very well balanced. And it does tend to the understeer. But I'm gonna leave all that tuning stuff up to you guys. Been watching since 11.30, now it's 6.15 a.m. Oh, damn! It's funny to see all the different time zones in chat. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Scintilla, a car of perfection, now available at Tesco's. <laughs> oh. This uh, suspension is set up for a um, rear-engine vehicle, so it should understeer more than oversteer. Emphasis there on being should. This is fun to drive. You know what really sucks? Is you guys don't get to drive this. Na 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 na. Sorry, I'm being a bit of a dick. This is fun to drive. Sorry that I was like really mute just then. I realized I wasn't talking. It's because I was enjoying this so much.
That's a lot of fun. Holy shit, that's a lot of fun. After this, you should make it a Ute. Actually, that might be possible. But what, what is it you want... Wait, what did I not realize? <laughs> you can't even drive it. Fair enough. Private mod only. Uh, back and I'm starting to feel like making my own minivan is going to be a problem when you took a lot of time building what I think is 20% or so. What? I have done a lot more than what you need to. Like, this is overkill. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! This is so much fun. Uh, we are now going to get on to the engine working parts. Though the suspension in the rear is very soft. Let's pay close attention. Is the suspension mounted properly? It is. RX 4R. We might make that a bit heavier. Oops, closed the wrong one. Closed the wrong one. helped all right I'm happy with that bye Phil I have tuition okay wolves Catch you next time. Can you call it a Philovan 86? <laughs> oh, around we go. I'm probably going to give early access to other YouTubers. And then say that if you want to have early access to this, you have to shout me out. Apparently I hit a preset button on my headset. Weird. Okay. Last and definitely least is going to be the livery creation. Let's have a look to see what we've got here. Oh wait, no. Engine. Uh, uh rat sport doors, bumper kit, body engine because I closed that off so what sort of things are we looking at here 596 kilowatts I don't know how much horsepower that is but apparently that much power comes in at RPM which is good to know I like to know when my engine comes in at uh, RPM amount of power geniuses We have a bit of 13,800 uh, RPM and a 13,500 going once, going twice. Close, but uh, not quite. This should have something in here.
13.8 RPM, they reckon. And 789 horsepower. I do need to go to the tool. I've been busting for a while now. I'll be back in a bit. Y'all know that Peugeot Oxia was functional concept car that could do 230 miles per hour? What a terrible name. Apparently you're sheep now. You're tattooed into New Zealand. I like that dusk. No, well done. The Welsh are already here. Oh god. Okay, so... 789 horsepower. We only need a little bit more horsepower, but it revs up to 13.8. So let's hear what it listens uh, sounds like. Some funky music. Why is it not updating? Ah, oh, it's red line. It's going to be in the ECU, isn't it? Damn it, it's in the ECU. Alright, let's find the ECU. You know what? We'll get rid of regular oil pan. An oil pan race will be the only option here. Uh, intake, stock, sport. Probably going to drop all of those for race, but we'll see how it goes. And we got turbos in here. Leave them in. ECU, sport ECU, race ECU. Okay, let's drop those two. Drop that in there. Then... What does this sound like? It 
It doesn't sound great, but you know what? It doesn't sound horrible. Okay, we can work with this. Nature's looks like adjustable stuff love box. Race intake oil pan. Apparently the race intake didn't change much. What does the race intake look compared to the turbo intake? They look exactly the same. Okay, let's move these power numbers around a bit. So we're going to move 9 and 10 further down the queue. What does that look like? Okay, 762 PS. Getting close. Actually, you know what? I hate doing this, but we'll do it anyway. Seven hundred fifty one horsepower. Okay, we're getting close. If we move that, that should... So we're not adding torque or anything. But what we are doing is moving it further down the line, which will give us more power. Seven ninety one. that works. Okay. Seven hundred and seventy. Okay, let's increase the eleven thousand RPM just a bit. Seven hundred and eighty. Seven hundred and eighty-nine, so we're getting close. Six. Seven. It's almost a one to one, but it won't be quite. Seven hundred and eighty nine horsepower. Good. I hope that horsepower and BHP. No, oh, that is BHP. Good. Wait, we can go custom? Uh, temperatures, Celsius, kilograms, liters, liters per hundred, power, kilowatt, torque, newton meters, good. Energy, joule, that's correct, right? Yeah. Pressure, bar, you know what, we're going to change that to PSI. Date format, day, month, year, that is good. Automatic mod updates, probably not. Sweet. I saw something about kilowatts earlier. 596 kilowatts. Some inaccuracies in their reporting there. Oh. Twitter in a nutshell. <laughs> Never realized there was a custom tab. Yes. You can create your own things. It's just... I hadn't done it in a very long time. Yeah, but isn't there like a slight difference between horsepower and brake horsepower or something like that? Maybe I misheard and people were talking about SI and BHP. I'm not sure. 
Black Panther 22? Yeah, it's been a while. Seven and a half hours? If you want accuracy wing and perhaps four bucket seeds, like this pass. What? Union meters are better than foot pounds, change my mind. <clears throat> For me, they make sense. It's essentially the same. Yeah, I thought so. Thanks, Jordan. Is this where the party is? MNP? Yeah, a little bit. Um. Let's do a little bit of modification. Where are the rear windows? Ah. I don't know why I picked a van version to go first, but that was a silly mistake. Because this thing is completely open, right? Yep, just normal glass. I think that's all good. So what was saying? Somebody was saying something about uh, the interior. What was the other thing we we're going to do? Race seats. Yeah. So we are a little bit overweight. We're a lot overweight, actually, apparently. We're 1,500 kilos. Race seats will make it a little bit lighter. Second row seats. Captain seat mounts. The hell? Weird. Can we fit ray seats in the second row? No, we can't. Um, I think we can. Oh, you know what? It sits on the fuel cell, so most people won't notice. We are going to have to do, like, a carbon fiber floor pan, though. Can we get a big wing, please? It should be... That's right, a big wing. Spoiler. So we have spoilers on there currently. We have an early spoiler and a late spoiler. No. Okay, so where do we grab our wing from? We want something from the 90s. The current one it has is like a big sort of rake pull sort of thing. Let's get some music going. Um, with some, like, weird pods. We are not going to replicate that, because that is too much to replicate. Let's have a look through here. First, we're going to have a look at the Civetta, since that'll probably have the most likely thing. We could use the Group 5 one that I've used before. That is a flat element, though. Who else has flat element wings? Does it have a, fa a flat element wing? Oh, it does have a flat element wing. We could potentially grab that. Oh, no, no. That is diamond shaped. Nomex GTX? Oh, you're right. We could grab something from the, uh... That. We'll have a look in a minute, though. We're trying to go through one by one to see if there's not anything that fits a little bit better. 
This one gets a bit close. Though the mounting is no good. For the era. And none of them are any better. Then they've got like weird multi element wings. What do you got? Uh, you have a an arch. It's cool, but not cool enough. What do you got? Do you have a race thing that goes on the roof? You do. That's no good. I don't think this has any wings. Yeah, no. The Pessima? I don't think the Pessima is going to have a wing like that. The van doesn't have any wings, does it? Yeah, I don't think so. Gavril. It also has a hollow mount sort of style, which this is not. I don't think the Ute has anything. Let's check out. These are a little too aggressive again. As you can see, like, that whole hollow mount sort of thing is not really a thing from the time period we're looking. We might have to use it, though. What else do we have? We have fill panel. Let's have a look at fill panel. Oh, okay, that's the uh, normal one. Yeah, no, we don't want that. SBR fill panel? No. Retractable? Oh, we've already seen that, haven't we? Yeah, it's the normal sort of wing. No. Um, not really the right sort of wing. Does this have... It has more of an arch-style wing, which could potentially work. It'll mo look more tame on a normal car. My problem is that uh, if you have a look at the mounting system that it has, I know this is a toy, but that's like full on. It's not cut out. It's not a uh, light weightened like a lot of those other ones are. This is getting pretty darn close. We have a few Nomi wings. See, that one's hollow, and I don't think that fits. It's also not a sing uh, a flat element. It's a, more of a drift element. That fits, yeah, again, that's that same sort of wing. Same sort of dealio. Ibishu is probably going to also have hollow elements by the looks of it. May as well have a look. It's only going to take a little bit of time. Small lip. LS spoiler? No. X type spoiler. And that's probably a lot closer than most of them are. I don't think the Abyssu has anything. Yeah, the only one it has is like for the rear engine, and it's kind of like a Stratos sort of wing. Don't think the Abyssu really has anything, no. Pessima would be probably the best bet. Unfortunately, it has a similar sort of thing, but this one does have... That. Hmm. Hmm, it's close.
Hmm. Blue buck? I very much doubt that blue buck has a wing, but we'll have a quick look. If I can find it. Yeah, no, nothing. Other pessima. Wait, I forgot to actually have a look. Whatever. Uh, GTZ spoiler. That's getting pretty close. Then we just got our normal Nomi wings with the... Uh, I might actually do an amalgamation. No, that won't work. I could use like mounts from a normal one and then put a better element on it. But I don't think so. The more I think about it, the sillier that sounds. What about the Soliad Wendover? Once again, it has the same sorts of wings. My last option is to modify the Bolides wing. Oops. I think we're gonna futz with this. Yeah, what wings do the scintilla have? out a regular scintilla. Uh, oh, it just has the Nomi wings as well. Poop. It does have more, though. Performance rear spoiler. No. It's close, though. Freaking really big one. What's a frame mounted? Oh. What about the Dark Owl rear spoiler? <laughs> that looks really cool, but it's not what we're going for here. Though this one also doesn't look right. You know what, screw it. Let's just go a regular wing. <coughs> Does it not keep the wings here? The wings must be in common. Which means that'll make my life a lot easier. I clicked on cannon again. How many times have I gone to click on common and I cl clicked on cannon? Jesus. Uh, ETK? Racing interior, racing seats, roof bar. Whatever. Let's do it this way. It's BR. 
wing. Probably in here. It got double spoilers and two roof scoops on side. I don't see roof scoops. And you are right, it does have a, um, a double element wing, but it is straight. Oh wait, no, now I see them. Ah, they're just really hard to spot. I think we'll forego the roof scoops. Spoiler me, retractable lip. Fill panel. SBR fill panel. Well, it's not in here. SBR Big Wing Okay Then You know, actually, no, that's fine. We can just go from here For man, what would be your dream BMG crossover minus Jurassic Park? Automation? It already exists Uh... I reckon Jurassic Park could go well. The problem is there is Beam and G devs don't have a lot to do with animation. Let's go to our body. And where's the spoiler here? Roof, quarter panels, rad support, mirror, door, tailgate, roll cage, fuel. Whatever. Put that there. Put this here. Big wang. You know, just to make it easier to search for, we're going to put wing there. And now we learn how to fit it, which we're just going to use node offset. Which ones do we have? We have just the Nomi wing. Okay. We might take it in and do a bit of editing of it as well. Move that up, say a meter. Let's go with like 33 centimeters to start with. Close. Okay, that works for me. We're just gonna do a little bit of extra modification. So let's also grab a bolide eyed wing. Do I have the bolide eyed in here? No, I don't.
Why is that? Weird. Ah, good. It's not completely hollow. We also don't need you. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I've changed my mind. This is going to play funny buggers. I just know it. Whatever. Oh, uh, you know what? We should also grab the SBR wing. Let's grab you. Have a quick look here to make sure there's not more DDA, uh, DAE files. No, there's not. Okay. Turns out the uh, Space F1 for Assetto is actually accurate despite it had laser scanned the real car. What do you mean by that? Weird. Oh. Alright, let's see if we return a result for this wing model. Well, somebody did say it was going to be eight hours. So, I mean... Welcome... Oh, hey, here we go. We found it. Um... Annie... Rudda... Gupti. That's a, that's a tricky one. on the big wing? Is that the one that we were bringing out? There's a lot of little files in there. O2 AA. That's the one. Ah! Okay. B, C, and D. B, C, and D we don't need. Okay, well that fixes that issue. Wait, I didn't export the other one, did I? F the sleep. F1 on TV. Phil on the phone. Nice. <laughs> did that... That's there. Oh, 
SPR tailgate. Is that gonna make it better? Hey, would you look at that? We've got a little bit of work to do. We'll ignore that. Potentially. Game is starting to really chug down a lot. Doesn't look like there's anything meant to be on the roof of this thing. It's so no roof rails. And then... Okay, mount's starting to look a little bit better. It's way too low though. Ah, because it has a node offset. Not a node offset, flex body offset. That should fix the issue. Okay. Now to mess with this a bit. I should probably go to the roof in here, shouldn't I? Yeah, you know what? Let's go grab a roof.
Just gonna even go all the way back. Interesting. That's how they solved that little bit of an issue. Okay. Rear wing. Now it looks a bazillion times better. We're gonna fix little bits more here and there. You can go more inwards as well, I think. Actually, where does this want to... It really wants to be very narrow to cover up that stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Just on the inside of that. This is very narrow, but whatever. Weird things are happening. Okay. We're getting there. A little bit further inwards. Let me move this over. There we go, that works. Then... You know what, it can actually come down. But by coming down, it can also move further back. What do we think? It's getting there. Oh, lots of things being deleted in chat. So there's nothing untoward going on. Please, people, keep it civilized. People keep spamming question marks. Oh, you know, I'm not too concerned about spamming unless people are actually trying to communicate with me, which I'm not really communicating back, so it's kind of my fault there. Um, I, we're not going to bring this much further back, but what we are going to do is bring this out and further back. So kind of like this. cover it up very close very very close
Now... That almost looks like it's meant to be that. Except for this. So, how do we fix that? Well, that will be in the first UV unwrap of this thing. Uh, let's see if we can't figure this out. That part, right? Yeah, it goes all the way up to the front, though. Oh, you're a bugger, aren't you? But they're both the same. So, you know what? We're gonna go here. And do this. There. Does that fix the issue? Close. Now it just looks like there's a design on it. Fair enough. Do we want the wing to be narrow or anything? No, I think we're good there. Okay. The wing supports are supposed to be on the outer edge of the roof. Yes, but I don't want to have to modify the wing. That would take a lot of effort. If we also have a look here, you'll see that it is kind of on the outer edge, but it's on the inside of the wing and not completely on the edge. So, I think this is passable. Now, there is a possibility that you do not agree. And to you I say, make it yourself! I'm surprised that the mounts are not a part of the actual mounts, and the mounts are on the wing. Or the brackets, I should say. And so, why Putin walking song? I don't know what you mean by that, but I am. Thing has a tendency to understeer. Okay. Oh, it wants to change at normal gear rates, does it? Okay, transmission time. Yes, that one. Don't need you, don't need you. Hold on to you for now. Big wing guards, until a transaxle. Okay, gear changing amounts. I'm gonna leave the sequential manual in there, that'll be fine. Anybody know how many gears it has? What is timeout? How does it work also? Sorry, what? What engine does it have? It has an approximation of an F1 engine. I'm gonna do a little bit more work to it in a bit though. 
Low shift down RPM, low shift up RPM. Where's the shifting RPM? Because for some reason it's shifting like way too early. Maybe it is under engine. Well, we left engine open. Uh, okay. So here we have our high shift RPMs. High shift down? Oh, weird. Transmission delay. Nothing we want there. Clutch launch. Clutch target. I shift up. Oh, okay. This is what we want. What are like 13.5? Okay. That should fix our woes. You thought of 7C sequential? I could fix that. I mean, it's a DCT, basically the same thing anyway. As you can see there, yeah, it's getting up to 13.5. Oh god. The increased power amount is ridiculous. Holy cow. I want to listen to this, so I'm going to turn the music off. Brakes are not tuned very well. They're not tuned at all! Oh dear. The extra power we now have with the extra RPM, because I was an idiot and didn't have that set up right, is ridiculous. So much more. It is so much extra. Okay. Eh. On a flat bit of road, it reckons 2.8 seconds to 100. What do we do? Well, that was bad. Too much wheel spin. And if I lift... Four seconds again. You know what it needs? It needs slicks. And also probably the drag strip. Let's move over a little bit. This is running on regular road tires, right? Yeah, it's running on regular road tires. We need slicks. Okay. Yeah, they spell it wrong. There we go. Uh, standard race, tarmac rally. Let's go race. And then a race on the rear as well. Alright. Let's now try out at 0 to 100. We don't have a clutch. Three point zero eight. You know what? We're pretty darn close. Burn Tutin. Ah. 
Okay, let's go on and do a little bit of transmission tuning now. We have a, you know what, well, we might actually just get rid of the DCT and go with the sequential instead anyway. Did you add a J-beam for the body kit? No, but we are going to modify the collision meshes soon. Somebody said a 7 speed. Let's have a quick look. Nope. Six speed sequential. Okay, no, six speed is all we wanted anyway. So we're not going to need to duplicate that. Uh, that all looks fine. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Save that. Actually. We're going to need to copy that. Transaxle. This might have a bit of a heart attack. Nope, straight into a uh, thing. Three seconds flat. 2.6 seconds flat. Nice. I'm guessing we're overweight though. Yeah, we are overweight. We should bring that weight down a little bit. Uh, we could lose the roof nodes and instead make the roof there just a part of the normal body. Which I think we might do. Uh, so. We can lose that. We can lose that. Grab this, and then we should have roof in here somewhere. And not like the Porsche. P Q R roll cage roof. We're just gonna grab the regular roof flex bodies and then lose the roof part. Lansdale roof solid. Smooth. You know what actually we might grab smooth. Then, body, flex body, and put it in there. Then, roof, can go away. That'll save us a little bit of weight. So we're at 1559, that becomes... Two kilos lighter. Well, let's undo that then, because that was a waste of time. Can't believe all of that just for two kilos. Oh my god. I should I just use the node stuff to make it lighter? You have to put on much wider wheels. It is much wider. I mean, you know what? Yeah, F1 tires are meant to be a lot bigger. God, I hate wheels and tires. I really hate them in this game. Why are they so garbage? So we got to 11s. Currently I have Folk. Let's see if we can find the same Folks in like 12s. Oh, okay. No, we only have out of Vulcans. What do they look like? You know what, they look okay. But then they only have drag tires. Get the feeling we don't get that big. If they're normal tires, they should actually be 15s.
Single nut wheels? Oh, you're right about that. Um, that is possible. Let's bring out something that has, you know, actually, let's go home. I already have something that has that. Probably not you. Or do we go that? Now, let's go with the scintilla wheels. But they don't have single nuts. Probably be a different hub, right? Five lug wheel hubs, center lock wheel hubs. And even that bugs out. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's find these center lock wheel hubs. Wait, hold on. Does this have a hidden thing for that? Let's let's go quickly check before we go doing anything drastic. No, it only goes into wheels. Scintilla. Was it hubs? Or would that be under suspension still? Maybe. Maybe it is. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Hubs front and hubs rear. These will have the right sort of wheel. So that is five lug, center lug. We don't have suspension open. So rear suspension first. that open because that might cause a bit of an issue in a second. Center lug. Ah, here we go. Things going way out of whack now. We got mods on mods on mods on mods. We do have really thicker wheels now. Eighteen twelves? Sixteen twelves? There's nothing wider than that. Okay, what do we got here for sixteens? Or do we just call it that? I think actually that looks okay. Nah, I like the other wheels. They look a little bit closer, I think, in design. Oh, but they're only in silver? Lame. What about the 16s by 12s? Black? Okay, good. We have some black choices. We have two choices of 16 by 12s. Let's go with this. No. No. Alright, so what sort of tires we got on here? We got just our race tires. Good. Okay. Hubcaps? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with that. Did the Espas F1 idle at 3000 RPM, or am I wrong?
I don't know. But you know what? It's an F1 car, so I'm probably dead. Unless somebody comes in and says, no, it didn't rev a uh, idle. Can somebody look that up? Chromatic, you're here. Are you able to look that up quickly? Uh, we have an idle RPM here, but let's see if we got another one. It's the race ECU. It's part of the main engine. Okay, so all it does is add on a little bit more. Let's go like... There we go. What is a hubcap? Funny. Okay. Idling is now. There we go. Oh, it's finally coming together. Finally! It's been together for a while now. Never found wheels, though. I don't want to make custom wheels. Oh, you're talking about using a hubcap to cover up things. Ah. Oh. Now, we, I think we're fine here. I think we're good. Let's go on to livery creation. Uh, this is where I'm going to be working on the very bounds of my limits of expertise. If you can even call it that. Oh, that's no good, actually. Correct. Nope. Alright, um, this does get rather tricky. See, what I'm hoping to do is just edit just these, but I think what we'll do... Go back to what size they were. Wait, where's the bumper sit on this as well? Oh, good. That sits there, so that's all fine.
we're matched a little bit there on scale. Okay. We're going to go basically a monochromatic here. Just because I'm lazy. What is... AO map break. I don't know. What is the color scheme here? It is all monochromatic and one side panel and then that part there. It's going to be a little bit messy. But we can do this. How do I do this? Let's go... I think I, I think I know what I should do here. Uh, new material. Uh. What is a normal skin for the Lansdale? Actually, you know what? Let's have a look at their skin materials thing, and then we're going to find... Base color map, I believe, is the one we want. Oh, that's an interior skin anyway. Thank you, Benjamin, again for another tutorial. Didn't you say you were going to go to bed? I think you need another tea or something. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Uh, we got interiors, interior, more interior, glass? Interior, interior, interior. Here we go. Okay, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. We have metallic normal roughness, ambient, base color map, I think is the one we want. You know what, we can have a quick look. It's gonna stuff up our ability to model it in a bit, but we can futz around. This is called Lansdale Mainskin Balesco. Mainskin Derby. Actually, we should look for one that's colorable. So we have to, I think, actually put one on to be able to do this. Two-tone. Facelift. No. So it's be pre-facelift. Whatever. It's afternoon there? Oh, okay. I get so confused. My little old brain. Don't do so well. I also don't drink tea. Why is ABS a material, but yet I've never seen ABS modeled? Main skin pre two tone. So we're looking for one that's like bright green and red. There we go. So it is the base color palette map. Base color Okay, this is the one we want, right? Derby? Yeah, whatever. No, actually, two tone is the one we want anyway. Isaiah Skin Gambler. Grunt. Leo. No, that's a law enforcement agency. Node Online? No. Police? No. Oh, okay, there is a police. Pre two tone. Second stage. Color palette. This is the one we want. We're going to have a look at this quickly. 
This is the exact one that we're going to be kind of basing our idea off of. Lansdale. Main. Skin. P. Re. Two-tone. Color. They say PNG, but we have the DDS. Let's drag it out to have a look. Is this going to have too much of an issue? You know what? There's a dot in there. That might be causing an issue. Let's try opening this instead with this. Bright red bracket. Wow, that is really, really, really dodgily done. That is... That is a skew. Yeah, that's a skew. That's hilarious. But that is showing clearly what works. We don't need suspension F anymore. What we want... Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to check out the resolution of that, weren't we? It's not going to tell me, is it? I can see why you will avoid beam and automation official Discord servers when possible. I mean, I try. Damn it, that's not going to work. Um... do is inspect this thing. And it won't even show up. I think it's broken. That's weird. I don't understand how that works. Uh, let's just create our own then. It doesn't actually matter. You can go away. Texture paint. It's only going to let me paint one at a time. You know, it's fine. Let's go ahead. Let's just... Oh, no. That's right. Corel doesn't work very well. Let's open up GIMP then. File, new. Let's go like 2048. That was wrong. Actually, you know what? No, I can paint the espace sort of thing on the side. I was going to do that. So yeah, we have to do it here. Uh, let's go on, create a new material, base color, this is going to be bright red, and everything down here is going to be bright green and same the other way around. Go. 
damn it. Full off. Solid. Good. Let's just make sure that we've got it on all of these. Yeah, that's what we wanted to avoid. There we go. Uh, now let's do the other side. Why is that painted? That shouldn't be green. Ah. If anything's there, it's going to get painted green. Okay, so we'll move that in slightly and then back to here. Damn it, really? That is clearly in. That nah, still wants to be green. I think we're fine though. Even that's having a bit of an issue. What is it to make it white? So... Skin tutorial. I think white makes it non-paintable. Yeah. And then blue is also the third color, right? Not sure. I now select that, select that to be the only thing I paint? Good, I can. Thank God. Might not be high enough resolution, to be honest. Might have to make it like 4K if I can change that at any point. Yeah, that is not high enough resolution. Can I change this at any time? Jordan, are you still here? You able to help me out? Lisa need a bit of work. It's nearly 1am, bro. Go to bed. <laughs> it's getting close. Textures. Texture mask stroke full of. I might have to create a new one. Forty ninety six.
That does look a lot better already. I think I have to also go like project or something. I'm probably going to be up until about 2 anyway. we go. That's done a little bit better. Sorry that this is turning into a bit of a, a bit of a snooze fest, but if we want to have good liveries, we have to do good work. is called hat yeah there's a lot of weird things
Okay. That is how we do that. Now, image, save as. Dot color. RGBA, 16 bit, compression off, done. Now, body. Where do skins come into play? That's going to be under main, isn't it? Which means we're just going to have to create our own skin. Skin should really be under body and not under main. Just saying. Skin. And then, do we have a skins J-beam, or is that also going to be under the thing? Skins is also here. Okay. Part of one of the reasons why I may or may not use uh, Notepad++, just one of. Uh, it's also going to grab the name that I gave this. Put that in base color palette map. Uh, then did I open up the skin one? No, oh, I didn't open up the skin one. Let's open up the skin one. I did it, this mod that included a lot of configs, so it most likely came from there. What are we talking about? Ah. Anywho. Actually, I actually don't think it matters what we call this. Except for splot type. A splot? Slot type. Paint design? Alright, that's the one we'll grab. It's interior stuff. Uh, global skin. Map, but let's give it a try. Okay. Esports F1. Then, if we're lucky, which we are not.
That barely works. Why is it bleeding over? It shouldn't be. Let's do a quick little test. That is blindingly green. Yep, that is exactly green. That is how that should work. And the blue isn't working either. Let's have a look. Skin interior, skin interior. Main skin esports. Layer 2. Is it having problems with like ambient occlusion maps? I don't think it would be. Opacity map can stay, roughness map. Normal maps are fine, metallic map. It's fine. Maybe the occlusion, roughness, normal, metallic. Am I doing it wrong? This wouldn't happen to be an interior one, would it? God, I wish I knew how these things work better. Let's open up a skin and a main DRL Lansdale badges Lansdale. So there is a Lansdale main, and in here, the material is Lansdale main. So then, no, that is, that is good. Lansdale, so now it goes dot skin. So everything Lansdale main is being overwritten by this skin and then called eSports, which we have the correct name for. It's clearly working mostly correctly. But that's changing the interior. Yeah, what the hell? Not even changing the color of this. Let's um, save this config. And reload the game. Clear out the cache and reload the game. Yep. 
You don't want an F4, do you? There you go. No, that's good. Temp vehicles. Plan stale. It's using the wrong thing. That's why it's having a brain fart. That's what I wanted it to use. No, that is the right thing. Palette map. Yeah, that was correct. Let's delete you. Relaunch. Sometimes the best option is just to go again. How do you find out what version of Windows you want? You know, I don't know. Let's bring it out in something easy to work on. Yeah, still doing the same thing. done something wrong. Preface two turn. Now that will be called skin Main skin pre two tone. Wait, why did I not search for two tone? Ah, wrong place. Pre two tone. Should be going to the right place. to be the same. Why is this even showing up as a different color? doesn't even change anything. 
change his interior stuff, but why? Night Rider had really good music, the intro, and when the car went super fast. You know, we never got Night Rider here, so I don't actually know. But I can think of it, like, nostalgically, I think I remember the intro music kind of playing sometimes. I just don't think it was on Australian free-to-air TV, which is what everyone used to watch. Oh, that's trying to say no materials, that's fine. What the fiddlesticks? Oh. Look at the idiot. There we go. I'm so dumb. So this was like a silvery color. No, it was mostly a black color. This was a silvery color. Can't believe how dumb I am. Oh my god. Can you guys believe it? Can you believe how dumb I am? Now, why is this still showing up as the wrong color, though? That is a question. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, apparently it's just going to be that color anyway. Everything else seems fine. Why are you being funny buggers? Also, why is this mesh material still not applying here? I don't get it. Also, this painting is not great. <laughs> but it'll do. Oh, yeah, it's Intilla skins now, huh? Okay. Let's go do the scintilla stuff. So we have scintilla engine, 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 main, main, engine, 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 Oop. engine and badges. You know what? We could probably do away with badges. So engine and main. We don't want this to be a scintilla engine, so we can grab just badges. Remove that. Materials. Let's close that. Close that. Done with that. And we're going to put them in here. Okay, so badges, screen. Scintilla engine. And... Just the regular old Scintilla, please. Nothing afterwards. You know what? Fine. Wait, really? What's it called? until a main. There we go. Hey, there we go. Um... Was, was that always like that? Weird. I'm not sure. Engine intake. We're going to create one for the race naturally aspirated intake. So, I'm going to do a little bit of modification there. Now, you 
Whoa. We don't want any of you. Easy. Why are they uneven? Weird. Close enough. Probably going to want this to be double-sided, too. E, nice. Main engine. You know what? He uses engine, good. Now we're going to create uh, the throttle bodies. They are uneven. I suppose normally you wouldn't notice. That fuel tank needs to be moved further forward too. Are they in the wrong place? No, they're in the right place. Weird. Okay.
Now. Engine. Do I still have that open? We do. We don't need the transaxle. Don't need the roof. Don't need the hubs. Hubs. Suspension. Don't need that. Greetings, Filmon. I've been following your channel for a while and I've always had questions to uh, uh, ask. The automation downforce, did you just add more wings to, for grip? Uh, ways to get more aero on automation, though, there is a section in my Discord you can ask for this, if this is, uh, sorts of things that you guys want to know. Uh, got automation stuff in here? In here you can ask. What you do is more wings, then down the wing angle in the slider area for your wings. That will give you more downforce but less drag. Doing it that way. Uh, if you're trying to follow my build rules, there's usually a thing in there, though, so be careful about that. Uh, you're going to use a flex body for this, and then you're going to get a prop. Uh, airbox and intake pipes gone. Actually, you know what? Let's. You actually probably lose all of the nodes and beams for this particular one. Save a little bit of weight. Then lose these two. Now, do we have props in here at all? Probably not. No. Where would we have props? Any of these. Interior. You know, we got this open. Let's grab an example prop section. Wheel speed, RPM. Throttle, okay, this is what we want. You know, that's fine. This is not clean. We don't need you. Don't need you. Just throttle. Uh, throttle, pedal, gas. No, you're going to be... Eleanor. Um... What prop nodes? We should probably use... You know what? One thing I haven't done... Set origin. Origin to geometry. Let's try exploiting that again. Nodes. So. L and R. R will probably be the main one. And then... Two. Okay. Rotation zero translate. Oh, I hate this. Prop 
probably gonna have to use global offset, but we'll give this a try. They are not here. They didn't even show up. could do a turbocharger, but I'm not going to. I also want to say, if someone made a diesel V16 with a stage 3 supercharger, I think it could reach 2,000 foot-pounds of torque or so. Go for it. Uh, is the formatting wrong here, maybe? Let's get the formatting right. Might just be having a bit of a hassle with that. That's all good. I doubt that this formatting was the issue there. Where are they? Mesh coil over. I okay, guess so that's having a problem. Couldn't find that. You're just going to chug everything up, aren't you? Okay. So, coil over, RL, missing the VY note for the mesh. RL, so that is rear suspension. Coil over. Flex bodies. So what are you having a problem with here? Push rod, coil over R, coil over R. <laughs> um, I'm thinking what it might be having an issue with is there not being a body node in the middle. So let's go R1 and add whatever needs to be there. Actually, you know what? Let's... Grab the SBR. And where does it connect in the middle here? Seems to connect around R1, I think. So... Body... R1, find what node groups are attached to it. Group. Coil over R. There we go. Oh, okay, so it's already got groups. Okay, all we need then is this. That's the wrong vehicle. And actually, we'll leave you in for now. V1 node still not found. SBR coil over R. This fixed the issue. A VY thing means that it basically just... Yeah, okay, it doesn't have enough information. Um... I 
I added the wrong thing. I'm an idiot. I wonder I couldn't find it. That's also going to ask for a fix over here, isn't it? No! Oh, that wasn't enough. Let's find another group for it. Oh, there is only the one. Weird. Nothing of that nature is found here. Weird. Why doesn't the default vehicle have this issue? Alright, let's just pick another node and add that to it as well. So we've got R1. We could try adding R6, I think. R6 has nothing, so we're gonna grab you. Now half shafts. Oh goodness gracious! A half shafts were in the transaxle, right? Oh no, not transaxle. Transfer case. Four to five hours sleep is all you need. Jesus, I wish. here. The princess is in another castle. You're gonna sleep in negative three and a half hours. Go to sleep then, Chromatic. Jesus. Yes, the turbo is in there. You can tune the engine up a little bit more RPM, but basically, it's up to you. All right, we're looking for specifically half shaft. Yeah, found a bunch in the DAE file, and then differential. That's where it is. Actually. So why are half shafts no good? Slots, I don't want slots, I want flex bodies. Half shafts, flex bodies. It's not a prop at all? No, it's not a prop. Okay. So on scintilla differential, which it should have, scintilla upper arm, ah. This will change with... Oh, wait, no, that's not right. Yeah, that's... Okay, so it's uh, this, the suspension. I wonder if that's actually what the suspension is called. Do we have the suspension still open? We do. We could go up a mount. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do that. And 
then lower. Lower Mount R. You should now be my bestest friend. Good. Okay, that's cleared up a lot. Duplicate part found. Lips bought early? Stale bumper R. Okay, yeah, we can lose that. I didn't realize that I hadn't removed these things. It's not here. Huh? Then where art thou? When stale bumper uh lip. Okay. Ah, because I looked at the wrong bit. Yeah, my, I'm a dip. Lip sport early. Don't want that. Lansdale bumper early B. We don't want that either. So those two should go away. Good. Those are fine. No exhaust and nodes found. That we can deal with. Building an exhaust tree failed. Engine thermals are disabled. That's all related. Relevant gearbox device is wrong type. Expected manual gearbox. Actual sequential. Weird. Uh, I suppose we'll leave that. No CMU present disabling system. I don't know what that means. Unable to find material map to bolide main is unknown. putting things in the wrong place. Yep, I put things, I think, in the skins area, did I? No? No. Wait, what have I done here? bunch of stuff here that I don't need. Gauges. Black diffuser, don't need that. Chemicals, display. Face. E facelift? What? E lettering? E lights? Did I just grab the entire thing? Is that what I did here? Devs also need to find out um, more efficient ways of creating lights. Signals, tail light, tail light, tail light, tail light, wide body, wide body damage. Wait, a oh, windshield damage. Okay, let's be our main, let's be our engine one. Oh, wait, we don't even have the scintilla, uh, sorry, the SBR engine, do we? 
we don't need the SBR engine. Scintilla engine is in here. Scintilla main. So, why do you not find Scintilla main? Let's do a quick refresh. See what uh, if anything else pops up whilst we did that. Okay. No material. I'm able to find bolide main. Oh, that's what I did wrong. How many of you were yelling at me? Nolan from Donut Media? We might have similar builds. But that'd be about it. I mean, I don't have an accent. That might give it away. So what does it say I want? Bolide main. Bolide badges. Ugh. There we go. That should be one line less of error. So is it converted to rear wheel drive as... Yes, it is rear wheel drive only. Okay, so mesh that has no material assigned can't be rendered. Oh! That's why. Okay, let's go ahead. Steel and brass. Okay. Let's actually go very generic material. And luckily, we can grab something like that from just... A regular automation car. They have very basic materials. I think we've run out of the 100 the, uh, song playlist. Yes, we have. We're down to our last 170 songs, guys. Uh, not basic enough. Not basic enough. Not basic enough. That's pretty basic. Uh, you're going to lose the normal map. Diffuse is going to be... So we want RGB. Uh, so first one's going to be like a brassy sort of color. Around there. 222, 166. And... 80. Roughness factor... Let's put that up to like... 7. Metallic factor 1. That looks good. Alpha test, no. Translucent, no. Translucent, no. Double-sided, no. Invert black face. Normals don't care, don't care. Okay. So this is going to be called uh, ITB Brass. Then this is going to be ITB Steel. And this is going to be... May as well. A look. Now, to apply these. So get them. Good. Okay. Fix that.
Yep, they both come out steel. Why is brass not coming out the right colour? Is it the metallic factor? That's how ITVs work, right? Yeah, Beam and G does some weird things. They're not very good at uh, making props, in my opinion, at least. So X, let's change that to 90 and 90. And that rotates now the wrong way. Good. Okay, let's... You know what? It'll be easier to do it this way. What is the offset here? closest lined up to. We are... This one is in the back cylinder. So this... I suppose we just finagle it this way. Using this instead of node offset is so much better, by the way. So if you're wondering why I'm not using node offset... Hell yeah, that was pretty much dead on immediately. It's a little too far though. Then we're gonna move this fuel tank a little bit further forward. These trumpets don't look great, but whatever. Good enough. Now, why are they the wrong color? It should be here. Like, that is the color set. definitely get a break. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm doing fine. So that's black and that's white. How's that even happening? Oh, you know what? It's probably because there's no light on it. I think I also need to change the vertical offset. Um, 
Why does the colour come out all wrong? I don't want to, but we're going to go in and we're going to do F11 material changing. ATB brass. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um... I went with 256 color as opposed to decimal color. There we go. Next thing is, is to smoothen these things out a little bit. Actually, you know what we might do. I'm just gonna make these a little bit smaller and cheat. There we go. Then where are the faces? There they are. Shade smooth. Perfect. Cheat ITBs inbound. Close. be a little less obnoxiously force on the full blades. No, it won't. Whatever. Pretty much done. The only last thing that I really want to do is move these seats out and maybe make that fuel cell a little bit narrower. So, well, let's go back to the interior because I know in there we have seats available to us. That's the wrong thing. Interior. So, first things, we have to move the tank forwards a bit still. Close enough. Now, the seats. So if we go rear seat line, I think we have to grab that again from here. Wait, is there an actual seats area maybe? PQRS seats race. Yeah, we'll grab those. And then we'll also go, no normal seats. Yeah, we're gonna have to fiddle with that. Interior. Uh, 
Okay, so. Let's grab you. Wait, hold on. What is that? Is that a bench seat? Yeah, that's a bench seat. Don't want that. Second row, captain seats. Oh, it's just one? Oh, okay, then. What this is going to do now is pull upon us some rear seats. But I want it to be just one slot, but you know what? It'll have to be fine. Node move. Let's go with zero and zero to start with. The captain seats don't have anything like that. Actually, we also have to change the names of this. Mid. Second row, race, seats, uh, second row seats is going to be now race seats. Oh, apparently that's caused an issue. They don't like being here, apparently. Let's scratch this. Stripped interior. Second row seats. Second row ray seats. That's all good. You know what? It wants all of these nodes and beams. Or it just wants beams? Oh, it just wants beams. Okay. Still breaks things. Ah, uh, okay, it wants to be further back. Why is it so unstable? This is an odd one. It's nugly. Uh, race seats. Oh, there is a flex body in here.
So we need to move them back now. A bunch. Oh, three, five? Okay, exactly the same amount. Whoever's back there is gonna be nice and toast next to the V10. Yeah, basically. Nobody ever said this was gonna good setup. It's just the setup. There is meant to be a heat shield over it, I think, but what can you do? Why do you wanna become unstable? Alright, let's go ahead. There's no... There's no nodes. The only thing it does is create beams. That is weird. Alright, let's drop 10% off of these. Wait, really? Still too much. This is probably going to make them really floppy, but let's keep going. Really? Oh, I know what it is. It just doesn't like the fact that there's extra things back here. Okay, so let's lose the beam section. I know what we're going to do. Because we have the race seats anyway. Uh, we can lose slots. We're just going to have hollow seats. looking for is that. Unless we find race seats right away. Racing interior. Okay, perfect. Nope. Oh, that's the CD anyway. Probably be down here then. Nope. Okay. Search the big file. I really do need to pee again. Give me a second. Perfect. Are we going again? 
Uh, about the same as before. Grab you. That's not the one I want. Perfect. There we go. We have our rear seats in. And it has no slots? Good. I mean, it's not that we wanted to be heavier anyway, so I suppose that's a good thing that we didn't really have an actual physical thing in there. Oh, and it went around. I think that's a done project. Actually, it didn't end up taking as long as what I thought. We might want to take ABS off and try tuning our brakes, though. But for now, that's the car. Shadow Aura, basically you've reached us at the end. Uh, one last little thing we're going to do. We're going to overwrite this. We're going to then open this up. Oh, you know what, actually. Let's get a good picture. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. I understand that. Hey, connect hosting. Interesting. Thank you very much for the five dollar readers. Wrong wheels, though. Eh. Here we go. Uh, so, the final thing to do, once we've loaded it in, we're going to overwrite it immediately. Now that we have that, and we have, close you guys off. Uh, don't need you. We're going to drag these in, then we're going to grab a dot info file, uh, sorry, an info underscore something file. And then this is going to have the same name as this right after the info underscore. And instantly, without having to do anything more, it is selectable. Right there. But we're not going to do that. Uh, we are actually going to go in and we're going to change the details of this vehicle. So we're going to go into the info file. Uh, this is about three seconds. You know what, actually, I think I got it down to like 2.6, didn't I? Uh, 100 miles per hour, we don't have that one. So we're going to be about 2.56, whatever. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. Wait. Oh, that I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know the bound. You know, actually, bounding box will probably be the same. Except. You know, I'm just going to leave that the same. Hey, Phil, genuine question. What's your opinion on the big BMW grills? Some of them I like. I reckon they're very divisive, and I fully understand that. Breaking G's, don't know. Config type. Uh, race. Configuration. Now, this is going to be... 
eSports F1. Description. Slightly tuned. Uh, gasoline, induction type, off-road skull, we don't know. Population will be like... Two. Power. I believe that's in horsepower PS. So that's what, like 780 approximately? From, say, 9,000... To 11,500. That's wrong. There we go. Top speed. Don't know. Actually, you know what? We can figure that out. Pretty sure that's in meters a second. Torque. Alright, you know what? I was trying to avoid opening up the torque app, but... There we go. 580. That's not much considering the amount of horsepower it has. And its peak is from about, say, 5,000 to 10,000. Transmission manual. Sequential value. 3,000, 30,000, 300,000. Weight. 1584. It should be a lot lighter than that, but I can't seem to get it down much less. Powder weight, dunno. 1996. Did I do something? Oh. I got rid of that by accident. Done. Uh, I could finagle with the doors for now, but uh, later, oh, now, but instead, you can just have the interior sides. Oh, I haven't done that in the models, have I? I still have it open, don't I? Good. Okay, and let's do the same one on this side. Uh, you, you need to do the same, do you? We were so close. But, you know what they say, a project's never done! I kind of hate that saying, but it's also kind of true.
Ah, oh, same thing here. Rear quarters were done, weren't they? Yep. Okay. Just your side now. You know, actually, the front doesn't matter. Nobody can see that. Oh, no, that is done. Okay. Your turn. Whoop. This sounds like a song from Beat Saber. I'm not gonna lie. I like Beat Saber a lot. And then that one has been done? Yes, it has. Okay. I really gotta learn when to put a project down, honestly. And then, like, when I complete a mod, people are like, Oh, you rush your mods too much. I'm like, no. Go away. I don't like you. <laughs> oh, that's not come out well. You know what? If you don't look at it, it's fine. YouTube Filmon, what is your favorite part of 029? The fact that the we're one step closer to 0.3. Or 0 0.3. That's basically the only... Uh, tire sounds, actually. You know what? I kind of like the tire sounds. The dedication is crazy for real. This looks amazing. I mean, I wouldn't say it looks amazing. But it certainly does look like fun. Let's go give... A quick little race around... I know automation test track a lot, but there's so many chances to crash. Let's go Spa Franken Chops. Going to import one of your automation cars into an Android crash game that can be modded. It will be easy. That sounds like a hard time there, Crafty Gamer. Go for it. I'm guessing there's a lot of like uh, restrictions there that you wouldn't see on other things. Like, uh, file sizes and stuff like that. You have to also be careful about RAM amounts. How goes the F1 minivan? I went to sleep at 4am and now it's 1pm. And live is still going. Emily the Fox? We're basically done. I might do a little bit more fettling before I submit it to the repository. But for now, yeah, we're done. Let's see how's the faster V10 van. Sticks? Are you the one that made the other one? I've lost. Wait, did I close it off? I may have closed it off. It is yours, okay. Apparently people are having issues with uh, no nodes and no flex body showing up. I don't know what would cause that, but just thought I'd give you a heads up. Though that could only be just the one person. Who knows? BeamNG has a habit of making things act all funny buggers like.
I should probably break out. Okay, so. I stopped using this controller for a short time because this stick has way too much stick drift. But I love the wheel so much, I am willing to try to put up with it. So down goes the Xbox controller. Okay. Oh, that stick is so much better. But I must say, the, the Xbox controller feels a lot better. I don't think this thing should have... Oh, no, maybe it would have ABS. The Williams team was well known for being really high-tech at the time. This thing understeers high speed because of this rear wing. Uh, this front, yeah, rear wing. Oh, goodness gracious. I think this thing is better without the wing, to be honest. Brakes are pretty strong. Low speed handling is pretty good. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stick it off the wall! Oh, slight touch. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't done any of the, um... The crash physics update yet. I feel like that's just going to be a big pain in the butt. What I could do is actually just add on some extra collision thingies. You know what? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. No, that adds weight. I don't want to do that. What we might do is try to make the engine lighter. That's probably going to be a few hundred kilos right there. Suspension and all. Camera needs to be up ever so slightly more, to be honest. That wing is giant. You know, actually, this is a good driving position. But then you don't get to see the car. Accuracy is needed. Do not remove the rear wing. No, it'd be up to you if you to remove the rear wing because it's a part. Yeah. I should probably add because the thing probably has like a massive. Uh, downforce thing underneath the car, so then it didn't need the front wing in order to add downforce. This thing is really hard to control at low speed sometimes. Especially considering this thing does not have any traction control. You may be able to turn crash, uh, traction, traction control on though. That feels nice. Hell yeah. It did have ground effect. That's the one ground effect. Yeah, I feel as if I need to add some ground effect to the front. Um, this thing idles like <laughs> nobody's business. Is that kind of sound? Um, I think we're gonna have to add in a plane. So how do we do this? be great if this plane was in the other direction. We might create a triangle between that, 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 and then the other way to that node, and then add a small amount of downforce to it, because this thing needs that front downforce. Should this be an extra part? This should probably be an extra part. Big wing. We can lose the nodes and beam section from this. Nodes, beams, triangles we will keep. Flex bodies we don't need. 
slots we don't need. ground effect. here. Okay, triangles. This is where things get a little bit tricky. So we want to grab 10 FR. I don't actually remember which way these things go. Because if you do it one way, it'll create a triangle. You do it the other way, and it'll create a backwards triangle. So 10 RR, 10 LL. connect that to F5R. Then you go there. You go there. That's probably going to be reversed. The rest of you we don't need. This is probably going to have to change a lot as well. Don't need a lot. Okay. Green is good. Cyan is the wrong way. Okay. F10R goes up to F5R. You know what? Actually, that would have been fine. But you know what? That also works. snoring a little bit there. Okay. Let's see how she handles. Yarshi blogs. Hopefully that was far enough forward. And hopefully it's not too much downforce. No, not enough. Do we move it forward? Wow, did you see the tire come out of the wingo? Wingo? Window. Uh, let's go back, make this invisible again. I think I want to move it further forwards. Let's go F11 instead. Is that going to be okay still? Yeah, that works a lot better. Okay. That should also, by default, give us more... No, that should just be less drag. Not... Yeah. So let's go in... Go back to 220. And see how this goes. Still understeer. Still massive amounts of under. Did I? No, it is there. We, we saw it go in. Like, this is the resting camera position. I have to raise it up, I reckon. I think I know how to do it.
We just don't get traction on the front. Holy cow. The Rogue Trick, the Canyon... Sorry. Rogue Tick, the Canyon Priest. Every F1 car needs a good sponsor. Hell! Jesus! A hundred dollar he does. Bro! That's awesome. Thank you very much, bro. That's a lot of money. You probably should have actually saved your money and gotten a membership for a month. <laughs> that way you can uh, get no adverts. I think Pippa wants to go out. Oh, there you go. Jesus. Somebody's got some money to, to chuck around. Well done. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I said well done. That's a weird one. Oh, well done on the job that you must have. If you've not seen the car, I should probably show you in case. I don't know how long you've been here. I've not been paying attention to the chat very much. But yeah, this is the car. Uh, let's actually do... I want to fix that camera issue that we're having. Uh, if we go into body, there should be a camera... Yeah. Hey, what's the difference between camera chase and camera external? Orbit. I actually don't know the difference here. This is not something I've fiddled with a lot. <clears throat> when I'll be on the repo, after it gets approved, knowing my luck, it'll probably get not approved. Now let's add this into the wing area. I wonder if this is going to work. Z. So, this is default camera place. There we go! Look at that! Put his name on it. Uh, Rogue Tick? How would I do that? Should I make it hidden? So, like, if the car rolls over, you'll see it? I'm, I'm down to do that. I don't know how the Beam and G devs are going to be with... Uh, Oh, it's, it's gonna come out rubbish. I just know it actually. Uh, let's do it on this side. Texture paint. Elder. Ah, oh, it's on that one. Thrustmaster controller now. <laughs> Not even close. I'm not actually going to be able to write this very well with my hand. And this should also not be here, should it? You know what? It can be in blue. Wrong color. Yep, wrong color again. Keep forgetting. Yes, yeah, I thought. <laughs> this is not great. Rogue. Do you want the full name in there? I think the Carrion Priest, that's a MTG reference, right? Which one did I make? This one. Now, I'm pretty sure that creates a... 
thing file. Not in here, is it? Yes, it does. There we go, Rogue Tech. God, no, actually, it's from another stream a while back. Some dude streamed Spore, and we made a religion on the creature he made in chat. There you go. And it'll change color with this thing if you change the side. Side pod color. Ah. It shows which sponsor will pay for damages when it rolls over. <laughs> I think I want stiffer suspension. I think this has got set currently like some soft ass suspension. Let's go into the suspension files and actually quickly delete the ones we don't want. So we got coilovers and other things. So first. Racing? Rally. Okay, so we can get rid of Rally and get rid of those. Put just Race. Where's Coil Up? There you go. Right there. Then Sway Bars. Yeah, I thought we might have had. Since this is a race car only. I don't mind getting rid of everything else. Steering can stay as it is. Steering is good. Someone needs to mod the HUD of an F1 race. Modify the HUD. Needs a mod in the HUD on the F1 race channels with the wraparound stats on the dash. Don't know what that means. Look to the gap between first two, three other intakes. I know there is a gap. Why? Why are we looking at that? I'm confuzzled. Uh, suspension R. Little data, we don't care about that. Coil overs. race. We don't want rally. should now update to race suspension because it has been way too soft oh that's much better much better me do words yes I swear to god this thing straightens up under acceleration I don't know how to fix that. More tow out? Which is not usually something I say when it comes to race cars. It is, by default, a rear engine suspension setup, so maybe now it's being even more like that. I'm gonna play some R Factor 1. The engine idles at 3.2 thousand RPM. Should it be lower? No, this is an F1 engine. I wouldn't be surprised if these things do idle at, like, really high numbers. I've seen some in the past, and their idle numbers are really high. Lots of understeer. This thing is wild. 
Is it possible for this to reach 200 miles per hour? That would be 320 kilometers an hour, so let's give it a try. Getting up into high numbers. I'd be surprised if it couldn't get close. We do have a lot of downforce. We might need to increase that front downforce again. Okay. 220. Uh, 280 will be basically 180. Okay. I think we might max out somewhere around 280 kilometers an hour. Why is it idling higher now? The hell? Why is it, I, why is the engine coming down slowly? Weird. How hard will it be to create a totally custom engine beam and G? Depends how hard you're willing to work. Literally is so I don't know how to make materials, so for me it's a non-starter. I mean I could make some basic stuff. Nothing great. I could probably have one done in half an hour. Wouldn't be a great model. Uh, if I wanted to go a little bit better with the model, maybe a few hours? Depends. If I want to go really detailed on the engine model, maybe five hours? How long is a piece of string? I don't know. I've never really tested it. If you just want to modify an engine, minutes. It has so much velocity in the engine that it can... I think there was some sort of like Beam and G getting confused. I did also hear that the Beam and G devs are finally going to be tackling um, gear shifting mechanics coming into the future. So like your automatically controlled manual sort of things, like what I usually drive with, uh, except if I'm in the rig. Uh, they're apparently going to be updating that in. 0.3, which I'm also excited for. Now, I know that it's just lazy. I should just be controlling gears manually, but I don't like doing that with the controller. In the sim rig, I hate doing it the other way around. I hate not controlling the gears. Oh, that understeer. Alright. Uh, let's give this a try. Open J Beams. Lansdale. Quarter fenders. Quarter panels to start with. Oh, does quarter panels not actually come with any. The node's not actually in here. Ah! Well then. Screw you. Well, that's going to make life a lot more difficult. Open J-beam. Body. Yeah, there we go. Open J-beam. Doors. Open J-beam. Doors. Open J-beam. Fenders? Body kit, yes. We don't care about the rear bumper too much. Fenders. Okay. Here we go. We 
wish I could see triangles in this angle. And I wish it worked well. Wait, I can't select multiple? Ugh. Okay. Let's go like this then. No, I don't want to select that. Has that got hinges? I think that grabbed hinges as well. No, but it did grab fender liners. That's a problem. Okay, let's do this one by one then. Okay, just you, Johnny boy. That should be it. Not gonna grab too much here. Uh, approximately. How much wider do we think this is? Point two seven. Actually, you know what? We can do the side by side. That'll make it a lot easier. Zero point two seven. Okay. There we go. File. Save J-Beam. Now, has that messed with the door at all? Yes, it has. Oh, well. I thought that might happen. Which is why I didn't want to actually do that. But it'll have to do. File. Close. File. Open. Let's work from the backwards, forwards, doors, rear. Weird things are happening with this camera movement sometimes. Save J-Beam. Oh, has that moved the reference nodes? Oh, it moved the reference nodes and everything. And hey, look at that. Door mostly works now. Huh. I wouldn't have seen that one coming. Open J-Beam. Door's front. Hmm. It'll do. Look, the door opens. Why doesn't 
Oh, you know what? The fenders are in the way. Okay, let's move to the last few. File, close, file, open JBeam. Fenders. Anything in particular here? No. Grab you. Wrong way. I think that's mirrored. Now let's give it a try. Well, hey, at least you can get in through the back doors, right? I have an idea. didn't work. Uh, front bumpard. Let's go do that. So, no working front doors, but you'll have to live with it. Actually, you know what? Let's open that back up again. The front doors, that is. Uh, let's go with you. Let's see if that has fixed the issue. Nah. Let's try doing it the old fashioned way. Old faithful. Nah. It doesn't like me. Go back and close. Uh, front bumpard. What was it again? Zero point two six. That was the wrong thing to do. Damn it. Luckily, we can just reopen. There's no undo button. Is that right? Did I do that right? I don't think I did. It was 027. You know what? 026 is enough anyway. Yep, yeah, that does work. I bet you I've moved to hinge and that's why this is having a problem. Yeah, not sure. We might... You know what, actually, I have an idea. Don't need you. Lansdale. Doors. We're gonna grab the front door nodes. And put the front door nodes back on. So going, went to bed, watching the stream, and woke up watching the stream. <laughs> Uh, minus nine on the Y. So 
So, D1L. Esports doors. Front. I don't have it open, do I? Good. Okay. D1R. And D1L. There's probably also a latch thing as well, but we'll get to that. Next one to look at D4L and R. Then, D1L. Wait, I already did that one. F5. Wait, what? Oh, no, those are the only ones I moved. Okay, just those. Good. Now, this should be back where hinges are. But something kind of gets in the way. Let's try this side. I know that the driver side had an issue from factory. You know what? If you want, you can yank it open a little bit. It's fine. Oh, uh, is that some sort of like maximum extension sort of thing that's having a problem? Maybe. Hmm. Also, why is that all fudged up? hockey for resetting vectors. That'd be convenient. Because I do reset vectors a million times a day. Swear to God. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. That did, though. That didn't. That did. Did I just do it and everything? What are we looking at here? This side's back door. No, I did. That is actually the end of this car then. We're done. Now we're gonna do is go submit it to the repository. <sighs> this car is a lot of fun. I was not happy with the car when it came from Beam and G, but now I see the light. Took a whole sleep and that thing looks pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with this, except for the fact that the doors aren't opening properly. I'm getting the feeling with the way it thuds that there's some sort of like beam extension limitation that uh, is in play. Sorry, bro. It's like... How many hours now? Oh, you've had nine new members this stream? Jesus. Eleven hours. 
Now we'll have two uh, V10 Lansdales. Yeah. A 10 billion, I'm assuming, out of 10 stream. Thank you very much. Hello, racing. Phil, you're still going? You monster. <laughs> My voice is not doing well. I, I, I will say that. Do it again, 24 hour stream. Hell no! Last time I did a 24 hour stream, I think I conked out and gave up. I don't think I can do it. Unless they would just comment out of. Come out. Honestly, would just comment out the ability to open up doors. Oh. You mean put on the welded doors thing? <laughs> Interior check? It's got one. Though it is the dirty interior, but you know what? It's fine. She'll be right, mate. Not the right sort of shifter, though, is it? Race sequential shifter. There we go. Much better. Now, that will load with that. Probably should also change the dash, shouldn't I? Dashboard! Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. Interior. We have stripped interior. Okay. Center console. Race sequential. Third row. Interior. Worn gray cloth interior. Sports gray leather interior? Compared to grey cloth interior. They look identical to me. Dashboard. On dashboard we can have a dashboard. Gauges. Imperial gauges. You know, this is a French car in Europe. So I'm going to say... Metric gauges. Why? Wait, what? Uh, they can if you use them right, Craft Gamer. Why are Imperial Gauges... Gas. Gas, I say that, I mean petrol. Uh, and then Metric Gauges... Gauges... Uh, diesel. So Metric can only have diesels? Confused. Let's go Metric Diesel Manual. Yeah, nothing here says it's a diesel. The RPM is limited, however, but... Actually, you know what? It just, yeah, it just maxes out. Well done. Uh, yeah, I don't... Fancy fixing that. <laughs> that seems like too much of an issue. Uh, pedal manuals, that'll do. Shifter. Cover panel, steering wheel. Actually... We might have pictures of their steering wheel. Now we're just faffing about. Uh, looks like a normal three-spoke steering wheel. Yeah, pretty good. Is there anything here with... Uh, paddle shifters of any sort. I don't think so. 270R? Oh, that's probably the diameter. Let's go with that. Would it be possible to do an Australian design flag on the dash? Oh, I'm not very good with <laughs> those sorts of things. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. I really don't want to. Um, even they stuff up material sometimes. Or UV unwraps or whatever that problem is. Uh, that's all looking good. 
Let's go see if we can change the carpet. We can't change the carpet. Stripped headliner. Carpet headliner. You know what? We're going to keep that stripped. Dust is good. Last time. I love how it's kind of like shy. The picture it takes is like of the other side of this fence. <laughs> Why is it idling at 3k? Because that's what F1 cars do. Go, go look at an F1 car and you just see how high they're out of They are exceptionally high. Because I don't want to get copywritten, I don't want to have a look at uh, what they sound like on stream. If they add a lower, they stall. Yeah, basically. I just realized the exhaust, we never did fix that. How do I unpause? Oh, pause. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. Engine thermals were disabled because we had... Uh, no exhaust stuff working properly. Is that still a thing? Uh, no exhaust end notes found. Scintilla engine. So, does it want a muffler folder? It might, it might just want mufflers. That might be the thing here. So, do we have E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L... And mirrors. Nope. Okay, that's not it. Oh. Okay, it's just called exhaust then. A, B, C, D, engine. Engine mounts exhaust race. You know what? We're going to pick one. Now do we get an exhaust? Not by the looks of it. There we go. Uh, performance. Don't actually know which one is which. That is for our vehicle nice. Do we still have the no exhaust thing? No exhaust nodes. Okay. I don't know why that's happening. Good luck with the exhaust. I'm off. Mow some. Oh, mow some grass. Okay, Bobcat. Uh, exhaust. So, looking at engine nodes, we should have... Is exhaust. So, it goes from E1R and E1L. Then it goes to TRB thingy. Which is here. Okay. It goes to... TRB2L. This is all looking good. How far do we have to go? Jesus. TRB2L is seemingly as far as it goes. 
Then it goes to EXM1R and EXM1L. The first instance of that is still here. Beam and G having a Beam and G moment, I think. This is fun. This is a fun card. This was a fun card, then it died. <laughs> Is it an F1 van or an FD van? What? It's an F1 van. I don't know what you mean by that. Your driving skills are as good as mine. I hope they're not that bad. You, if they are, you should probably practice a little. Nobody's going to see the fact that I put throttle bodies in there. What a waste of time that one was. <laughs> in the back still has its boring engine. You mean boring into your eardrums? Yeah, I'm not very good at driving. In Beam and G. Actually, in most games. I like it, but I'm not good at it. I like modding. <laughs> if someone makes the unstable tractor wheel for all four wheels, oh god. Well, this is a center lug now, so... It'd have to be specifically for that. Which actually wouldn't be too hard to make something where it just does it for all wheels. Damn it! I think there's a little too much damage. Understeer, 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 lots of understeer, understeer. There we go. Not a problem. Yes, Benjamin, still going. I can actually use lawnmowers and drive them just fine. Though I am 14, I am experienced with that. That's scary. How much of the Lansdale is still Lansdale? Most of it. Half of it. Oh, why doesn't this actually handle like an F1 car? It's so heavy. If I had time, I would totally make the floor weigh as much as carbon fiber. Burst a tire, weird. Uh, and then I would go through it and change all the beam springs and damps to make sure that they fit as well. Great car, looks nice. Yes, I made the Lansdale myself. <laughs> you should make a tractor with the tractor wheels for the repository. I mean, I already have made tractors. They're not great, but they are from automation, so I've done a lot of work on them. Eh. All that understeer. Probably could be tuned a lot with uh, suspension tuning, but I am not very good with that. The devs are also working on making tire thermals. I am very excited for that. That is going to be probably the number one thing that I am looking forward to. Blow it up for no reason? Is that a... That's a, one of the fun things, right? I don't really use that menu at all. Fun stuff? Boom. 
That was exceptionally bright, and also very underwhelming. What else we got in here? Yep, doors don't want to open. Fire. Woo, yeah, okay. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Here we go. Oh, look. Break. There we go. That's more like it. Wait, is the engine still going? Oh, no, it breaks the drive shafts. Oh, disappoint. Disappoint. Steering still tries to work, apparently, though. Operative word, tries. I'm getting the feeling the steering rack is rubbing on the bottom. Is it realistic to have open throttle inside a car? Why not? I mean, it's not safe, and it's not good to do it, but yeah, you can do it if you want. Weight reduction. Oh, there's that weight gone that we were talking about. Woo! That's a good zomp, Sophia. This thing is awesome, man. Great job. Thank you. You're very much there. Directed. You should break it apart when you're at high speed. That sounds like too much habit. Just got an idea to put the newest car interior and engine in an older car. That sounds like a boring job. You can do it yourself if you want. All jokes aside, this that you made is really cool. This me do speak English too. First that this is by uh, how did I not realize? <laughs> it's been a while. It is surprising that you have not noticed until now. When Scintilla drives to the supermarket. <laughs> I don't know why the exhaust is not reaching. Let's try a different exhaust. Because I did put exhausts in the right place. Very sure I did. Performance race? Let's try one of these. Race. Did I not move them far back enough? They were heaps far back. What do you want to bear? What? What now? Well, whatever. Really? You're not gonna move back? What is it? That time it moved. A little bit better, so we don't want that one. Let's go race exhaust. And they want to be lower. I also just realized. That's no good.
they going to be in the right place now? Pretty darn close. Still don't know why the exhaust nodes are not working. It'll have to be something that I just spend a lot of time fiddling with. Oh, I was thinking like, this thing is handling weird. I didn't realize that I'd completely crumpled in the front. It's just fun to drive. It's just good to drive. Like, it understands the high speed, but like, the thrill of driving an F1 powered minivan is really cool. I'll leave all tuning and everything up to you guys. You can have fun. Every mum's dream. I don't think so. Looks like a hover looks like a hovercraft. I suppose this is a, yeah, you got a bit of a point there. But I don't think that's what Renault was thinking when they were making their car. Would you want this as your daily? Hell no! I'd be deaf in a minute! Would I want this car as like a weekend car? Hell yes! Also, like the fuel usage would be off the charts! I personally like sporty cars that have small engines. So things like my MGF, things like my Ford Focus ST150 little uh, thing. I like those sorts of things because they're very low fuel usage. That way, you can floor them like crazy, get all the performance out of it, and still only sip a little amount of fuel. This thing? I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be planning my routes, my, my, all my trips, to go between fuel stations. Like, go to the shops, is there a fuel station on the way? There's gonna be... Fun on the ring, you gonna upload the repository. I'm not gonna upload the repository, but this will go up on the repository, if that's what you're asking. with a handbrake like a physical handbrake I'd be able to drift this a little bit easier who would have thought an F1 car was fragile but yes that is it we're done I'm calling it that's the end of today uh, I'm gonna do a few little fixes up probably tomorrow then I'm gonna post it on the repository it'll probably be Tuesday or Wednesday but then this goes live could you put the F1 engine into COVID no, uh, cars got like around 80 liters to the 100, this thing would be in the hundreds. My small cars use about 6 to 8 liters per 100. A bigger car like my Ford Falcon Ute that fell apart on that road trip, still in parts by the way, like, uh, that gets about 9 on highway but 12 everywhere else. They're not good on fuel. Mummy, why are you on the racetrack? Have a good- Thank you, Rogue Tick. Did I spell your name? Did I write Rogue Tick or Road Trick? No, I did write Rogue Tick. Guys, like, I keep on reading as Road Trick. At first. Thank you, Shogunzi. Who's been here the entire time? Has there been anybody that was here at the beginning? And is still here? Now, that doesn't include the person that fell asleep. And had the stream on the entire time. That doesn't count. Mum is in the soccer practice. I think Chromatic Stitzel did a pretty good job. The Italian guy reckons. Hello Racing reckons. Dogners reckons they've also been here for the entire 12 hours. Never mind, it's ruined. 111 people watching and 11 hours ago. <laughs> Fun stream and you see you later. Thank you, Jank. What do you think the miles to gallons would be on this? miles to gallon. Oh, I'd have to 
I don't know how miles to gallon work. I, my brain no work. Oh, it's a smaller number is worse. I'm gonna guess if a Ferrari gets about five when racing, this thing probably gets around there, maybe three. You're a few times here, Alex. Good. Imagine seeing this at a soccer practice. My God. That'd be so cool. I remember as one of my earliest memories, I don't remember much, but there used to be a Camaro. Now, American cars in Australia are very rare. You don't see them, but a Camaro, even like a, a not very good one, is still really cool. And everybody at the school thought it was cool, but apparently the girls of the owner like a, that would get dropped off by this car, at first, were embarrassed to get dropped off on it because to them, all they saw was an old car. Which is so disappointing. But apparently then they got like, oh wow, this car is cool, okay, yeah, drop me off every day in it. I was here the whole time, just lurking for the most of them. Two feet per hour? Two feet per gallon, yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe not for an F1 car. F1 cars have to be a little bit fuel economical. Thank you, Mem. Nate, looks like a JDM Toyota. Have you not seen this, Nate? This is the Renault E-Space F1. Or Espace, if you're Jeremy Clarkson. I don't know if you say it that way. But this is an actual car. It's kind of like a minivan wrapping on an F1 car. Instead of it actually being in minivan with an F1 engine. Like most people probably think it is. Then you've been streaming for 11 hours. Yeah, about that. Hold on. Keith McDinkley. That name gets me. Jesus. How much power is it making? Uh, just shy of 800 horsepower. Could you do some unusual diesel engines? I might do more diesel in the future. It's just I hate it whenever I do something diesel. There's like 50 people commenting the same comment over and over again because I haven't read the comments saying, Oh, you basically just did this. Or oh, this did that as well. It's like, oh, come on, I don't... I don't know. I don't really care about diesels. I just like the fact that they're interesting. Like, I don't care about the history of the diesel. The only thing that I care about the history of the diesel is actually the history of the person, Mr. Diesel or whatever his name was. Uh, and it's like a mis mysterious disappearance and all that sort of stuff. Very weird. Jeremy says it right, it's, it's not e-space. So it is a spas. Okay. Yours is much better. Thanks, Hello Racing. Uh, but probably not. I still don't understand how you're not at 100 plus, case. Okay, so God. Gloss Echo? Apparently, I'm meant, I'm meant to be on target to reach that at the end of next year. But with the fact that this like current hype train that I've been on is tapering off a bit, it's probably going to be a, a little bit more than end of next year. SBR4, that's the... I don't like the SBR4. I might do something with it, though. Yes, officer, it's stuck. <laughs> Make a Formula 1 diesel car? I mean, I could do the Le Mans race, this sort of thing. This car is rice. It's a pretty rice car. It's kind of weird how BMG lacks hybrid and electric bus. These things are taking Europe by storm. You have to also understand that the game is very old now. When will it be on the forum? I don't know, man. When it gets approved. Uh, just based off him uploading most of the Beam and G and people discovering his content. I wish, Shogunsi, but that's unlikely to happen. I mean, I've been doing it for a while now. See you later, Havoc Games. I w it would be nice if they put in the ability to uh, control two motors and transmissions. Or just have two power plants connect to one drive line. 
So I have an electric motor and a petrol motor going into one thing. Have you done an old Ford Supervan yet? Those were track monsters back in the 70s? No. Given what the Lansdale is based off, I can't help but imagine the Dodge executives wanting to copy the F1 Espace, but with their grand caravan. I get the feeling if they tried to do it, they'd probably get like a lawsuit. We'll go to sleep. <laughs> You're done. You've done a great job. Thank you, Nate. I sh probably should go to sleep. Probably should have gone to sleep a while ago. I really just read someone say quad turbo diesel pigeon. Yeah, now. Nah. I'm not a big fan of the pigeon. Only if Muye himself asks me. Will I do anything with the pigeon? You don't... Yeah, but I'm not going to put it on the farm. I'm going to put it on the repository. Make a... Huna Pegasus type thing? The SBR... I don't like the SBR4. What's my dream car? A Volvo 262C with a flat hood. Remember the name you gave it? There were a bunch of names chucked around. I'm going to need to download the mod once it's approved. But I'll probably be doing some fettling, uh, fettling, so it'll probably be ready by about Wednesday-ish. Local time. Motorized portable toilet. No. <laughs> Oh, well, when you do go to sleep, have sweet dreams and sleep well. Thank you very much, Leaping Mechromancer. That is quite the hell of a name. Two six two is nice. I like the two six two. You want a two forty wagon? That'd be fun. Can't wait for stance mods for this. I mean, you should be able to put at least a little bit of camber on this to start with. Opinions of the Mark II Ford Mondeo? I don't know what that is. Anyway, I think that's it. I think we're done. I am tired. It has been a long day. It is 3 a.m. It's about my bedtime. I'm even slouched in my chair. Can you even... If I do this... This is how I feel. But yep, yeah, we're done. Thank you every, every much? Thank you very much, everybody. F1 engine in a PLP 50? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how do I do the outro? Uh, you know what? Outro names have changed, so I'm going to be updating that whilst it's happening.
God, that is a very long name. <laughs> Alright, good night, I'm off. Ugh.